really. You do what you want. But is it also because you're just uh, tired from the weekend? Yeah, that's another So, like, your mental state's a little, like, ugh. That's why you, the crap I, out of I'm me. I'm so happy to do comp. Like, I'm a part of the weekend sometimes. And people, when you just watch people and you go, you go, wow, you you need me to get through. Like, there's some people that if they don't go out Friday, yeah. they're like, oh, my God, we didn't go out Friday. We yeah. have to go out Saturday. I love staying in the house on Friday. Friday, like, yeah. My, oh, it, it's just beautiful. But they go crazy on Friday and Saturday, and then Sunday they're trying to get everything done, the laundry, the, the this and that, and here comes old Funky Monday. Uh-oh. Old funky Sounds Monday. like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> the Mondays. <laughs> Shut up. So that's why you guys are so important on a good Monday morning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they look to you to... This was another thing about... Bring it all around. Uh. Uh, you know, you watch shows, you have your favorite shows, and sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, I'll have a bad comedy show, you know, and I'll go, ah, I'll just do it again. But you forget there's people there that just depend on you. And there's no show I watch that would suck that I would go, you know, ah, they'll, they'll give it to me better next time. You know, <laughs> watch around the horn. I expect good things from PTI every day. <laughs> you better be funny, fellas. Never like, you know, oh, forget it. Patrice definitely makes a good point because uh, drove out to F.H. Riley's after Friday show. Yeah. Listening to the replay on XM, laughing my ass off. I rarely listen to our show after it's done. It's done. Time to move on. Don't want to hear about it for the most part. But every once in a while, I'll take a little listen, a little peek. And I was enjoying the hell out of the show we put on Friday. And I'm thinking to myself, no one's going to give a crap by Monday. They need Now we're you. here Monday. They, they don't even. You. I, I, we could go to the phones, talk to faithful listeners, and go, what did we do on Friday's show? They don't even know anymore. No. A lot of them will say it was good. A lot of them will say it was entertaining. I laughed and all that crap. But if you ask spe- uh, for specific, excuse me, they would be like, ah, that thing, uh, it would be very vague. Right now, yep. there was a dude at uh, 5.59 Eastern. Standard time. <laughs> Just with his hand on the steering wheel, waiting to go. He probably starts his car right when he goes, enough with that palaver. <laughs> Just, <laughs> yeah. oh. Just so he doesn't miss a word. Because you know how your radio goes off for three seconds yep. when you start it? <laughs> and he's just like, no, he's driving and he's just waiting. And he's just like, please let a, something happen yeah. good for me before I go to my job. And, <laughs> and we could just be like, like, she just, I know sometimes there's people that just, I was in Providence this weekend and I know I made a few fans and I lost a few. Like, it's just some people that are just so excited to see. And I'm miserable. So it's like, mm-hmm. love you, Patrice. And it's like, uh, look. Yeah. Look at <laughs> what do you know me from? We love web junk. Let me let me come down there and smack you right upside your head. Because I don't love web junk anymore. I don't like anymore. this guy. It's like, but then there's another guy going, wait, I didn't, he's funnier than web junk. Don't mention, <laughs> yeah, don't mention web junk to Patrice anymore. <laughs> Especially after they made him into a monster. Ah, next to Jim Brewer. Ah. Made my eyes all big like Rache Caldwell. From I don't know what the hell. <laughs> Jim Brewer took off. He's uh, t- took over for you. He's doing a great job. But they end of year special had to have Patrice in there, like ah, <laughs> as a monster and and, and making believe he was right next to Jim Brewer live. <laughs> On a but green it was screen. old footage. It was a green screen of Patrice yeah. just laughing and moving his arms. It's yeah. a green screen raping. I was like, what? The, what just happened? That, that, a couple of dollars? That might be a little too inside for people, but that made me laugh so hard. Because Brewer's live. He's taping. He's in the moment. And then all of a sudden, uh, Brewer goes, and we got Patrice. And all of a sudden, you pop up on the screen. But there's it's obviously old footage that they're trying to make it look like, you know, you're right there with them in the moment. But that's why. God, did that make me laugh. That's why I left talking about what we were just talking about. That's why I left. Because it's like. I, I just didn't. I didn't have an, any more to give people mm-hmm. the show they wanted. Uh, by this time, I would have been like, "Hey, look at this Japanese guy kick this other guy in his uh, scrotum." Uh, <laughs> dig it. It would have been <laughs> jazz junk. <laughs> oh yeah, if you look at this young man dressed as a ninja turtle, yeah, he bites this other guy. <laughs> yeah. Take a good look at this baby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's Monday. Yeah. Can you play that clip again? Yeah, yeah, where is that one? Oh, you don't have it? All right, whatever. Our phone number, 1-866-313-FREE. That's 1-866-313-FREE. Uh-oh. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Opie, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way. What happened? Me and, uh, you know, Gavin, the Gav. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
our new thing now because of uh, Gavin. You got to explain for everybody. We oh, got yeah. new audiences oh, all the that's time. Right, you know, right. He's from across the pond. He's a decent but mice. He's from Birmingham and mice. And you, you know, you yanks big. Right. He's as big as any. He's as big as you've ever seen. He's the scariest he, looking dude. He you've fills ever up seen. a doorway. Is the oh. easiest way to explain Gavin. But he's so polite and nice with that nice little English voice. With his glasses and he fixes them and his right. big bald head. But he's a nice guy. He's but, the type of guy that would rip your head off your body. But he would be very nice about it. Horrible. Like horrifying dude, but yeah. the nicest guy, Ever. you know, one of my best friends. Yeah, yeah. So we, our new thing is, uh, I showed him that, uh, David Caruso thing. Oh, the CSI thing? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. And our new thing now is just to go, anytime somebody's talking, just to go, that's what happened. <laughs> when worlds collide. <laughs> when worlds collide. <laughs> We just go, what did he do? <laughs> He's just like telling us, well, after somebody tells you a long yeah. story, well, yeah. Yeah. that's what happens when, when worlds collide. collide. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's like, well, that's like Frank. a new thing now, walking around. I'm stealing that one. Oh, it's hilarious, man. Well, Frank, that's what happens when worlds collide. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. We'll have the David Caruso line of the day in a little yeah. while here. So oh. I cannot. It, it, when I'm going around the channels there, the uh, guide, and I see uh, CSI Miami, I'm like, oh, Jesus. And I look, and if it's like 10 o'clock, it comes on. Yeah. But it's 10.05, I won't even tune it in. Damn. I just got to catch that b opening sequence. That's all I want to say. You think after this that the great, like, I don't know how, to, how, how Nielsen ratings go, but you think if you're, if you're watching it, if everybody's just watching it at, at, Ten. Yeah. That that's the ratings, and after you go see him go, where else collide? Collide. Is that? That's the dip. Is that mass, the ratings? Mass yes. exodus. They they could see that for for the first five minutes, it's packed. But does it Everyone's matter watching. if you well, turn? Well, ever since yeah. the video hit YouTube. Yep. I'm sure everyone's just watching for that first uh, yeah, scene. Yeah, the, the opener. Yeah, right up it. until you hear. <laughs> and they show the friggin' swamp boats and everything else. It's over. People TiVo, the credits are. Just the credits. Right, right. credits <laughs> hey, let's go to Ryan the trucker. Ryan, what's going on? Not much, guys. How you doing? Pretty good, Ryan. Hey, whatever happened between you guys and the Donald? Uh, Donald, uh, Trump turned on us, called us two slobs in, uh, the New York Post last week. Pink yeah. Sex. Yeah, I remember what that. What a, what a, what a somebody. douche. And then we said, and then we've been calling him, uh, like crazy. We had Roland calling him like crazy, his office, to just get him on our show and let's, uh, let's talk this out. If yes, you hate yes, us, come then, on. then, then tell us to our face you hate us. Come on the show. What'd what? you guys do? We didn't do anything. We really didn't do anything on this one. We were good boys. He, he called up. During the whole Rosie O'Donnell thing, and uh, we said, wow, uh, you know, Donald's on the phone. We talked about it. We had a really good time. And then we uh, we sent the audio to, you know, a few media outlets. They picked up on it, and some of the things he said on our show were, uh, were printed up in the papers and in some of those uh, uh, trash magazines. So Richard Douchebag Johnson from uh, uh, The Post, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was in the, he's, uh, wrote uh, that we were begging Donald to come on. And uh, said that it was a surprise, and Donald said, oh, "I I wouldn't just call them. They called me, and and they're uh, uh, slobs. I wouldn't. Why, why would I go on a slob show like that? I by the way, on Larry King, and by the way, he did call us. Yeah, whether he was asked to call that day or not, I don't even know. To be honest with you, we kind of have uh, a relationship with a lot of these celebrities where they just call when they have something. Yeah. So yeah, he goes, oh, I get." You know, everybody wanted me. I turned down Larry King, and he basically said he'll never do the, uh, our show again. <clears throat> those two slobs. Why? I'll never do those two slobs show again. Because he's a dick. He, he just, really is. Uh, we just, out of nowhere, he just was like, yeah. Forget you. Out of nowhere, he just like turned. Yeah, it wasn't justified. We. Uh, I guess that's the game because Barbara Walters got pushed in the corner. She, they evidently they were friends until he started. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was, you know, I was siding with Donald because. Uh, Rosie O'Donnell gave him some crap first on the show, and he fired back like a madman. <clears throat> uh, and I was kind of side with him, thinking, "Ah, oh, that's kind of cool." I think you should still. I, but he's there, crazy. I think you should still side with him. I think yeah. some people. There are people that like me, and I don't like. And uh, mm -hmm. I think that if you sided with him, then just because he's an enemy now, I think you should still side with him. Just take that kind of thing, like, yeah, like Donald. It. Still, I like, agree with what he's saying, and <laughs> yeah. Nah. Well, I, we knew it would I'm end. Not, I'm not built like <laughs> that. No, no. We knew I am not built like that. We knew it would end. 
in in a way like this. We knew we were like making a you know a deal with the devil. He's a Howard Stern guy to begin with, but he needs our show because Howard doesn't bring in the numbers he used to, and he would, he's got products and things to promote. So he decided to start calling us. We we got along very very good, very well I should say, very yeah. well. And then out of nowhere he uh, he bashes us in the New York Post. What can I tell you? Well, you know we're not hiding. We're like we're here. He knows we're here. We we called his people. We said. Uh, have Donald call us. Let's talk this out a little bit on our show. Yep. And if it means that, you know, he's going to curse us out, then do it to our faces. But uh, apparently I've never seen him do that. Like that whole thing with uh, Rosie O'Donnell. It was never a face-to-face -face confrontation. Right. Well, you know, you know that we're trying. Nice. We'll, we'll try again today to get Donald Trump <clears throat> on the phone. Yeah, give it a whirl. And trust Keep me, a running thing. we don't need Donald Trump to have a successful radio show because he was kind of... He was kind of alluding to, you know, that as well. It's like you're uh, just one of many people please. that we've had on this radio show that, that do well. He did well for us. <clears throat> we had some fun with him, but Look, he's not going to make or break the Opie and Anthony Let's show. be honest here. The guy was on. It was mostly a Donald Trump plug fest. Uh, we made the best of it uh, through what we do by making him interesting uh, to talk to, by goofing on a lot of stuff. But the bottom line is he just wanted to call and get his either learning annex or another building's going up or he's marrying some other friggin' 16-year-old girl or, or he's got his Miss Universe contest going. It's never just, you know, <laughs> hi, how you doing, guys? Let me hang out and goof around with you. Let's be real. The guy's a douchebag. We had him on the f on the show. Oh, I almost went into XM mode. This is just evil. Cause it's like, <laughs> it's like at first it was like, why he's going? Why, wait, why he's on? It's like, yeah, did you come in into my learning X, you know, and the thing, and it's like, and it's like Donald, you're great. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, goes, great, hey, learn how to promote that wacky that's... learning. Garbage. That stupid anyone can be rich bull crap that he goes on. <laughs> Let me tell you how you two can be rich. Really, Donald? You inherit all the money from uh, your family, and then you uh, build a bunch of things in the city at the perfect time. <laughs> right, right. It's like it's like going into one of your casinos and rolling the dice. Right. You, Joe Schmo, can build a building in Manhattan. Yeah. Imagine Joe Schmo actually attempting that. Attempting. <laughs> Look at the skyscrapers. <laughs> and it's Joe Schmo building construction is going to go right. up. Next thing and you it's know. it's just Joe and his friends with some eye beams. <laughs> right. And you're going to be the next Donald but Trump. There are some unknown areas in Manhattan that you can build right. on. Right. Hold on. Why not? <laughs> Next, right. thing, next thing you know, you pissed off the wrong person. You got cement shoes, and you're you're floating to the bottom of a river somewhere. You're taking that hey, boat happened? ride out. It's what not even. Happened? It's not even when you do have the shoes and you're in the water. Right. It's the boat ride out. That's got to be the uncomfortable part. Where it's like, oh, what did I do? I just tried to be like Donald. I learned at the learning annex, and now the organized crime guys are friggin' chopping my head and, off. And you're already you're already going. All right, as soon as they throw me in, I'm gonna take one big <laughs> breath in, and I hope. I hope drowning is easy. <laughs> but you know your but you know basic human survival instinct you'd hold your breath. <laughs> you just go, you try to remove those you go like please go oh, some Houdini, get me. How out can of I here. get out of cement? And the cement is just bringing you down at an unreasonable rate. <laughs> your ears are popping. Oh, you've, man. you've never sunk so fast in your life. You look at the service, and you still got hope. Maybe there's something going to... Nah. Maybe this is just a gag. It's not going to pull me back up. Wake up. Wake up. Maybe Wake this, up. Maybe this is uh, how they're doing my surprise birthday party. <laughs> they're going to oh. pull me up, and it's going to be a oh. boat filled with my friends and family. There's a tank down there, and Kutcher will, Ashton Kutcher will come out, and I've been punked. <laughs> He's in a scuba suit. Yeah, he'll give me some air. and. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be anything but, oh, my God, I've just been killed by organized crime for building something where I shouldn't have. <laughs> Some skeleton down there with a surprise look on his face. Like, I was going like, yeah. to make it, too. <laughs> Some friggin' accountant corpse just waving back and forth and in the current. And his skeleton arm. <laughs> and so, you're looking at him like, ah, I'm the next skeleton. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> and you scream, you scream like the like the photographer in Jaws too. <laughs> 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 oh, trying to remove your cement shoes. <laughs> Just trying your damnedest, because you know you got about 
I don't know, 15 seconds to do it in. Oh. You're hoping for an old Popeye uh, fist oh out of nowhere. God. Maybe there'll be a lump hammer down at the bottom. Yeah. Maybe I'll get lucky and land on a friggin' little sledge. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Could you imagine? No. That all of a sudden you do land uh, right next to some tools. Doom. It's like, oh, here's some tools. Hey, wow. I mean, but, but you know, everything just swings in slow motion down there, <laughs> so you can't even get a good swing on it. <laughs> Not even a power. You got all the tools you need to get out of the cement, but you're swinging in slow-mo. Got a chisel and a oh, hammer and everything. You're but. hoping to be like, t you just go. <laughs> there are some magical things you hope. You ever see Creep Show? <laughs> I love dances. Creep Show. Ted Dance is going, I'm going to get you, dude. I'm going to get you. <laughs> to Leslie Neal. Yeah, yeah. And then he turns, he, he comes back as a zombie yeah. and gets revenge and. Can't even shoot him. And you're not gonna do that. You're just gonna be a dumb. I can dead hold man my breath for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> that was a horrible one. He buried, uh, Ted Danson and his wife, who Ted Danson was cheating well, on, yeah, yeah. up to their necks in the sand by the beach, at the beach. <clears throat> and, and it was, uh, during low tide. Not, so as the tide came in, in sure. it's getting higher and higher up on him. And then you just see him completely on the water going, <laughs> with this seaweed next to him. <laughs> oh, is that great? Hey, that's one of my favorite movies. Just tell it to call you Billy. <laughs> it takes Adrian Barbeau in with the monster. Oh, and has it rip her apart. Show? I haven't seen it in many show years. I remember so old. It's eighty one, but yeah. it's hysterical. I remember the scene that Anthony's talking about. Uh, I don't remember the. Uh... He has fantasies. They're at a little dinner party, and people are talking. She's just like, ah, you're a waste. What a piece of garbage you are. And he pulls a gun out and just shoots her right between the eyes. And everyone in the crowd goes, nice shot. <laughs> just, nice shot. And he wakes you. He comes out of his fantasy, and she's just like, what would you do without me? <laughs> that bitch. So he has some friggin' Yeti eat her up that they found in a box under the stairs. All right. We got to uh, step aside. <laughs> Listen, so Donald Trump, whatever. But we Donald are a Trump douchebag. That's well, what I say. But we're uh, calling his people. At least call us and uh, tell us to our face what the problem is. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Uh, fine, but you know we're not hiding. We're here. He knows where we are, and he, he knows should that, run. The, he knows that our people the, are calling his people. He should run the wussy annex. Come on, call us. <laughs> Everyone's gonna get rich. <laughs> Just go to my annex and pay me money. That's how you get rich. I'm gonna put on a learning annex. You too can be rich. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, when we get back, first of all, Patrice O'Neill in studio today. Uh, you, you promoting anything, Patrice? <clears throat> Black Phillip, uh, February 3rd. On oh. XM. This Saturday on XM. Yes, sir. Very good. Saturday night, this Saturday night on XM. After Razzle Dazzle. Yes. Uh, when we get back, Patrice walked in to our office nice and early. <laughs> Doesn't say hello. He just said, uh, what'd you say? Golf is not a sport. Golf is not a sport. Yep. We're going to explore that next. I completely agreed, too, when he was done. How about that? <laughs> On the Opie and Anthony <laughs> show. Great point. Un unprecedented. <laughs> the ONA virus. Yeah. Our phone number, uh, one 313 free Talking about being tired this morning. Get up. And Patrice isn't really tired because he slept three hours before the show today. I usually never sleep before I come uh, in. And I just think that's amazing. And I asked him, I go, do, do you even see the sun? Hell no. <laughs> and he said, what was your... Yeah. <laughs> I, I might get guilty at three in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. But like, you know, the morning sun. Uh. And the birds is chirping. And it's like, what a wonder. Open the curtain and you take a sniff of air. Yeah. I hate the that, sun. That fresh morning air. You know why I uh. love bad weather? Because uh. I... I don't have to like like I then it's like good everybody else is in the house I don't feel like yeah. a freak when it's sunny out I go ah oh, boy I gotta love life now some reason I gotta be out give me a horrible storm so I, can, <laughs> I gotta go outside for some reason so I can feel good about myself that I'm doing the right thing yeah because you, you're fine during the whole day when it's sunny out because there's always this possibility you go. I might go, well, go out. I might do something. But then when like four thirty five rolls around, you're like, sun's I, going I, down. I, the pressure's off. I wasted the whole day. But you're happy now. No, you're... you get a little guilt first. Yeah, a little guilt that you didn't go out. But then you're kind of happy that you know it's done. But like Patrice said, bad weather. That's that's huge. I, then you look outside I and go, no rain. reason to go out there. I love rain and snow. I love miserable weather. 
that that sun. That, I've never seen the sun come over anything. <laughs> no. Like it's dark now, and I'm very happy. At about eight, I'm like, Bleh. around eight, you're gonna get depressed, and you see all these people who are up, and you just go, mm. it's nothing worse than being in traffic. With just people who have to be in have traffic. Have to be up. And yeah. It's just, I love. Not, I got. I bought some um, blinds from uh, uh, one of these. Pla you know, the, the Home Depot type place. Yeah, yeah. And it's from the have... U.S. military, the ones he used that <laughs> that shut when the atomic bomb goes off. <laughs> Close the blast doors. <laughs> There's aluminum foil. There's some space material built inside the folds, so that when you put them down, it's lightless. Uh, blinds, lightless. Oh, is that and great? And there's a little sliver of light that comes through that I get mad at. I want my, I'm really like Nosferatu when I'm, when it's, I have no respect for the sun. Well, me and my girl go into a hotel when we do road trips and stuff like that in the hotel and there's, I'm in a city where there is no reason to leave, to go outside. <laughs> I lose track of everything. I don't know what time it is, what day it is, anything. We pull those those two plastic little <laughs> the, rods. The, the that, hotel curtain the sticks. The hotel curtain sticks. <laughs> wham them together. And then that's not even enough. You got to make sure that because you know you got the little wavy folds in the curtain. Those you got to make those, sure those points of light that they you don't want overlap. And then I get hangers out of the closet that clip like for pants. So they got the clips, and I clip the whole thing shut. <laughs> so it's zipper. nothing gets through. <laughs> nothing gets through. Wow, you're a sun guy? I know you're a, yeah, like, enjoying yeah, yeah. it. Oh, he's one of those, like, 6 a.m. Yeah, you just yeah. hear the curtains go. Whoosh. I'm not a 4 in the morning guy. No one is. But 7, no problem. 7, no problem. When we had <laughs> Opie holds his finger up and a bird just... <laughs> Dude, <laughs> best time of the day, though, because no one's around. Less asses. What's that? In the morning? Yeah. When we were off for two yeah, years, I was getting up early, enjoying the day. Again, you got people that, that have to be up, so they're kind of miserable. Yeah. Saturday, I was uh, I, I was playing a little uh, uh, poker over uh, Pest's house. Had a great time, but uh, that thing didn't end until six in the morning. You went up? What? What? Happened? Played a little uh, Texas Hold'em with uh, some of the pests with, with from people? the show. Yeah, I actually interacted with human it beings. Interacts with human beings? Yeah. yeah. Very rare. Look at Patrice looking around. He's very it. rare. But uh, occasionally you, I do get out of the house. You hung out with people? Hung out with people. You talk to them? Fans of the show. Yeah. Fans of the show. Uh, a lot of pal talk people. You talk to them? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Play poker. The, the club soda went with you? Took their money. No, no, no club soda. No. He's with Jimmy. By no, you, you and Jimmy? No, no. no. Club soda is with Jimmy. It's with Jimmy. Oh, with Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. But no, you went no. by yourself. By, yeah, me and my girl went, hung out, played poker. That's it. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm, 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 I'm impressed. Uh, okay. Patrice, we do do, like, regular things. Occasionally. <laughs> if it involves... <laughs> Patrice is looking at us like, what? See, if it involves poker, then I'll do it. I went uh, a couple weeks ago uh, uh, down to Jersey to uh, uh, Kevin Smith's store that he's got down there, his comic book store, because he has a poker game. So I drove, like, an hour and a half, hung out. And Real people, people. And what happened when people like, were like, hey, man, hey, man, what's going on, man? Hey, man, what's it like? That? Hey, how's how's hope? I just sit there and go, I'm playing cards. Yeah, leave me alone. <laughs> nah, I, I, I do talk. He socializes. Yeah, when words. somebody makes you socialize, you don't go, warning, malfunction. Warning, warning, <laughs> someone is talking to me. <laughs> leave the environment immediately. <laughs> leave. Wow, that's a great damn must. Uh, I realize yeah. you talk to people. Listen. Six in the morning, though, when I was leaving, and it was that blue... That like blue color it, that happens it's in the just morning. It's starting to get. It's uh, just starting. It's, it's warming up. And everything's blue out. Creepy, and I'm like creepy just before. I have got to get home. Why did I stay out so late? <laughs> get home. Driving that Viper or whatever you drive <laughs> that Viper. Nah, it's it's it. out. Is the Escalade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Let's get into this for a minute or two here. Uh, Bill from Waterford on the instant feedback. Patrice, how is golf not a sport? You compete against other players, and there are no judges involved. No, you don't. You compete. physically exert yourself, and you need skill to hit the ball into the hole in the fewest amount of shots. That's uh, Bill. He'll then explain you got it. Bill. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then you get stupid. You get Smokezilla from Whackbag. Any event that you could participate in and be eligible to draw a social security check should not be a sport. Good call, Patrice. Golf is not a. Sp I was sitting there, and I've been listening to this argument that the sports guys have been having lately yeah. of trying to figure out who's more dominating at a sport than Tiger Woods. Is it right now 
Is it Roger Federer? Tennis dude, right? Or was Michael Jordan the most dominant? Per Golf is not a sport. And I'm gonna make it very simple. My argument: it it is not allowed to be a sport unless there's defense. That really sums it up. Golf, and that includes other sports. I'm not now. saying it's not skill, <laughs> but you have a very good skill that, thank God, your hobby can make you money. <laughs> your hobby. Tiger Woods is the greatest hobbyist <laughs> that ever played because it'll be a sport Hobbyist. if somebody was actually coming out to try to prevent you from using your skill. You know, you make a good point. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's I it. grew up as a basketball player, and if, if there was no defense, I probably would have been the greatest NBA shooter of how all time. They, how of all time. If, listen, golf is a mental game. Tiger, mm -hmm. Tiger's mentally better. He might be physically better, which gives him advantages to yeah. hitting it further. He works I'm out. I'm not saying it's not a skill, yeah. but it's not a sport because it, can, can somebody stand there and go, hey, Woodsy. Hey, t hey, half cheeky black dude. What the? What you doing? Uh, tiger sucks. Boom, boom. No. So as you do that, thrown out. Yeah, as soon as you do that, they throw you out. Sure. You have to shoot. All right. All right. Yeah. What would make it a sport then? If somebody came out and tried to tackle him, it tried to. It, it, okay, ready? A guy was at the top of the hill. Mm. It was ten seconds, right? Tiger. Because you can take all the time you want to figure out your putt. Oh yeah. You get, 15 seconds to hit the ball, and, and you go, all right, 15 seconds, click. Now you got a guy 15 seconds away that gets to run at you <laughs> as fast as he can, <laughs> and you have to concentrate and hit the ball in the little hole as this dude comes. And once you hit the ball, they can't, he can't hit you. Oh, okay. But if you're still doing the size up, and he's near you, you can bash him right in his face. <laughs> then it's a sport. Bicycling, not a sport. Wait, Skiing, no, wait, wait. not they, a sport. They said bicycling sport in the office. Oh, you did make a good point Certain for that. Certain type, because they, they, they run in teams, so some of them block, and there is a competition between people, so it's competitive in that way. If it's defense involved. There's defense involved because they do kind of run block for each other. Ping pong is more of a sport than golf. Because you have a guy that is trying to keep you from making your shots. Bowling? Keep the thing. Bowling. If if you if if you had midgets holding the pins <laughs> and they can lift them up. And you can lift them up. Or you can, or if you had to learn how about a midget how about a midget goalie? <laughs> I mean, midgets <laughs> lifted up the pins. That's just silly. You gotta just hook that ball around them. Just, just, just midget goalie in front. <laughs> to make it real. Yeah. Yes. You know what? You're right, Ope. I'm, I'm not even gonna exaggerate this. You can't exaggerate. We're gonna figure out how to make bowling and golf a sport. It, it's, it's add some type of real. I got an idea. Defense. Well, with golf, uh, I got an idea. What about landmines? Well, that's dangerous. Well, that's, that's not realistic. That's death. I got an idea with bowling. Oh, well, yeah. You don't want to die when you're doing a hobby. Right. Involves, when I, when the, midget. A involves got, the midget. Puzzle. Involves the midget. Go ahead. Involves the midget. I'm bowling, and this is legit. It could actually work. Okay. You have a red zone, a little square box that the midget must stay in, in the middle of the lane. Now, in order to oh, get a strike, you, you really got to be good and hook it. The skill you gotta level. You got to do that. That hook, you can't just sit there and roll straight on. Thank you. Hold on, but what about you can't just roll no. like, like you know how we bowl? This is bowl, legitimate. It's Wait, that the midget can't dive to the side. No, no, no. no he's got to stay can, in the box. You can always stop, but it teaches you. It's not really defense. He's, it, no, it is defense. It is. You can't part pull of the that lane away. Well, you wait, hockey. Wait a second. There has to be some kind. Of, yeah, there has to be some kind of interaction. There is, you can't. There are okay, hockey. Yeah. They because the puck is so small though, but the goalie has a a workable space. Right. To do, to do. Now, if you can get the ball past the midget, past in, the midget. That, in that I, zone. I say, in the zone. No, I say he gets the whole lane. Back no. and forth. Then, back then, and forth. Then let me tell you something. Not you you're to, never getting a Back a and pin. forth, not front to back. Okay, why in the, you know what you do then? Why in the, why in the bowling alley? To two sizes. Yeah. You widen the you you now double the size. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And maybe you chain the midget. <laughs> Dude, you, you need you need the midget zone because there's no way he could he sees it coming. He kicks it into the gutter every but time. But soon as you figure there's out that shot, one guy that could get you. Soon as you figure out that shot where it curves over and he can't touch it, then he's not even playing defense anymore. There's nothing he can you do. You gotta be. 
Are you? Let me tell you something. That's where the guy becomes an athlete and 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 a competitor in a sport. No, you now he just bowling. masters that one shot, and then there's no defense. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they gotta hook it, and it doesn't quite hook like they want, as close to the gutter. Opie, how can you have a skill where your practice doesn't involve competing against someone else? to stop you from having your skill, mm -hmm. where your personal ability is the only thing you're going against. Your score is the only thing you're going against. Gymnastics, not a sport, because no one is trying to prevent. Now, football, you have the, even basketball, which I think is the, uh, maybe other than baseball, maybe hitting a, a, a small object at 100,000. Does basketball hour. really have defense? <laughs> I mean, yeah, let's but be honest. I'm saying here's the thing about basketball that makes it very difficult. It's almost as if you were juggling, and a guy was trying to take your juggle uh, things out of your hand. So you had to juggle and back up and move while you're juggling. That's what dribbling a basketball is. So if you're dribbling a basketball, it's reverse juggling. A guy's trying to stop you from juggling. Can you imagine? If, do you understand what I'm saying? So my yeah. thing is, I'm not saying. That's why I believe Roger Federer is is a better athlete or he's an, he's more dominant in his thing than Tiger Woods. I'm not saying Tiger doesn't have a great skill. Right. But it's not a sport. Not a sport. And and I, I, I will now look at what they call sports a little differently. <laughs> Well, how do you make golf sport. more inter interesting? We got I the vision in the ball. Add, you add a 15 second yeah. But I can, can stop you. Can you add animals? Well, no. Like you crazy can't. dogs that might run on the course and just grab your ball and run. You got it. You can add distraction. Yeah. You can add. Um. You can add. Like I just they just show they showing the next game. Some dude, some seven foot monster, <laughs> is trying to keep you from putting a ball <laughs> in a small hole. Now, if somebody was trying to prevent Tiger from putting that ball in a small hole, it is now a sport. Yep. Simple as that. Skiing is not a sport. Swimming is not a How sport. How is skiing not a sport? Because it's a skill. What do you want? Linebackers on the side of the, yes, the hill? That when you're going, when you're when doing you're going downhill like skiing, 80 miles the an hour, guy should be able to bump you. Like football, uh -huh. bump you off your route. But if you just can just ski down a hill as fast as you can, which I'm not disrespecting what it takes to no, learn it's that. it's amazing. But it's not a sport. It's a, it's a, it's a very physical hobby. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he just writes it off as yeah, a hobby. It's a hobby. It's, it's like it's building a models. Right, hold on. Physical hobby. Let's go to Don in Jersey. Don, what's up? What's up, guys? Hey. How you guys doing? Good. All right. Just calling in to tell Patrice, there is a defense in golf. It's Mother Nature. Some days she, <clears throat> she gets mad and she gets Tiger's balls all wet, and some days she blows his balls all nah. wet. Let me tell you why that's not true. Yeah. They, can choose to, they can choose to cut down every tree and build domes. You can play golf in a giant dome. If you have no, to. You, yeah, stop. And, no. and when they have lightning in the area, they shut down the game anyway. It's not a sport. There's they no should make you. How about if they make you play in lightning? Does that make golf a sport? No, because you that's can't depend deadly. on Mother Nature. All that's right. that's just dumb. Just throwing some things out there. And look at that. And then that makes football. If that makes golf a sport, it makes football a quadruple duple duple sport. Because yeah. football, not only you don't you deal with someone trying to punch your face off, but you also deal with the snow. You deal with frostbite. All right, let's say hi to Mike in Cleveland. Mike, what's up? You know up? what else might make it a sport? Hey, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what else might make it a sport? They all tee off at the same time. And the first person to get the ball in the hole. So now it's they're competing against each other. O only if. Mm -hmm. Only I'll tell you what. Hey, I, he wait a minute. No, 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 no. Uh, no. I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. I'm, I, I believe in this. Wait a minute. And, and it's not even. Uh, it doesn't matter about your total score. It's, it's how many the, how many shots per you hole. Ready? You win that hole, you get a point. Right. Curling is more of a sport than golf. Curling, the thing where the guy takes the broom, right. sweeps because he can knock your. He can remove your skill. Even though at the time you're doing your thing, there's no uh, uh, opponents to stop you. To stop but you. there's something to prevent something to you prevent from you. having your skill. All right, you got a hole in your theory here because Burton Philly writes, okay, so the following are sports according to Patrice. 
Pictionary, Monopoly, <clears throat> curling, chess, checkers, and foosball. <laughs> no, no. Mm -mm. Ready? Okay, he think I thought of this. All right. All right. Ass. <laughs> chess is, ready? Chess is your skill versus my skill, mm -hmm. right? But your skill doesn't necessarily prevent my skill from happening. It's your skill is better. Golf, it's my skill versus your skill. Mm -hmm. But if I could take, at one point, if I could make a decision other than my skill to take your king off the board and just throw it. <laughs> <laughs> then it's a sport. <laughs> if I can smash your face into your pieces. Right. Right? Yeah. Then it's a sport. Arm wrestling. No one would ever win. Arm wrestling is a sport. But no one would be called your arm versus my arm. Right. And I am trying to Wait, 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 wait. Arm. All right, I get yep. that. But who wins in chess if, if you if you have that that little uh move you could do? It's com it's it's no one would ever win. I so think you have to have a winner in a win sport. If I was bigger and faster, and I know how to play chess. See, Tiger might still be a great golfer if, because, okay, say physicality was brought into golf. Yeah. Tiger's faster, younger than, say, these the Fuzzy Zella or whatever. He punches Fuzzy Zella in the stomach and then golfs. Right. So it's not, my, it's not Tiger's fault that he is more of a physical specimen than Fuzzy Zella or somebody. It's But the fact is... There's no sport, and I, let's, let's add something else, defense and age. There's no sport where a 20-year-old can compete with a 60-year-old. <laughs> True. None. Like you, you don't even have to sell me on this. And, and the chess thing, I got that figured out, how to make chess a sport. Yeah. Without any physical contact or flicking the, flicking the various things. Spiders? Up. Beforehand. <laughs> Any spiders. spiders. Spiders walking around the board, then you take the chance to move your piece no, around. You can't have animals or spiders. I want animals in my it's sports. It's got to be competition the between animals people. Yeah. What a, here it is. The, right. the chess boards are totally changed now in professional chess. Here's how they work. Each little square, you, can, you, you sit there with a little keyboard that the other guy can't see, and you can program up to a certain amount of squares that at any time you want, they just go boing and pop a, a friggin' thing up. <laughs> now you sit there and you can do it when there's a pawn on there, if that is what you want to do, or wait and see if a better uh, the, a piece gets on there. And it, then it, it, boing. Someone else, someone else directly affects your strategy. So then, no matter how good your skill is, if all of a sudden you're a queen, you put it on one of those squares, and I boing, and now your queen's gone, dude. Did I miss the pot party before the show today, by the way? This is, all, this is all like it's, pot it's, talk. No, it's not. This is it's pot talk. I am relating. Roger Federer. Roger right. Federer is more dominant of an athlete in a real sport than Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods is a great leisurely man. <laughs> hobbyist. <laughs> oh, he's a hobbyist. He's the, uh... But Roger Federer is taking other grown men who have... Mm -hmm. He's taking a ball and hitting it a hundred and whatever miles an hour at another person, yep. and that person has to hit it back at him, and he hits, it, and he is better at this than this other guy. This other guy's stopping Roger Federer's skill from happening. So Tiger's the king of activities, the king of leisurely activities. You know leisure what else? Activities. Activities. You know what else? Uh, between the golf and the football <laughs> thing, with golf, Tiger Woods has had some bad bad outings. And people that aren't even professionals have done better than Tiger Wood ha sure. Woods has done. These are just people that work at the office. They come in, they they golf, they decide they got to be good, but it's just your average schmo. Mm -hmm. You could never put on the gear, go into a professional, uh, 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 go and play uh, against a professional mm -hmm. football team, and you would end up dead. You would end up dead. Because that of the too. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. Any sport that you could possibly challenge a professional at. A professional. I don't know how to right. ski, but I can go, you know what? I'm going to try to ski down a hill faster than you. And he can't <laughs> stop me. So what if so you're in the what game. if something happens, right? Now, I cannot beat Kevin Garnett in the basketball game, no matter no. how much no. the gods are with me. If Kevin Garnett would have to be chained to a chair, and he still might beat me. And he would have to have the flu. And he would have to be <laughs> sick. <laughs> maybe, maybe even rickets. <laughs> Shingles. But I can say, Tiger, I'm going to go at you, and I'm going to hit this ball. 
and by the grace of God, it's possible I can get lucky enough to get a hole in one or or birdie or whatever they, the stupid things are called. <laughs> birdie. And it's possible with luck well, that I can no, beat Tiger Woods' no, no. score. Impossible. It, but what, it, it's a, but what you're getting it's at is probable. But, but what you're getting at impossible. is you actually are competing with him for the entire round or match. Right. In football, you're not competing. T- for the whole game no, because it's the by, first the, by, play. by the first or second play you are You're out done I'm calling my out. mother You're how about dead. this how about this the uniform you wear for your sport if you could go out to dinner in that same uniform <laughs> <laughs> it's not a sport i'm going to add that one <laughs> to I'm, dinner I, i'm moving on from the animals okay yeah like so, a tennis player can't go out and just go out to a nice dinner in his little tennis shorts oh, so so the criteria now no defense what's the other one i said uh-huh. There's no one. You can't wear your clothes. You can't be able to wear. <laughs> you can't wear the same clothes to dinner. <laughs> and you can't just play it with somebody. You can't be a regular person right after. You have to be able to have to take a shower. Right. <laughs> and take off your jock strap. <laughs> your sweaty jock strap. It was one other reason I forgot to. Yeah, that there's no chance that you could actually play this game against the professionals. Right. All right. Well, the phones, are, go, the phones are lit. They're going to add to this a yeah, little bit. a bunch bit. of golfers. It's, it's the defined. Opie and Anthony show. Hey, man. Let's see what Cleveland's all about today. What's up, Mike? Hey, I got an argument for Patrice on that one. It's only a sport if it can kill you. Hmm. That's not a, that's, <clears throat> I mean, that's an argument that's kind of for what I'm saying. The possibility of dying during golf, again, is um, maybe hit you. Yeah. Or runs over your foot and your foot's infected. But you get nailed by a golf ball in the temple. Yeah, but that's just a ball. It's like being uh, shot. I've never touched a golf ball. Yeah, I don't, why, I don't, uh, I'm not a hobbyist. How about the lightning strikes? That that doesn't count. It's just not a sport. It's just not a sport. It's a it's a com- competition. Mm-hmm. Uh, your 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 number against my number, but it's not a it's not a sport. It's just not a sport. All right, let's go to Greg. Greg, what's up? Hey, morning, guys. Good Listen, morning, Greg. When, when I was in college, I developed full contact golf it was probably the most fun we had when we weren't drinking on the golf course well how do you play all right it's teams of four each team has a designated hitter that guy is the one who hits the ball we kind of do what anthony mentioned where everybody starts off uh you know you start off with two or three different teams everyone starts at the exact same time now the other three guys on your team that are not your hitters are your blockers they may not pick up the ball, but everything else is game. So you can block the other teammates into their putter, into other putters. You can block them and hold them over the hole while the other guy's trying to putt the ball into the hole. What about That's when you're sport? on? Yeah, but what about when you're on the fairway? When you're on the fairway, you're pretty much just beating the crap out of your friends. Are you getting in the way of the swinging of a golf club? Jesus. You don't want to get in the way of the that's, swinging of a golf club, but you yourself cannot hit the opposing team's putter. But you can push their own people into the putter. So while you're on the fairway, you're over there pushing a couple of guys, waiting for the guy just before he's about to swing. You start body checking his friends into the swing. You so you could check to, his friends that into the swing. That's, that's exactly. a sport. That is a sport. And if yeah. Tiger was the best at that... I'll go Tiger Woods is better than, than Roger Federer if he continually continuously won at th- what this guy is saying. Better yeah. at a sport. And you don't get any 100-yard uh, hits. You don't get someone who hits two, 300 yards except off the tee. Mm-hmm. After that, you're hitting it like maybe 10, 20 yards. Cause you don't want a full <laughs> swing. You're not trying to nail your friends with a golf club. You know, and that is fun. You guys are nuts. That's fun. All right, thanks, sir. Let's go to Jimmy in Massachusetts. Jimmy, what's up? Hey, how's it going? All right, Jimmy. Uh, let's go back to the chess situation where you say you say you need defense in the sport, right? Yes, sir. And you say, oh, well, if I reach across the table, grab your face and smash it into the chessboard. Okay. That's a, that's a defensive play. Take, um, say you put my king in check, though. Mm-hmm. I now have to make a defensive play and block that check. Yeah, I think you're talking chess might have to be a sport there, Patrice. You know, <coughs> you know what? And, and I'm, mm. and I'm not mad. There is a defense. I'm I was not... playing chess this weekend, matter of fact. I was doing right. a lot of defensive moves. I'm now, not married. I'm not married to making things not a sport if, I, if you can sell. Now, if you if you considering that chess has a, an official defense, like your skill is affected by somebody else, like you can't have your skill 
if somebody's not trying to stop you. That's all I'm saying. So if if you agree that chess will stop, that that other person's skill can stop yours, well, then, then it's why, a sport. Why don't we add another rule? Like if you have a high IQ playing this sport, it's not a sport. All right, take take downhill skiing, <laughs> you know, racing or whatever. My my offense is I'm going to get in front of you. My defense is I'm going to stay in front of you. I'm not going to let you pass me. Wrong. Mm. That's not that's not defense. I was that that's defense. That's not well, defense. I gave you, I'll give you I'm chess you. skiing. That's 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 part of the skill. And but you are you can't really affect how fast I'm going. I'm going downhill with you. You can't touch me. You can't do anything. It's it's the fact that I'm faster on skis than you, which is not a sport. That's my skill is better than your skill. I have mastered my hobby. All right. I'm not buying All the right. chess one either. All right. I don't think I want to say chess either. You know why? It's it's defense. It's, def it's defense, but once removed. It's not defense against you directly. It's defense once removed to the pieces of the game. You're adjusting game. to that guy's move with his skill. You're adjusting, but yeah. you're not affecting All right, what right. he's doing. Let's go to Matt and Queens. Matt, what's yeah, I'm up? I'm not buying it. So check now. No, uh, I'm no, saying no. I take it back. Sorry, dude. You, you All just right. had me. Let's go to Matt and Queens. Matt. Good morning. Good morning. It's your golf. You got that windmill blocking the ball. And, yeah, there you go. Miniature golf is now a sport, Patrice. Uh, uh, you know what? <laughs> Mechanical if, defenses, if, if though. You, if you have, if you have obstacles, mm -hmm. they gotta be. They they can't be man made. It's, they gotta be human. It's not. <laughs> ex thank you, Opie. It's gotta be something that's living and breathing. Hurdles, the twenty meter hurdles. Yeah. Not a sport. That's in your way. In your way, no. Uh, detours, no. Yep. That doesn't make it a sport. Doesn't, doesn't matter. <laughs> Track and field, no. All right, uh, NASCAR, not a sport. What? Now you're going to get people crazy. But just, now you're going to get of people all, crazy It is there. absolutely illegal in race car driving to affect enough by by actually r these guys getting to fight. I see on on ESPN, yeah. dude, you Trade clip paint. me. It's illegal to do these things, man. Oh, you're allowed to do a little bumping. No, you're not. They bump. It's 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 accepted. You're like, gonna get beat yeah. up for smoking it. weed in Holland it's or drinking liquor in a bag here. It's accepted, but it's not legal to touch a man's car while he's driving. That car miles is an hour. absolutely a sport. Absolutely, you I got don't. you got team members on the track helping you out, it's, blocking other drivers. I don't see it as a sport though, because no, it's, a it's car. like bicycling. It's a car. It's my foot is hard, heavier than your foot, and I'm driving around. It's a skill. It's transportation. Uh, listen, everybody. If you, you just dumb down you, NASCAR to a heavy it's, foot, it's a skill. Are you insane? It's a hobby. You know how many rednecks listen to us, Patrice? It, listen, I'm saying it's a skill. It's skill. They should be happy with that. Very skill. If you have a I'm not saying you're a bum if you drive a car 200 miles an hour, but I'm saying it's not a sport. You can't. Now, look, if crashing your car against the side of the wall was was part of the rules, mm -hmm. then it's a sport. All right. Let me well, tell you something, you. too. I could drive a couple of hundred miles an hour. I could do it. I could do it today. Right now. It it has nothing to do with you. They're were dying old, a fiery car <laughs> crash. Old, in a broken field. down sons of bitches <laughs> in a car turn, first turn. that could do just as well as a guy that is uh, right. uh, good at the sport. And I, I tell you, oh, oh here it Doesn't is. Oh, I remember criteria. it was an age thing. Yeah. You you. It's not a sport if at 45 you can decide to take it up. Right. I was reading about this old uh, NASCAR driver over the weekend. Yeah. He's, he's going to be, what, 70, 72? Oh, and he's, Jesus. He's, hey, he's, stop. He's not allowed. Stop. Yeah, not allowed. Look it up. It was in uh, the paper on Sunday. Skill, <laughs> finesse, all that is there. But sport, I never thought of NASCAR as right. being a sport. How about, how about Dave in Philly? Dave, what's up? Hey, how you doing, guys? Good Listen morning. to us on WYSP. What's up, Dave? Patrice, you couldn't be more wrong, especially about swimming. Swimming requires mental toughness, unbelievable physical endurance. Yes. My son is a state champion swimmer in the state of Pennsylvania. Great for him. I, I dare you to get in the pool with him. I will I never you. beat your son. Patrice, but you that little sissy you. is not doing a sport. He is swimming against his own self, meaning no, that no, no one, not. wait, sir, no one, wait a minute, no one can take your son's head 
and dunk it as he's doing his right. little breaststroke. I like the opie animal idea yeah. for this one. Uh, thank you. It, it's the obvious. How about you throw sharks in the pool? <laughs> Is it now a sport? It has to be You're something. swimming faster and you're trying to avoid the sharks. Wait a minute. Now, water polo a giant is a sport. That's a sport. If your son played water polo, sir, he's an athlete. Wait, hold Wait, he on. is an athlete you know, anyway, the, but he's not competing the, in a sport. The only sports that you're picking on are sports that black guys suck at. The last it's not why? my fault. Maybe that's why they invented those sports so you can have something to do. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because your son is a swimmer. You're angry because he can't compete with those big giant N words that will smash his dumb little his dumb little butterfly. I'm gonna tell you something is not a sport if you have the term butterfly in it. I think it. I think he's right, Patricia. You people can't swim. We can't swim. But that's not true. We play hockey now, and you let us in there. Our ankles are stronger. That's and, true, I know. And he's only hockey. a state champion for Pennsylvania. Oh my God! How does he do against Florida? Come on, man, dude. <laughs> your son is your son is physically gifted, maybe, and he's yeah. probably good at it. He's probably skillful at it, but he's not in a sport. Yes, how fast he swims, no one can affect how fast. He swims, so he's not in a sport. All right. Absolutely wrong. All right, how, you, how are they affected? Because when he is in a in a competition and he's swimming, the guy in the lane next to him, even though there is a lane line in between them, mm -hmm. can go over to that lane line and cause turbulence. Meaning going into his lane. Ah, shut up. That's just people cause turbulence when they swim. Oh, it's something you got to get over, but it's not. Wow. Now pilots. I don't see athletes. it used much. Yeah. Oh, All right, Dave. Thank you. Shut up. Man, you're firing up some people today. Because they, 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 and the wait. shark, by the way, is too obvious. I, I say yeah. big octopus. Ah, oh, that'd be scary. Imagine ah, you're just ready to touch the winning, like right. the, the edge of the pool, and an octopus grabs your foot, oh, grabs he, your foot, and pulls you backwards oh, a little did bit. He make, did, 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 did he win his argument? Is, is no. swimming still not a sport? It's not a sport. Thank you. How about this? Well, uh, How about following this? the Patrice rules, no, it's not. I, got, I could turn anything into a sport that isn't a sport. Right. Here it is. Swimming. You go to the one end, you do that cool little flip move, and then you got to swim back, right? Yes. Whoever hits that first thing, there's a button there. You hit it, every other lane now has a current going in the opposite direction based on the fact that you got to the other side first. Nope, that's just like hurdles. But you it are the one that another, did it. Another person. Yeah, I hit. I what, got to the end first. What, what if you have uh, your opponent works a wave machine? And, As you're and, trying and, to and, do and, it. Okay, <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Let's figure this out. So he has a wave machine. Wave right. machine, and but he has to. And it's he, important it, how it has to be fast physically he... exerting to him. Right. right. So. Oh, now it's completely a sport. So, but, but. Mm -hmm. The only person that works the weigh machine is the other swimmer. Right. So y you're trying to. Uh, if he wears himself out, he's going to suck at swimming. He, exactly. So he's got to you balance. It's a fine balance. Then now that's a sport. I'll go with that. That's a sport. That's a sport. All right. Now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people are like people are just waking up, tuning in, going, "Did these guys smoke pot before their show today?" This is a pot legitimate talk. argument. <laughs> pot talk. And you know where this comes from? It comes from people again. If you didn't listen, Roger Federer, who's more dominant in their sport, mm -hmm. right. Roger Federer. Or Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods is dominant in his hobby. Roger Federer is dominant in a sport. Here's another one. If you have a lint brush in your equipment equipment, <laughs> equipment bags, can't talk today. It's a not lint a sport. Brush. A if lint, you can wear a, a, a sweater vest, <laughs> right. if you can wear a, a wife beater sweater. <laughs> If you can wear your same clothes to a christening. If you don't have to take a shower afterwards. Yeah. Swimming, you're already clean. He'll call back and go, dude, you dumb Negro. It's chlorine. You know, the you eyes can, can burn. Fresh, you, you can swim in a freshwater lake. The guy never got. Yeah, if we can after, all do it. If after you complete your sport, you can jump in your car and go to a wedding uh, without changing. How, dis a sport. how disappointed was that guy once he found out his I son know. is not an athlete? We can all like obviously we wouldn't beat his son. Of course swimming, not. But I could do it. I could jump right. in the pool. I could swim to one end. I could swim to the other. <laughs> Let's go to Sonny. Sonny. Hey guys, how the how the hell can Patrice turn around and say that skiing is not a sport? 
Is, I, it, is it because is it because Muhammad Ali? I mean, I, I'm starting to agree from that guy from Cleveland that you know he is, black people don't participate in all these sports. Ope, these, ope, what? Ready? Hold up, sir. I'm, I hear your point. Here's here's the Kramer situation. Mm -hmm. I made them mad enough to start going racial. I'm <laughs> right. No, great point. No, 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 no. And you if if you can name if you can name a sport. That black people don't. That do, uh, wait a minute, ready? I'll I'll turn this to I'll destroy the racial thing. All right. All right, listen. The hundred meter dash is not a sport. Black because people. Black people. Right. Sports. All right. With the agony of defeat, guy rolling down that mountain on yeah. his skis. He got defeated at his hobby. Sport? He That's slipped. Crazy. If he got tripped and it was part of the... Yes. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Do you see where I'm going now? If you could trip skiers, those old, and it's a sport. <laughs> sir, those old fast-running Negroes, I don't think Jesse Owens was was doing a sport. Right. Jesse Owens wasn't javelin throwing. not a sport. Yeah, he's beating no. up his own people there, Sonny. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It's not a racial thing. He's saying track and field, the, well, the... Uh, the well, all track and yeah. field, just about right. I'm trying to think real fast. Field, yeah, track and field, field in general is not a sport. It's athletic. No, no, it's an no, no, amazing no. skill. You're, You're fast and running, but it's not a sport. You cannot, you cannot put skiing in the sport. Yes, skiing I is can. absolutely in there. Yes. Tons of people get killed. On Where's the defense? Uh, it's, tons of people get killed by the obstacles, and it, the, the obstacles are dangerous. I didn't say it wasn't dangerous. It is not a sport See, because you're, me going down a hill is not affected by another person pushing me, yeah. hitting me, or touching me, so I can do it freely. And if I suck too bad and I can't miss a tree, that doesn't make me a god. <laughs> yeah, all right, listen, listen, Patrice. Just get, hold on, just get everyone on the same page, because people are just tuning in for the first time. Basically, Patrice said, you need some type of defense to make it a sport. Defense. That's what we're getting at. So, with skiing, let's say. Where's yeah. the defense? What, let's say defense is a guy with a blowtorch just messing up the course a little bit. Is, just, would that be good enough. Doing something. Or next thing you know, you're flying down something. a mountain and you hit like a, a patch of grass or dirt. Ready? That would affect We're your both performance. Going down. Okay. And I know. Okay. You know what? What makes skiing a sport? Any James Bond movie where they're skiing <laughs> down and this dude, and do a smoke he's screen next to you <laughs> and he's poking you with those sticks. <laughs> right. He's kicking you in your face now and that's you hard. fall and you win. Cause yep. put it this way, if I if you're better than me. And I can beat you by stopping you from being better than me. Mm -hmm. By 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 doing something that counteracts your ability. People are mistaking difficulty, skill. Uh, they're mistaking that for what you're saying. Why is that is not sport? acceptable? It's, it's skillful. Right. It's just not you're a not sport. not putting down the fact that it's not a skillful thing that takes years of training to get good at, and not everybody can be very good at it, but it's another thing that people do for recreation. I'm yeah. not, the, I'm strap not skis diminishing on. the skill. They strap really skis not. on, go to the mountains, and a lot of people are very good, and they ski, and then they go to the lodge, have oh. a few hot toddies. You never see people, like I said, putting on the helmet, the shoulder pads, getting out there, professional football team, and getting slaughtered. Right. Even flag football. Mm -hmm. Nobody's getting touched. But for me to be able to run and keep you from grabbing my towel outside of my pants. It's competing it's with a, a person. It's a sport. You're competing it, with a person. And if it's accepted that you could drink while you do it. It's not a sport. It's absolutely bowling to you. not. Yeah. Bowling Thank you to very much. But with golf, because this started with Tiger Woods, what about blindside tackling? What about you're officially against Tiger Woods? Right. And your whole job as he's playing is to like kind of, kind of blend in with the crowd and then make your move and and do your blindside tackle. Strategically, Opie, you just made golf a sport. <laughs> Strategically, now what that guy is, is an awful kind of pressure. Right. So you, Tiger's looking over his shoulder, <laughs> looking yeah, around, wondering where so the blindside tackle comes from. Maybe you get five. You call it surprises during golf. Right. Where. You, five times your opponent. Some guy in the gallery. Strategically. That's what I mean. Some guy just standing in the gallery that's supposed to be one of those <laughs> claps yeah, yeah. after the shot guys. And, and at any hole, this guy could be there and just run out and tackle you. And yeah. like football, they have the Motorola things and the guy upstairs and he goes, just like a, 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 a football, like, uh, what's the thing? John make a challenge? Yeah. yeah. You, somebody's upstairs going, okay. It, all right, he's good. Now. Sit him now. Wow! <laughs> 
East Golfer has five of these guys somewhere five, on the course. He would be petrified <laughs> every <laughs> hole. Your mind. How could you tee off? How, how could you just? How, and, and, and you can't, there's no home field advantage in golf because no one can talk. No one can go tiger. You, no fans no. of, 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 uh, Payne Stewart. I think Payne Stewart died, but I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. You know, hold died. on really fast. No fans of him can affect, Patrice. they can't even say tiger sucks. Yeah, let me throw that in there. Yeah. It's not a sport if you, if you're a, 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 a viewer or whatever and you're not allowed to it, cheer and to yell. To cheer or root during, for your favorite During guy. the game. Absolutely. Yeah. During game play. You can't play. have during concentration during a sport. Yeah. Huh? Just throw out tennis. Yeah, tennis. They, they, no, 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 they no. Wait a minute, though. Off. Wait a minute. That's the point, Dan. We're, we're talking aspects, Dan. Tennis is a sport because I'm trying to stop you. That is mm -hmm. a sport. So we can do that with no audience. Right. You can play football with no audience. But I'm saying that... You football dude, you're dealing also with people yelling. You're dealing with this guy calling you. You stupid. Rah. Negroes don't play. Now I gotta deal with that as I'm trying to f smash somebody in their face, or they're mm -hmm. trying to hit me in my face. Yeah, that's a sport. But golf, shh. All right, kill that squirrel. Hold on, we got a couple more calls, and we're gonna move on here. Joe in Jersey, what's up? Yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I agree with Patrice to an extent. And the whole thing is, a sport is something where you compete against another team. Teams have a lot to do with it. You know, if I can't score more than you, it's not a sport. Thank you. Well, that's, no, that's, well, because no, golf, you can score more than me. You can just score. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you know what? I should be able to shoot ahead of you then, and if you get up to my hole and you can pass me, then you can tackle me and stop me from uh, there, there you making go. a putt. Yeah, there's that's just plenty of ways to make it a sport. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with Chris in Pittsburgh. Chris, he, he knows how to make skiing a sport. Go, go ahead, yeah. Chris. Patrice, I think the only way you'd be able to make skiing a sport, let's say that, uh, that Anthony is, is the skier. You stand on the hillside with a hose and spray him as he tries to get out of the hill. <laughs> yes, and, All right, that's and good. I have to be... The the skier. Right. I have to also I have to then ski. Yeah, you, you can't, can't have a designated it. hose guy. And it has yeah, to be strategic. The be the hoser. It has to be a strategic time yeah. where I can use the hose. Can we sell yeah. this to ESPN? We're we're coming up with a great great show, man. Are you like kidding it. me? Let me tell you something. Can I'm you imagine you know, if we should I? Huh? Even open my mouth about this today, cause this is a show. This is so a show. This is a show, and I would You get people to, hold on, real sports. hold on, you get people to sign away their lives and you play golf our way, the Opie and Anthony and Patrice way. What's where you got five guys you? on your team somewhere ready to blind, blindslide you. Blindside tackles. Oh, I'm telling. I was sitting there going, should I? Because who wouldn't watch? It's like, okay, who we, wouldn't watch we, a downhill skier and you don't know where that? We make them a sport. We the make fire them a hose sport. is coming. The fire from. hose guy is. The and fire it, hose guy. Oh, God, I'm so pissed. I'm just so, knocks him off his oh, feet. Who wouldn't watch that? Who wouldn't <laughs> watch that? Who wouldn't watch golf every Sunday if you knew at any given time there was going to be someone's going to come running out and just blindside him? <laughs> kind of like the new Tiger Woods commercial where he tackles the dude. There you go. Imagine oh, if you get great. to see that Not during the actual sport, sport and did you or the see, competition, whatever. And open, did you see that they made a big deal out of that? That that Tiger tackled the dude. Yeah. Because Tiger innately knows he's not doing a sport. So, but he's he's athletic. So when he did that, they was like, "Hey, man, Tiger." He know, was you, showing that he I is mean, an athlete. Hey, yeah, dude, you got to be careful. He, they got stuntmen for that. And Tiger's like, "I could do that." Right. Did you see how upset? And I think it was the first jackass or one of them that the golfers got when they blew off those. Air, air horns, horns in the yeah. bushes. They'd hide in the bushes, wait for these guys to tee off and nah, blow the air horn. Hey, hey, now. Yep. Yep. Should be able to do that. Opie. Uh, all That's right. Good. We start with golf. We'll end with golf. Here's Ken. Ken, what's up? Hey, fellas. Hey, hey man. What's up? I think Patrice is absolutely right. Uh, it is an acquired skill. It is not a sport. Anything like uh, bocce, uh, darts. Bowling that you can play while <clears throat> drinking a scotch and having a cigar is definitely not a sport. It's a acquired skill. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yep. Um, Anything I, I, you can play at a nudist camp is not a sport. Billiards, <laughs> billiards could <clears throat> could possibly, under my rules, could possibly maybe be a sport. That's uh, kind of like chess. Oh, we both kind of like a chess one. You're d through uh, second generation of defense. You're not physically your body defending. 
But you're putting balls obstacle. in position. It's not it's a sport obstacle. if it's just obstacles. Right. Okay. But we've Somebody all played to... extreme pool. Who hasn't played extreme pool where you're allowed to shoot at the <laughs> at the guy who's trying to shoot? Oh, that's... You get a little drunk and it's, it becomes the a whole new thing. balls are launching off the table. Oh, yeah. It's smacking into each other full speed. What? That idea. I love your idea. Oh, uh, yeah. No, get. Just kidding. He's doing nothing. Get him in there right now and... <laughs> and pitch it. And pitch it. Get him to pitch it. <laughs> All right, why don't we uh, move on? We got the 72. He's 72. NASCAR run at 72. <laughs> Good old James No one would have stolen right? prostate. He should be able to do anything. Run You're the 72. I believe the he was. Ford Model T. <laughs> gets it out there. Crank it first. He was just passing him at 200 miles an hour. He's doing he like 38. scarf and big goggles. Those big goggles, yeah. Driving gloves and a hat. <laughs> Can I go with the hack line? <laughs> he's going to have his blinker on the whole time. Because <laughs> he's old. He's going to have his left hand blinker on the whole time. Loser. No blinkers in NASCAR, uh. so it's impossible. <laughs> it's got to be based on reality. Oh, uh, yeah, good old James Hill making a NASCAR run at 72. At an age when some 72-year-olds are having their licenses repossessed, nah, <laughs> James Hilton is people. cranking it up on a racetrack at the Daytona 500 at 185 miles per hour plus. Yeah, they've been joking about uh, joking about it, Hilton said the other day from his shop in Inman, South Carolina. They said Jeff Gordon came into the garage area to, too hard and ran over my walker. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> You're driving around in a little rascal, one of those little <laughs> souped-up little rascals. Whatever, he's going to... His car, race. it should come with a Tommy gun and someone trying to kill him. <laughs> on, on the running boards. Right. Ma, ma, that would make NASCAR a sport if you could have that going on. <laughs> right, you got your Defense. guys you got your guys shooting out you tires as tires you go. Out. Or, or, yeah, the other uh, people from the other pit crew, when they come into the pits... They can throw down those police spike strips <laughs> when they're ready to leave the pit. Brand new tires. <laughs> All right, we got Winnie. We got him. Well, Winnie, what's up? Make it fast, will you? Okay, I just want to know, is mugging a sport? <laughs> mugging? Why? Mugging somebody. Well, it's... Yeah, that's, uh, let's see. It's a guy, and he's in direct competition with somebody else. Somebody else. And there's a valuable <laughs> prize at the end. <laughs> Hell, then. I listen to all these crazy things here, and I, it just don't know. Well, Winnie, if, if, if you're going to go that far, you might as well go all the way, and then rape's a sport. <laughs> rape would be oh, a sport. God. Let's be honest oh, here. Oh, it God. truly is. It came out of your mouth, but we got to take it to the limit on this show. There's two people time. involved. One is trying to protect something from another and one competitor, is, another athlete. And one is certainly trying to score. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, when you put one between the uprights. She was not ready to go to distance with that one. I understand. You see, that, but... she had her little funny mugging quirk. <laughs> right. well, she probably had a tinge of racialness to it. And then it's it like, hey, rape's a sport. All right, you went too far. All right. All right, get done with you. I'm going back to Whoopi. I'm going to go wake up with Whoopi. <laughs> Where is wake up with whoopee ass? Screw it. All right, we got a break. It's the Opie and Anthony oh, show. God. Good morning. Patrice O'Neill giving us a lot of energy today, and we need it. It's a Monday. Stating the obvious, I know. I'm just a little tired today. Hey, Jay. Yeah. We were talking about uh, Hillary and Obama during the break. Patrice, help me out here. Hillary's on the trail. She's, help me uh, out. She's starting early. Anthony will not answer this simple question. Okay. Would he vote for a black president mm -hmm. or a female president? He has no choice. Can't answer. And he will not answer. Female. Even in the fantasy world. No. You'd vote for female. No, I can't answer, honestly. You're not voting for a black man. But, but you don't have I a choice. What I would your answer be? I also can't vote for a woman. It, and it's not... It's, it's based on what is good for this country. The country itself... Would friggin' lose its mind. I don't think, put it this way. <clears throat> the president is a position yeah. that can never slow down. Right. And God has put too many mechanisms in place in front of women for them to slow up. And every month when it's Vietnam down there, <laughs> slow down. <laughs> you gotta sit the pee 
You got to yep. have a kid. God wants you to not move like that. Could you see a pregnancy leave for the president? Well, that's what I'm saying. Le uh, Lisa Leslie, uh, one of the best basketball players in the WNBA, took leave of absence, not for a PCL mm -hmm. injury, not for bad back spasms, because <laughs> she got pregnant. And, and you're not and, allowed to... And she had to take, what, one or two seasons off? She had to take seasons off. The yeah. first season, to have it. Yeah. Second season, to, to love it. To nurture it. Now you're messing up. That's why it has to be a male president, because you have to move. Yeah, but the, hold on, but the age requirement for you know being the president it takes that out of the ball game. Don't matter, women have Hillary's babies. Hillary's not gonna have a baby. And this is just this but is she, just the first one. You want somebody having menstrual cramps, deciding on whether we're gonna rock oh. something or not? Or going through menopause. Then, all right, older older broads going through menopause. <laughs> she's got her hot flashes when she's sitting in that chair next to a diplomat. She's sweating in the Oval Office. Ah, I'm getting a flash during the State of the Union address. You don't need our president taking Levitra. <laughs> oh, well, he won't answer the question though. It, it'll be it just because I think because it's equal turmoil. I'll talk to him. Mm -hmm. You know, we've talked. Uh -huh. We've had this conversation already. Certainly. I feel out of your isms. Mm-hmm. Racism is more prevalent in prevalent in me than your sexism. Sexism. Yes. But no, in certain places, yes. In other places, no. In this studio right here, as I do my job on a daily basis, sexism way outdoes racism. I way. I would rather have 18 black people. I have no idea who they are. Then one woman come in here and spout off her bull crap, woman whole crap. Radio kryptonite garbage. Okay, so then that so that it's in certain Obama. situations. That almost made sense. But it, it, in your in, <laughs> you were, in your you were, isms in your <laughs> isms he's had a lot you're of saying isms there. that your yeah. your sexism is sexism in the, your racism in the presidency. I believe my sexism comes in more than racism. So I still haven't figured Obama. it out though. It but it's still too close. I'm still dealing with it. And I don't if, think this it's country. Not Obama, I think it's very extreme. For, for this country to feel like they can vote for a, an Obama as president, but they certainly can vote for Powell. Even so I though, think they right. can vote for Colin Powell versus versus uh, 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 Hillary Clinton. I think it well, would be Colin Powell. But Powell screwed up like a real white person to white people. Take the race out of it. He screwed up like a real white person. They would look at his record, not his race. They would say, this son of a bitch went to the U.N. with a bunch of crap that Bush handed him and presented it, and he screwed his whole career up politically doing that. Oh, and he's black. They wouldn't care about the blackness because the guy didn't come off like a, a homie. The guy didn't come off... Obama doesn't either, but let me tell you, the name the is name, gonna hurt him. The name and is white he's people. too black. He hangs around with black people. Black people would love him innately because, uh, see, the thing about this country that, that I've explained is that black leaders are not voted for. Mm. Black leaders are appointed appointed by, by, by their white, constituency. No, 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 they're appointed by who white people hate the most. White people appoint black leaders. You know, Al Sharpton, white people hate him. Right. Like, you are a black leader. But they oh, have good point. They have not put Obama as a black leader because the guy is so, they don't hate him. So they're trying yeah. to eliminate his blackness. But black people, he has this thing where black people are going to love him, and that's why he's going to be in trouble. It's bad for white people to come off as if they hate Obama. Right. It makes you look bad. Hillary, if Obama was uh, uh, Bill Johnson, some white guy, and he was running on the Democratic ticket and had as much heat as he does and against Hillary, Hillary would be bashing the crap out of this guy. She is going out of her way to be polite to him, saying, well, he's a bit inexperienced, you know, in office, and that well, she but, should but be voting, laying into but, him. Yeah, but she should be using work, the N-word. They might be running mates, though. <laughs> Might be, but that never stopped the Democrats oh, before the primary. It never it. stopped them from bashing each other. It's a bit but, different but, this but time around for some reason. Covert. That's, the th that's another thing is that I don't think it'll happen because you can be a covert racist and vote. You don't have, mm -hmm. They don't say, all right, Fred Smith from Iowa, who'd you vote for? Yeah. It's like, shh, we don't tell that. Don't but if you had to say who you vote for, then it's, all right. you know. I don't see him. And, and you had a thought about the uh, top grossing uh, yeah, the, artists uh, of the year? Concerts of this year. And that and th that's why we won't have a black president or yeah. a female president. Yeah. Number one was the Rolling Stones, because whenever they come out of uh, mothballs and tour, uh, the money just rolls in. They made $150 million on tour last Amazing. year. Amazing. And what was number two of the year? Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. I rest my case. Who was first? 
Uh, the Rolling, Rolling Stones. Stones. Whenever they roll them out, okay. they're going to win. They're going to get first. Then you got Rascal time. Flats. Rascal Flats is third? Yeah, then you got Madonna. All right. See, this is why. Country. Tell you the truth, you got... Country. Then you got Kenny Chesney, another Kenny country Kenny Chesney. Artist. These are the That's people... Right. You friggin' idiots that live in the cities of this country. L.A., New York City, Chicago. They're, these are Boston. These... You don't think like the majority of this country. The majority of this country is throwing around the N-word like crazy when Obama comes up. They're throwing around uh, the C-word when it comes to Hillary. They're not voting for these people. And they're the ones that have the, the masses. Those are the numbers. You get the cities and it's like, wow, we are such a free-thinking society. Look, it's the first time ever we're really seriously going to have a black candidate and a women candidate. Shut up. Look who friggin' is going to the concerts and what concerts they're going to. You don't get excited by the possibilities of something Stop different. Stop it. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. It's going to be another white guy in office for four years. <laughs> I agree with you. It, it ju it's going to happen. Hey, uh, well, Hillary was... And if, the Repu and if the Democrats don't smarten up and see that and get a good white candidate in there to run... We're going to go right back to having a Republican in there for four more how years. Long they gonna, got, how long is it going to take for, for this country to be ready to... Uh, flying cars in mylar suits, my friend, before we ever see black Space president. food. Space food. Uh, Martian colonies. Squeezing your food out of, like, toothpaste containers. Martian colonies. Yeah. White people are very afraid. What Even when... The president of Mars? The president of Mars can be a black guy. Oh I will give him the president of oh presidency in Mars. Well, cause he, so Because he just has... The president of Mars! Yeah, because he just has to rule over amoebas and stuff. Oh, come on, man. Oh, y'all are awful. We'll give you Mars. Yeah. We'll give you Mars. There's something living in that, uh, like, Black muck. president of Mars. White people aren't or so if, afraid. Or if a meteor gets ready to hit the planet, there'll be a black president. Your president. Like Freeman. Help us out here. <laughs> he, he, here's a problem, too, with black president. If it's a black vice president. I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah. If, it's possible uh -huh. if... Like you said, if a white guy right now, if a white guy ran for president and o and Obama was his running mate, still a it's tough sell. Possible. Yeah. That's gonna be a tough sell. And if something happens to that guy, oh my goodness, Obama will be the president. So Pope, Pope mobiles and all. Just keep that guy in a bulletproof glass case and <laughs> carry him around. Bad? Is it still that bad? Yeah. It anyway, is still that bad with the the with the rest of the country. We are free thinking, nice. The the major cities, but. Uh, it gets crazy when you get out there. Did you hear Hillary over the weekend? She was uh, she was kind of cute, talking was, about was she talking about uh, evil men. Oh, really? And how she knows evil men. Yeah, she she's was married, married to, to one. Oh, okay. Or is married to one, technically. Good for her. Hillary Clinton was on the campaign trail in Iowa today, but absolutely shocked people with a comment that some believe was shocked a shot of her husband. You know, but I what did she before, really mean by the news? Just Shock, shock politician. Look at the look at the face she's got on the front page of the post. She's smiling and pointing. Yeah, just having fun with this. But the and news winking. makes it sound like it was. She was definitely going after a. Yeah, that could be a you husband. son of a bitch. Oh man, look. that was. Think? That could was. Be. I support my husband and. Uh, well, they know it's in the best interest of her running for president that they all what? of a sudden be seen together. The, these two idiots. Haven't even kissed in public or held hands since he was th uh, t uh, thrown out of office or whatever. Since he was out of office. They obviously got some kind now, of arrangement. Now, she's running. They know that you got to look like a family. So he's going to support her. There's no love there. Get out of here. Who's buying this crap? I think, by the way, she's the she is absolutely the best, uh, the best looking uh, first lady I've ever seen. Do you? I think she's the Laura Bush. No, no, no. Let me think. Jackie O and her daughter. And you her thought day? Hillary Clinton was better looking than freaking Jackie Laura O Bush? in her day. Absolutely. I, I, no, I, Jackie O with those oh, alien oh, eyes. Oh, I'm sorry. In her part. day, part, not the old Jackie yeah, O walking know, around Manhattan. Yeah, I'm talking yeah, about the young one. Her eyes were too far apart. Absolutely. Jackie, the young Jackie, Jackie yeah. O. I'm sorry about that. I take that back. When they first hooked up. Jackie O and Kennedy, when they first heard Jackie O, was cute. I forgot about Jackie Then o. she turned into some monster walking around New York City with a big friggin' ant glasses. And, 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 I was a and, fan and, of Lady Bird. 
Ooh, and Jesus. Lady Bird Johnson, you're so wow, stupid. how do you like that? <laughs> Lady Bird. Lady Bird Johnson. Oh. Look at her eyes, though. They're a little too far apart. Eleanor Roosevelt. Now, there's a hottie. And oh, I'm talking man. about during the presidency. Not, <laughs> right. Not when she was 16. Yeah, it's yeah. Like during the presidency, I thought Hillary wasn't a bad-looking All right, lady. I guess you got to take, uh, yeah, Jackie O would be on top of everyone's list. Jackie, Jackie O. But she's in a league of her own. Then, wh All right, who would you go with Hillary, next? Hillary. Hillary over Laura she Bush. She's better looking You're than insane. Laura Bush. She really is, man. You're insane. She got a Hey. meaty little dumper. All of them look the same Ooh, up in the life. <laughs> that old broad. <laughs> who, the, the, president, the mother of the president. Insane. You know what's great about the Barbara mother Bush? Of the president of the president's I, father. Yeah, I said it the other day. <laughs> she hasn't aged in 20 some odd years. Because now she's catching up to how she was supposed to right. look. And George Bush is the finally Bush is like finally looking the same age as Barbara Bush. Yeah. She looked years looked older like than his the mother. guy, but but she has not aged since then for some weird no. reason. No, cryogenic. She went from freezing. She went from thirty nine to seventy in yeah, one she year. She looked seventy at thirty nine. Right. <laughs> so now it's but, caught up. But now she's been all her life. But now she's looked seventy, seventy five for the last twenty years. She's gonna wake up one morning and George Bush Senior is just gonna look over and there's gonna be a pile of dust with a white wig on it. <laughs> she's just gonna completely disintegrate. I hate to say that, but it, but the, it, he Barbara, but she might have been the most uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. It just it was it was almost like that deaf comedian who. Like, oh, you, you don't want to like, watch it. You try to listen to the funniness that she's going. And I am in you. And you're like, wow, I gotta pretend that this is not happening. Mm -hmm. Every time I saw old school Barbara Bush, I just would go, this this guy looks better than this. Yeah. He deserves better. Like, this is truly love. Not only did she look exa exactly the same, she hasn't changed her clothes. Yeah, right. She wears that blue that suit with the blue hair, blue hair, the, hair the big afro, and the uh, the white the string of pearls around her neck. Exactly. Everywhere. It's Laura, scary. Laura is a good looking. Laura, as Laura a, Bush as is a, good looking. First lady is she a good looking. She got to go funny eyes, I think, a little bit like a Reba. <laughs> <laughs> but, Reba. But, but she's not bad. All right, let's. Uh, this is what Hillary uh, was up to over the weekend. Back, 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 back. Was on the campaign trail in Iowa today, but absolutely shocked people with a comment. Wrong. That some believe was a shot of their husband. No, you well, believe. What did she Say really it. mean by it? In many ways, New York Senator Hillary Clinton's first foray onto the 2008 presidential campaign trail was a success, even exceeding some of the campaign's own expectations. But if critics were looking for something to complain about, they may have found it in her answer to an audience member's question. It was posed, what equips her as a woman to deal with some of the world's evil and bad men? She repeated the question, and the reaction raised eyebrows. Well, the question really is, we face a lot of dangers in the world, and, and in the gentleman's words, we face a lot of evil men. You know, people like Osama bin Laden comes to mind. And what in my background equips me to deal with evil and bad men? And that's when she was pointing at her man, husband. Man, she compared her husband to Osama no, bin Laden. Man, no, she was just trying to have some dude. fun. She was yeah. she was making a, she a, 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 joke. a mockery at at the at the uh, press. That's a, right. she made a joke. Like you made my husband evil, and I'm shut up. To her, he was evil. That wasn't shocking. Wait anybody. a minute, to her. Uh, little the husband was evil. She was just she having fun there. with it. They weren't sleeping together. And I'm going to tell you, uh, Bill Clinton was such a pimp. I believe oh, yeah. that she knew. There's, there's no way he didn't say, look, I'm getting a little side. And she's like, sweetie, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, but keep it on the Not only did she know, she was getting some of his uh, she was you know, doing leftovers. She side, too. Yeah, she was doing something. It, there's no Butch, way. They were working, yeah. uh, they were working that angle together, I yeah. bet you. He blew, he blew it. That's what. Well, I... Uh, I think her making a joke out of it is kind of good for her. Okay, mm -hmm. I could see that. Because yeah. a lot of the, uh, I think uh, when when the Republicans start getting a hold of her, it's all going to be about, you know, you couldn't even keep an eye on your husband. You're supposed to keep an eye on our country. There's going to be a lot of that going on. What? So she better get this out of the way it's quick. It's going to be a lot of fun as we move forward yeah. here. The country is desperately trying to get a Democratic president. Yeah. All the Democrats have to do is come it's up with one quali the Democrats qualified guy. Bush has screwed up so badly that they have to really screw the pooch on this one to uh, not get a Democrat in there. But I guarantee they will. They'll mess this up. If they up. go with a gag ticket, they will absolutely screw this up. If they mess this up, they should retire the party like they retired the Whigs. Bring back the Whigs.
Like the, the wigs. The wig party. They should go the way of the wigs <laughs> the, if they blow this one. The wig. I'm running under the wig ticket. <laughs> There's so many Republicans that are like, you know what? I'm going to vote Democrat this time around. Yeah. There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a bunch of people out there saying, I'm going, you know, I'm going Democrat. They want one. I need that, something that's different here. It. Don't give us joke tickets. Don't give us a novelty ticket. It's a novelty. Oh, it's a woman. Obama is not a novelty, but it, this this old this country is just too racist to deal with it, man. Yeah. All right. Listen, really fast before we take a break. Uh, good old uh, no filter Paul was at it again. When did this happen? Friday. Uh, yeah, I think so. That's when I got my news alert on the uh, my email. What? That's when I got my news alert on the email from him. Oh, he tells uh, you when yeah, Oh, happens? yeah. Oh, yeah. Sends me the file. I, I laugh my ass off. Uh, no Filter Paul did a uh, assault on the media on Friday. And uh, he also put together a montage of uh, a lot of assaults on the what? media. That's a <laughs> rock montage. And it's up on opianthony.com. He did a very, very good job. All the assaults on the media that have happened over the years. Uh, where is this uh, available to view? Opianthony.com. Okay, because you got to see this. Uh, he does the assault on the media. This woman is doing a report. Oh, the new one's up there. Yes. I'm, yeah. And then, of course, it's part of the montage that he just uh, made on his own. Thank you. The, the new one, uh, he, he is behind the reporter with the sign, Opie and Anthony, Opie and Anthony. That's only half of it. When they go back to that female anchor, uh, her teeth are ready to just explode in her mouth. She she, she is fighting down like this. And she's going, thank you. She is more pissed than I've ever seen a newscaster. Yeah, livid. Well, we don't uh, we don't think what they do is uh, news. We don't think what they no. do is serious. We don't think it's we don't think anything. News like entertainment. That's what it is. It's news entertainment. News, not a sport. No. <laughs> and if news was a sport, it would not be a sport. Right. right. That would be funny. Imagine one used to be. Imagine one news station had the balls to have blindside tackling, and they they say right at the top of the newscast during the news today could be the weather. Sometime between the next somewhere in the next half hour, there's going to be a blindside tackle as you're watching. uh, Anchor could be the sports guy. Could be somebody you never know. You never know. You could, would, you would watch. You could blindside tackle the cameraman, so all, all, you just see the shot get all messed up. <laughs> blindside the light guy, oh, so the lights go falling down. You'd definitely tune in. Oh, I would watch every night. Massive ratings. <laughs> Massive. Well, here's No Filter Paul. It's up on opianthony.com. The montage is up on opianthony.com. But uh, here's the uh, here's the latest assault on the media from No Filter Paul. And this murder investigation has become the talk of the town. In fact, today we saw many people driving by this police scene, even stopping to take a look at what they were doing. That's partially because murders are so unusual here in this town. The mayor of Tinton. Live from Tinton Falls, Paisy Chang, News Channel 4. All right, Paisy, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, you can even hear it. Thank you so much. Oh, she was pissed. Thank you so much. Oh, I love how she just has to stop talking. She doesn't listen again. Listen again. And hold on, hold on. Investigation has become tried. the talk of the town. In fact, today smooth, we saw many smooth, people driving smooth. by this police scene, even stopping to take a look at what they were doing. That's partially because murders are so unusual here in this town. The mayor of Tins, live from Tinton Falls, Paisy Chang, News Channel Four. All right, Paisy, thank you. She so cut much. off a report, and didn't she? Yeah. And then she was right, in mid sentence. And she went live from... She was in mid-sentence. Yeah, she said, screw this. And she just bailed out of the report. How, even, how does he know to go to where he goes? He is like Kreskin when it comes to these things. He just knows. Somehow he knows. I don't question it. it, it uh, the assault in the media thing has just become his. It's just yeah. his thing now. It's, it's his the sport. thing he does. It's his thing. He's very good at it. So, and uh, he does it. To just show up and have it all ready. Yeah. The latest video, oh, yeah. it's great. It's up on opianthony.com. I've never seen a news truck, but even by mistake. Yeah, and he's <laughs> there, the news truck's there. The camera's out. They're ready to roll. He's got everything going. Taping it. <laughs> and he's sitting there just with his his wrestling, um, <laughs> his board, we you know. Yeah, it's Opie and Anthony's sign. Little sign. Sign, and he's just. Oh, that's great. Jeez. By the way, uh, we don't really endorse the assault on the media. It's not like not we're giving we. prizes away like we used to. Hey, they do what they yeah. do out there. Yeah, whatever they want to do. A little bit of advice. Uh, don't yes. touch anybody, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching the uh, montage. Oh. 
that's up on opianthony.com yeah. and some of them are just beyond, beyond hilarious. The tug of war one oh, outside yeah. Letterman's uh, studio. There's a bunch of them where you just see animals jumping out of news trucks and tackling tackling fans of the show. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. All Thank right, you, we, Paul. We uh, we got lots still to do with Patrice O'Neill in studio. It's the Opie and Anthony show. We got so much to do. I don't know where to go. Where do you want to go? You want? I uh, just grab something, throw it in, and we'll laugh at it. All right. It is a weird, like slow news day. We we took care of the politics. We took care of the golf is uh, not a sport. It was good. Uh, we t- took care of like uh, pot talk in general today. <laughs> A lot of pot talk today. Where you talk like you're on pot, not talking about pot. I understand that. Okay. Well, she makes it really easy for us, and we try, we really try to not go here. But this time around, we can't help ourselves. Karen Meyer is back. Karen Meyer. Love her. I, we can't get enough of Karen Meyer, but we kind of think, in a way, it might be too easy and too mean. But, you know, when she's doing something called Crip Slam Sundays... What? It is our job to play the audio. What is it? Crip Slam Sundays. Karen Meyer, of course, she's a news, uh, a news hua from Chicago. <laughs> Jesus, you're trying to be nice? A news hua. She does the, uh, like, a uh, little human interest, uh, uh, disabled stories. Well, she's deaf and she's on the news. <laughs> she's deaf. Which is just amazing to me. It's amazing to me. They have to run subtitles oh. under her, uh, her reports, because you really can't understand what she's saying. See, if Karen Meyer's allowed to do the news, then I should be allowed to just play on the PGA Tour. Yeah, why not? Why not? Like, why is she on the news? Except for the fact it's something people talk about, she has and it's a freak show. It's a gimmick. It's, it's a gimmick. Style. A lot of these people have style. She has substance. It's a gimmick. How do you know if she has substance? You don't. You can't even understand what she's saying. You have to read. She makes you have to read the news. That's right. You have. If to I read. want to read the news, I'd pick up the New York Times. You're gonna to have to read Pan's Labyrinth. You're gonna to have to read. You have. To, you had to read. Uh, 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 I'm not reading. Uh, Downfall. Uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Das you have Boot. To, Guess das what? Boot. Read it. D- decide not to read those. Just because films. she said, "Where are we, Quentin?" Mm-hmm. You have to understand she means Hillary. Um, oh, <laughs> my mom, my mama. You have to understand that is Barack Obama. All you got to do is listen to her. Listen with your heart, and not with your ears. She's making a Give mockery of us broadcasters. What you, How about that? What you, Obi? <laughs> <laughs> She's making a mockery of the business. Back and through. <laughs> Back and through, Al. What do you say, Al? <laughs> what do you say, Al? <laughs> that make it through? <laughs> what do you say, Al? Al? <laughs> what the? <up, Obi? laughs> uh, uh, that's a that's a judgment call that Al's gonna have to make. <laughs> what do you say, Al? <laughs> he has no idea. He's throwing his arms up uh, in the air. I don't know. It's, it would kind of sound like it, I guess, with a W. Uh, so, so Karen, what does she do a story on? It's uh, Crip Slam Sunday. She does the disability stories. I don't know what Crip Slam Sunday is. Uh, we're going to find out here. It's, no, it's, no, no, we're not. Is that anything? Oh, like yeah, I would love to know. Is that anything like Blood Slam Tuesday? <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking the Crips. <laughs> is it the Crips? He's kind of ripping us off, telling Fred who, 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 because oh, no. back in the day, we started a thing called uh, Crip Bouts. Ah, uh, yes, Cripple Fights. Cripple yeah. fights, and we want to call it Crip Bouts, and yep. someone reminded us that maybe you shouldn't uh, show favoritism to the Crips. Yeah. And we're saying, no, Crips as in cripples, but uh, I they guess it was too close, it. and it got people nervous. So we uh, changed it into, what, Cripple Bouts or something like that? Yeah. Something like that. All right. Well, she's doing Crip Slam Sundays. Well, it's live performances by people with disabilities about disabilities. All right. Wow. See, you're right. We had to go here now. I, I got to hear this. This is like people performing, and they have disabilities, and they, their performances are based on their disabilities. Correct. Oh, I love this. We mem this city. Nothing better than a comic with CP or something that we goes up. We this city on my and my. And my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's despicable. And I want to hear every moment of it. All right, here's Karen Meyer. She's out of Chicago, by the way. It's the Mino Countdown. 
<laughs> Why does it have to be bad 80s song, by the way? That's all they hear. They, were they don't know what new music is. Because that was the last is. time they heard. <laughs> I yeah. get it, they're deaf now. <laughs> Oh, God. Nank on me, nank on me. Nank me, nank on me, I'll be gone, then they don't do it. Damn me, money, nan, money, nan. Damn me, money, nan, money, nan. Come on, I mean. I said, come on! I need to know what to come on, I need! I swear, I need... You're not easy! I mean... Can someone do Kaja Google, please? No, do... Da, 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 Are you watching? I can't tell. How's that? Did you watch? Are you by the mind? <laughs> Mark night and you don't know. Mark night and you don't know. Hey man, if Mondays were deaf karaoke night, who wouldn't go? Who wouldn't go? And the man that made no way of the dog, the man that the dead, the young, and the dad thing, the dog, the dad thing. I don't know, I can't hear them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> oh, my ears are sealed. My ears are sealed. <laughs> you spin me. My man baby my man that 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 baby that. Lip it. Lip it boy. No 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 no. No 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 no. No guy. Me not. Don't do them, bend the band and let do them, they rap, don't do them, when the world go bad, bad, bad. Me and your mom, they go. Frankie said, I don't know. Me and me not, me boy, you don't go. Cause I can't hear them on the air, but I want to clap. Me and me not. I told him get me up. Be <laughs> more you know no. <laughs> Can you do Tain and Love, please? Dun dun dun, bim da da da. My no man. Let me hit the table. No, 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 no man. Dun dun dun, man, my baby, do my baby, my. <laughs> oh. Yeah, why are they all bad love. 80s songs? Man, yeah, Patrice. <laughs> Wait, I got one here. This is an actual oh. uh, deaf person singing uh, a song from oh. back in the day. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yes. I have got a new life. You would hardly recognize me. I'm so glad I'm your person. Ba 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 ba. Hey, I smell bed, yes, of course. It's my job to say I smell bed. We should do deaf karaoke on the Opie and Anthony show. Is there any way we could like make people completely <clears throat> deaf, deaf where they can't hear themselves. Of course, yeah. Well, I, I mean, ear well, poison and all that, but we go. got a lot. We got to go a lot further than no, that. No, because you kind of still hear it resonating in your head. In your yeah, head. that's like the problem. You can't right? even hear that. Oh, really? That's the difference? Ice pick into the head, ears if anybody wants to do it. I think uh, the lawyers will frown upon I it. I want to be. No, you just know because you already know what you sound like. That's why. I'm, yeah. That's why I definitely would talk like that. No, 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 It's really all I can say to you. No, no, no. I want to me. What? Your man, damn You're going to call my name. 
But I can't hear the call. Hey, let's go to Sean. Sean, what's up? What's up, boys? How we doing? All right, Sean. I can't hear Mexican radio. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Punching out. What a... Oh, boy. Oh, uh, there's yeah, always one. Party's there's over. There's always one. Hey, really? Party's over. What's up, Jim? The bit is over. The bit is over. What's up, Jim? This just isn't funny. I mean, my son's death. This is irreprehensible. Irrep... What? Or irreprehensible. Hey, is, uh... Are you the owner of this radio station that we're on? Mm, no. All right. All right. Then carry on. <laughs> With the bit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear it. But you know what? I bet you... The if, people that eat, yeah, as long as you don't tell the son what, don't what tell happened them. today... The people are always defensive against... The, the thing the that... The people... That hits his his son will probably be rolling. Yeah. If he, if, if he heard if it. If he could... No, nah, what happens so when you wouldn't do be deaf? Ninety nine loof balloons and deaf is not funny. When you do uh, a show like ours, the problem is everyone laughs until it hits too close to home, and then it's like, hey, I enjoy everything else you guys do, exactly. but the but deaf yeah. thing not funny because I got a my son's a sissy swimmer. My son is deaf. He's like, all yeah. right, uh, we get it. I'm diabetic. You still eat cookies. All right, let's go to Dom. And, uh, I couldn't hear it through the grapevine. <laughs> I couldn't hear it through the grapevine. <laughs> let's go to Dom in Jersey. Dom. Hey, what's up, guys? Love you. Hey. Hey, uh, I wanted to hear what uh, Domo Arigato and Mr. Roboto would sound like. It probably would sound the same, no? Yeah, no, 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 it's so stupid. That's why it's it really is just uh, stupid. Even about deaf people. It's just it's so stupid. All right, let's singing bad songs badly. I'm not ready to give up on this idea. We got Pete in Boston. Pete, what's up? Yeah, it's Keith. All right, Keith, what's up? Maybe I'm deaf. Uh, you could get the same sound if you do Novocaine karaoke. Hmm. Oh, yeah. dead in the mouth. You know something? How do we dead in the mouth? Well, that's we legally. Need, we need a licensed dentist. With Novocaine to, shoot. to just right. shoot it into people's mouths. That's uh, what they sell over the counter to make your mouth numb. Nah, that doesn't work as good. I, I, I'm talking that when when they gotta work on your bottom teeth and they hit that nerve right at the jawbone where it just deadens half your face. Do it to both sides and then have them sing karaoke. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be wishing you didn't do. Oh, that. is that great? Oh man, let's say hi to Carlin <laughs> in Massachusetts. Carlin, what's up? Hey, uh, you mentioned deaf karaoke. There's actually a bar in Quincy, Mass. that has a deaf rapper on uh, karaoke night. Oh, wow. We need audio. Wow. We need audio. I, uh, I'll see what I can pull off the board. But, I mean, the guy starts and goes like two minutes past the end of the song because he just has no idea. He comes up with his own lyrics, just curses people out, and it has nothing to do with the song that he picked. Uh, other police. Up, up, up the police. <laughs> 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 what do you say, Al? Al? A lot of judgment calls today, huh, Al? Let's go to uh, Pedro in Brooklyn. Pedro. Hey, Pedro. Hey, Ole, good morning. Did you? Wait, what's the line again? Pedro. Did you uh, stick your finger in the peanut butter? In the peanut butter. You know, he's cute. He's a nice guy. I'm in love. Fuck, you put your finger in the peanut butter. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I went old school for some people. Let's say hi to Pedro. Pedro. What's up? Uh, hi, uh, One, uh, let me just go with this and punch out. I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I really did, so. <laughs> More retarded than deaf, but good, good. Thank you. Uh, very good. And I can't believe you didn't know Sledgehammer. Oh, that was worse. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm on a me. Good I'm on. <laughs> My! That is just so wrong. Someone's man. suggesting, uh, well, Rochester checking in finally. Rapper's Delight there. <laughs> all W's whip wop. Is this what her story's about, by the way? <laughs> oh, I forgot. Is it, any, is it even resembling what we're doing here? What, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. We were talking about a little bit. We 
want to do called break. How do you numb? Uh, how do you numb the tongue, Matt? What's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Hey, you know that stuff you put on your teeth when you're you got a tooth pain? Mm -hmm. you, you like put ambisol. Over your tongue. Ambisol, huh? Hello. Like ambisol. Oh, we heard. Were you deaf? Uh, you can put that stuff all over your tongue, and it'll do the same exact thing as Novocaine. He's all upset that we didn't hear him. Hello. Hello. I have something to say here, and we were answering you and talking to you. You're a douche. <laughs> uh, well, Gooch is always good for one. Gooch in Cleveland, what's up? Oh, Mickey, what a penny you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's got to be the awful 80s tunes. It just, it just it, works better that way. Yeah, they all yeah. Play. Uh, the songs are just awful. Well, this uh, might work. Uh, well, uh, the bum now. In the middle of the night, moon, 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 you're moon, 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 I like that. I had no clue what it was until the chorus. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's go to, uh, it looks like Cameron. Yep, that's me. Because everyone spells Cameron, C-A-M-O-R-N. Camorn. <laughs> that can mean one thing. Craig is on the phones today. Uh, what's up, Cam Camorn? <laughs> I got an idea for you. Have a chubby bunny karaoke. Chubby bunny karaoke. Do we have any marshmallows? Yeah, let's, uh... I guess that does make sense. E-Rock... I mean, they could shove in their ears. E-Rock, throw some marshmallows in your mouth and see if you can sing some uh, Bad 80s song. We want to see if this will work. We'll we test it out on the certainly show. taking our chances with the E-Rock marshmallow bit. Good point. Debbie, Rhode Island, what's up? <laughs> Have him sing, uh... She Blinded Me With Science. Oh, wow. <laughs> not even just sing it regular, but have the have the deaf people just make the sound. Woo woo. But <laughs> 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 Oh boy, we got hell. <laughs> They <laughs> do all the noises too. <laughs> Wait a minute. If they do it, they might as well go. Too good. Too good. All right, we got a dentist checking in. We're not giving up on this bit yet. Uh, Jay, the dentist, what's up? What's going on, guys? Hey. Uh, I heard y'all talking about getting the bottom teeth numb. Uh. You get the tongue numb on that side of the face when you do it. So if you numb up yep. both sides of the face. Well, we want to do this legally, sir. That's legal. What's that? That's legal. I don't know how ethical it would be for a dentist to administer Novocaine for a contest. But um, I, I couldn't see it being illegal. Oh, it's not illegal, not at all. I don't, I don't see any problem. Could be a drastic tongue biting incident that might. Hell, let's yeah. get a dentist to do this for us. Yeah. Yep. They, uh, as long as they sign the papers and stuff, I don't see any problem. Right. See, that's. There's another show that said, as long as the releases are signed, we're fine. You're damn right. Mm. <laughs> ah. All right, thanks, guys. Isn't yeah. there a like part of the brain we can just uh, put push Novocaine into that would numb the entire head? <laughs> I, I Can we just so, hit him on the side of that with a ball peen hammer? And I think so far, marshmallows is uh, marshmallows, marshmallows. The, the, the but they could choke. All right, listen. <laughs> we'll get into the Karen Meyer story, I guess. That's Nam where Maya. That's where it all came from. <laughs> Nam and Maya. She's in Chicago, deaf reporter on the news, and uh, she does this thing called Crip Slam Sundays. We'll have some audio from that. Oh, bitch, is poetry. Poetry. Yeah, that's, they call it. Oh, slam. Yeah. yeah, it could be. I bet it's poetry. 
Well, it's all di- sorts of different disabilities, though. So, and they have to use their disabilities in a artistic way. Chris Slam. Yeah. We'll figure it out next. It's the old point that uh, they just know 80 songs for whatever reason. Yeah, for some reason. I don't know why. A lot of people are saying it better. A lot of people are saying we should use hot sauce to numb the tongue, and then we can do deaf karaoke. I don't think it works as good as Novocaine. That's you know for what? sure. I eat hot sauce. That, that's why we have the Opie and Anthony uh, Institute, the yep. Opie and Anthony Labs. We'll try out some some things, and uh, and we'll bring it to you in the very near future. We experiment. Uh, but a lot of people they want to hear one more song, and uh, my song. And uh, they're saying, you know, Queen. Uh. <laughs> 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 Classic. Oh, jeez. The best part was when he slowed it down. <laughs> well, the end gets very calm. <laughs> Nothing really matters. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Death Queen to Death Queen all Me Mill Me Mill Money on my man and the band 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 me da 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 Oh, yeah, there are some obscure ones. Oh, oh wow. Oh, God. Mm. Oof. Nah, man, do my, 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 do, 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 Good enough to know the words. We got another good one. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, well, that's perfect for today. Ebony and Ivory, yes. We might have one more. Uh, Mike from Deer Park. Mike, what's up? Yo, oh, what's going on? Hey. Trees. If you're going to have two retards singing together, you might as well have them sing Paradise by the Dance. Oh, <laughs> forget it, man. <laughs> <laughs> to pick him up. <laughs> Holy God, don't him be. Oh. oh God. That's why I bow to you. I bow to Anthony. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm a <the> meatloaf fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, let's say hi to Joe in Pennsylvania. Joe, what's up? Joe. Joe. Don't. Thanks, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will always love you. Love me. Ah, that's horrible. Oh. Stop it. No way. What? I know what song it is. Stop the song. What song? Baby, I love you. Hey. <laughs> no. It's a bit of an Eminem. Sounds like 
was like, I know you made me. I love you, man. Really? Absolutely. I'm thinking patience no, by Guns N' Roses. Ba baby, I love you. Or a little uh, poison or something. You know, baby, I love whatever oh, that song no, is. Man, I mean, uh, I start yeah. over? Zaro, it, it's, it, it's, yeah. that's what song it is. We've been trying to figure this out for this during the break. A, a deaf person. I was listening to yeah. the, 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 the it's music. It's on YouTube. Let's do music. I can't hear that. Wait, no, no, no. You got to keep going. Right, I am. Keep... I'm just stopping for a sec because someone else is saying knocking on heaven's door. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. No, it's, no, it's not, not knocking on heaven's door. There's not repetition there. It's baby, I love, whatever that song is, baby, All right, I love, let's... I don't even know what that song is. You got to listen to the chorus. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> I'm not sold on baby. I love your way. No. I'm not sold on it, Patrice. Uh, I, no, I, I might be wrong. I don't know what that is. Do we know what song that is? I'm thinking it's baby. I love you. Oh, well, uh, I, I, I thought I had it. Wow, I have no idea. Because <clears throat> it might not be it, because I was waiting for the chorus, but I'm listening it to It has that, like, you know, Guns N' Roses unplugged sound. <laughs> is he playing his own guitar? Does it at all? Well, the guitar. The guitar is very generic. Or maybe just like kind of boom, boom. Kind of like generic. And a couple of chords, and you thing. just. The power ballad mm, of the 80s. Yeah. It's got to be some kind of 80s song, no? <laughs> Let's go to Lou. What's up, Lou? You're on the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah, what's up, man? I was wondering what it would sound like if a ratio from CS5 was deaf. Oh, yeah! <clears throat> Dumb. Yeah, that's what it would sound like. All you'd hear. There'd be no funny little statement, nothing. <laughs> All right, Dan, what's Seemed up? Seemed to me, Bank, I oh. didn't hear a word you did. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, buddy? I believe I can fly. <laughs> believe People just enjoy doing it. I don't know why. I don't know what's so fun about doing it. All right, so this. Someone else is saying it's uh, knocking on heaven's door. Paul, no. Staten Island, what's up? What's going on, guys? It's definitely knocking on heaven's door. You can hear knocking on heaven's door in there? Maybe not the chorus. But not the chorus, though. That's what I'm saying. There's a chorus. I don't know them anymore. Oh, someone might have the answer. Thank you, Paul. I'm thinking knocking on heaven's door myself until I saw this. Greg, what's up? Angie from the Rolling Stones. That's what it sounds like. Is the guitar no. work, Angie? No, it doesn't sound <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, because he would be screaming. Let, let's hear it one more time. Angie, let me hear I doubt it. Well, I like that version better anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here it is again. <laughs> Someone else is saying Wild Horses by the Stones. Take it to the Institute and pitch it down. That is a mystery. Doesn't sound like any of the songs. It sounds like it could be like ten different songs. Yeah. Oh, man, we got a... Uh, we got a puzzle on our hands. 
I know. This, this is going to bug me. Well, we're gonna... It's bugging me right now listening to it. You know what we're going to do? We're going to try to figure out what that is tomorrow on the Opie and Anthony show. How about that? Uh, boy, and we never even got to the Karen catalyst, Meyer thing. The catalyst of this whole thing. We'll do the Karen Meyer thing tomorrow yep. on this side of the show. We got lots of other things to do on the other side of the Opie and Anthony show today. Right. When we go over to XM Satellite Radio. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for joining us, guys. If you're not joining us over at XM, you know, have yourself a great day, Patrice yeah. O'Neill. Thank you so much. What's wrong? Why the luck? Nothing. Black Phillip uh, Saturday. Yes. Yeah. Over at XM. Nice. We're out of here, guys. Stay in my We're important people. We sure are. <laughs> as a uh, as a humanity on this planet right now. Right now is a great time to be alive. That's right what here, you're getting at. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. Yeah, it's all relative. I'm sure they had their shit back in the late teen. Uh, they did, the late but we're not talking about it. Yeah. Huh? Like they Civil did. War time. That was a fucking time. Exactly. Live through. You get what I'm saying. You live through that. What uh, are you trying to say? I'm just saying. World War One, World War Two, living through that. Absolutely. Big that was, times. Those big the, times. The in between shit. If you're alive during that, who gives Korean a fuck? Korean War time from 1950 yeah. to 60. It's like. Eh. Eh. 60s, huge changes going on, technology really starting to take off, but Vietnam. <laughs> I mean, we live in a shitty time. It's like, I always think we Space live in a time program. that, like, if you're 85 years old, there's mm -hmm. one day you might be able to say to somebody, you know, uh, I live when they were pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were, they were pigeons. They were. Granddad, you knew pigeons? Yes, I did. Yeah. See, yeah. there's a picture of one right, right there on the hologram. Woolly mammoth. <laughs> The, the woolly mammoth, mammoth people are important people. No, I don't think people live with woolly mammoths, did they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. It was important. But that, they, that's what I'm saying. It's important. Very important time. They didn't go away. So that important, they decided to draw some of that shit on the walls and go, Asteroids. Look, I gotta fucking draw this shit. I gotta do it. So the future people <laughs> will it. know I was here and fucking. We found out. At these we found out during our time, Pluto is not a planet. Right. Don't. I think the hold biggest on, hold thing. On. Before we move on, yeah, we the, are we are the future people. Man, are they disappointed? They got to be disappointed. <laughs> they, they had these cave drawings, you know, leaving stuff for the future. Oh people. my God! Imagine what yeah. us thought was going and, on. And look what we're doing with their future. <laughs> Not <Nothing. laughs> <laughs> they, they had high high hopes for us. High hopes. The future people. They had high and, hopes for us in fucking the fifties. And we're letting them down. Here's how what time we live in. There are movies mm -hmm. that had. Two years ago, as the future time in their movie. Oh, I know. Just last night, there was this movie on. Peter Fonda was, or uh, yeah, Peter Fonda was in it, mm -hmm. and it was some futuristic movie where they were on Mars, and there was some kind of vampire thing going on on Mars. Really awful movie, but uh, it was. 1990, <laughs> the future, and you're like, oh, why do doesn't, they do that? Doesn't that take you right out? 1990. <laughs> we didn't even have iPods yet. I think Aliens Fucking was 90. like 2029 or something. Yeah, like we're, we're catching up on the first Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> that first, where's the Nostromo? Build me that motherfucker. Do you think? Do you think that by this time people would think that there'll be that whole Jetson thing right Dude, now? Back in I would say 1970 or, or late 60s, early 70s, where I could like I started remembering things, like things meant something to me. I, I was becoming like a little person, right. you know, a little brain. I, I I would think about what the fucking year 2000 and beyond would be, and it sure as shit wasn't this. It wasn't, it wasn't cars. It wasn't 1960 and stuff for now. <laughs> it's the Nothing same really fucking special. thing. I, me and my girlfriend sitting at a diner one day. Hold on, look up the year 1970. Maybe let's 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 put this what? in perspective. In perspective, maybe there are some crazy things that uh, happened uh, since no, then. It, it, there are a lot of things. Cable Great TV. Things. Sure, I'm not talking about that though. We were looking out the window of a diner, mm -hmm. and it was one of these like, uh, it's a town where not much changes over the years. So I looked, and there's the bank. And the fucking like stationary store, and maybe the different owners every so often. But I'm looking out the window, and I see like an old telephone pole, and the wires are right. strong. And I go, you know something? This 
someone could have looked out this fucking window in 1970 and seen the same fucking shit. Pretty much the same. Right out the window. Yeah. Like, oh, the cars are different. They're sleeker and stuff, and and the buses are different, and they, but the clothing a little bit different and stuff. But it's the same. Look at this motherfucker walking down the sidewalk. In 1970, some motherfucker was sitting in this diner looking at some motherfucker walk across the sidewalk. I'm looking up. I don't see any spaceships. I don't see flying cars. I don't see fucking, you know, we have the ability to, to, to fly uh, uh, to any other planets. Yeah. I thought they would be the, the biggest invention, and the one I'm waiting for, but the one I thought would possibly, possibly happen, is a, is a transporter, the fly. Yeah. That's, that's the only thing I'm waiting for. That's is a the tough fly. nut to crack. Yeah, how the hell are you going to figure that out? Who the fuck is going to get into that son of a bitch? <laughs> Not the fly. <laughs> You're right, though. I think. Who the hell is going to figure that out? He's right about disappointing. I think. That's a hard one. It, I think people now, if you if you zip somebody from 1901 to now, it's, it's almost. They come running in the room like, well, I got to I gotta meet the future people. And they meet us? Jesus. And it's just the guy from Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Uh, you know, mm. walking, that old man walking around uh, just like, oh, wow, things are faster. Gonna go, I'm going to go hang myself. <laughs> <laughs> this stinks. It is like an odd thing. The I think the biggest change, and, and nothing since has really been that big. Computer, was, I would say, is going to be, huge. you know. Huge, and that's what that's what right now is all about. And I really think we're at the beginning of it. It's only been a few years. I think if you zap somebody from nineteen, if you brought somebody from nineteen oh one here, mm. the only thing that they Free would be astonished flight. by is computers. No, no, flying. fucking flight is the biggest thing ever to ever happen to humanity. Going from nothing to the Wright no, brothers, I the fucking jet aircraft winging you across the country. I and tell fucking... you why I disagree. Why, sir? I disagree with the plane. Right. That's not the biggest invention. Birds, biggest. Dodo birds. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Dodo birds. Obi just <laughs> birds. <laughs> he really has birds. ADD. You go, oh, I don't give a shit. <laughs> no, I'm listening. I want to hear Here's why I don't think. Do, wait, do you think planes, Obi, are the biggest invention? I don't think. Yeah, it, fucking. It, I'll tell you why I don't think so. And turn me on that, yeah. Flight is the biggest thing I, to I'll ever tell you happen why I, to I human beings. I disagree beings. for this reason. Okay. Now you, why well, I agree, I think computers are. You don't have to fly to learn about the world. The computers have have made the but planet. But no one's learning about the world yeah. with computers. The computers have made the planet. Accessible. Just smaller. Yeah. Like even even this so-called, this celebrity thing, this this entertainment thing. I, I, you know, I'm on MySpace, and what's what's tripping me out is like, okay, I'll get a MySpace thing like, hey, you fat fucker, you don't, you don't answer me back. Hey, fuck you, and this, that, and the third. Yep. So I'm sitting there like, why am I mad at this? Why? Because, and of course, I'm not comparing myself to the dude, but let's say Cary Grant. People send things in the mail and cross their fingers hoping that a man that they thought was better than them would send would them write something him a back. fucking signed picture. They did not go, fuck you, you asshole. People weren't that comfortable, and I think computers made... The world less you you're it just you're, everybody's this conglomerate. They're, yeah, but they're, it, you know what though? It's just a better way of doing something that had been done for so fucking long. The the town crier, the fucking message guy that used to run and give the message message to uh, right. people, and then they'd give something else back. It, it's like it's a great. I mean, it, of course, flight great, is fantastic. But like but, flight, all of a sudden. You have the ability to take a fucking army and drop it somewhere, and it's only because of flight. Like, the flight, you can grab, uh, 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 you can now, not instead of looking at a picture of someplace far away that you would never be able to get to, you fly there. You're yeah. fucking I, getting I think, somewhere I in think five anyway, hours, you're going coast to coast. I think any invention that, there, there are inventions that make things convenient, right? Planes change the way things are, but I think... It's not that important if you still could have did what you wanted to do. Now it, they had war during fucking 1401. I know, but think of it. Think of it I in know terms it makes of things better. Think of it in terms of bringing someone from the past. You're taking someone from 1900 and bringing them to right now. Right. You show them the computer and say, look at all this information. They'd be like, wow, that is a lot of information. And it's, holy fuck, what is that? It's in the sky and it's flying. Yeah. Wait a minute. Like, I think they'll still that go, they will go holy long. fuck. If, like on Pal Talk, if you, if you push a button 
And this motherfucker looks at you and go, hey. And you go, can you... This can old you guy show in me, spats jerking yeah, off. Yeah, can you show me your titty? And she goes right on time when yeah. you're talking in this device. And you see... you That's but magical. Even, even back then they had fucking, you know... Show me your titty. <laughs> and then, flip, show me titty. Stop. Need to see your nipple. Stop. <laughs> like they had forms of communication. The flight thing is something that if you brought someone from the past to the future, that would be the single most amazing fucking thing they would see. I understand technology with the computer is fascinating, and especially to us, and, and I think it's one of those things that kind of... Well, it, in context of us right now, yeah. would you say... So you're saying in context you get on a plane of now someone don't think in about the it. past? You're right. saying in context of somebody in the past. I'm still amazed by computers and what they're coming out with. I'm not amazed as much by flight. So you think, that com you think that planes are more important than computers? Or are you saying if if you brought people from the past to to say, whoa, the, the most they amazing would, thing? They would be, be way more amazed by planes in the sky. Right then now, we, you'd be like... We take for granted yeah. planes. We take it for granted. We've always we lived with planes. So we can, we like, fly. Uh, Sometimes it hits you when you're on a plane. You go, this is a motherfucking miracle. I am fucking hurtling through the cosmos at 500 miles an hour. I think people and I'm going to be back from the dead that never mm, saw flight. No. Never been on a plane. You throw no. them on a plane, they're not going to be... You think I, they're going to be I'll more freaked out by a computer? I, I have another argument. No way. All right, I have another Patrice. argument. I have another argument. Willing to sit and listen. Pass the joint, by the way. <laughs> How, <laughs> more <no>. pot talk. <laughs> Love it. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the concept of man flying mm -hmm. is amazing, but the concept of flight isn't. I, so I think that if you're a caveman or whoever you were back then and you saw... You looked at things, and you you knew that okay. Uh, 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 Isaac Newton was what sixteen something. Yes. So he he saw birds. He knew they knew of scientific reasoning for yeah. why birds flew. They knew for scientifically why and how things fly. Right. And I think all it was it was a matter of figuring out how to to pull it off and be a bird. So we was trying yeah. to think about being birds. I think computers, no one ever sat and conceptualized the idea of of what a computer is. To take all the information, these these millions and millions of, of, of miles or whatever the fuck you call them, megabytes of information, put it through. And also, real time, take that information through wires and yeah. through chips and all that. I think that that came along. Well, well, I don't think they were sitting in a... Ma I think people been no imagining a flight... And I think if you brought somebody back from 18-something, they they'll go, wow, somebody finally did it, man. Figure that I, shit out. I knew that was going to happen because we just always dreamt about it. But no one dreamt about blah, 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 LOL. Well, computers were kind of like, even when computers were understood by a lot of people and and available, mm -hmm. limited, but to certain people, people thought the first thing was like, well, it's cool and all, but what the hell is the average Joe going to do with a computer? And and there were people that would say, we're saying uh, uh, computers will end up in everyone's home. And you sit there and go, why would I need a fucking computer? And now you do not function without one. It is it is your line to uh, learn things. To fight. If you got one of those stupid questions, remember it was like, who is the actor in that movie? And you'd sit there all night going, nah, who well, the fuck? And it would bug yeah. the shit out of you. And now you go, IMDb. IMDb or you fight. And and like the information is there at your fingertips, and that's something that kind of progressed. And the people, I think people themselves threw all that info on. It wasn't Mr. Computer that said, here's all the information we need to put on computers. And the thing we're not talking about with flight, going to the moon. You don't yeah, think someone biggie. coming back from the dead would be like... By the way, we've been to the uh, moon. moon. We uh, decided uh, to rocket ship ourselves up to the fucking moon. Although it was all made up. Hollywood sounds like <laughs> you know, it was all fake. But... Well, you know, because the flag, you know, there's no wind. I, th I think the progression... I think it's the progression. It's the progression that no makes us take it for moon. granted. It's sub like like flight. Flight. You were saying, you'd look at the bird and go, ah, da, da. it's Flight the progression is a, of... It's a manipulation then you get of science, though, but, Anthony. I think, just like yeah. the submarine, the invention of it is fantastic, but the, the concept... It's it's the it's the manipulation of of the of of what's given to us. The yeah. computer is an actual. But that was also something that There's no scientific of... 
per like uh ground basing for a c fucking computer. There's no nature thing that says, okay, one day I'll have this machine that it just came out of necessity because we had to figure shit out faster than people could with pencils and paper. Right. So they decided let's fucking invent something that does this and it kind of progressed into what it is. Flight was kind of you know, the Wright brothers powered flight and then it progressed pretty quickly to something else again out of, out of necessity but if you took somebody that never saw they might think well we would put wings on a guy and he'd be in fast motion on top of a rock and he'd jump off and fall on his face I love that clip mm -hmm. <laughs> but then when you think alright we're shoving 500 motherfuckers in right. this tube right. we call it a 747 and there's things called turbine jet engines right. and the thrust flies out it, it would freak people out Right. And, and while you're in the, sitting in your comfy seat, you get a beverage and you drink it and you're not fucking holding on for dear life going, ah! Uh, they would be freaked out too that uh, blacks and whites would be on the same plane <laughs> sitting wherever they want. Some people are still kind of freaked out by that. Uh, oh. Flying places. <laughs> flying places. Flying places together? That's what? Greg, you're flying with your slave? Uh -oh. How is this at all possible? Oh, they allow them to fly the. It took us three and a half hours. Oh, Trace, you know, you must be that. able to bring thousands over in a clip. Much oh, faster than those ships we, we used. Must, we must be getting along with you. It took uh, three and a half hours today. Which actually, the old days, it would uh, take look, two just, minutes. Uh, came on my I used to do it a bit when I, when I like first started. Uh, first started comedy about about why slavery's not around. Just because I always just believe this country's so racist mm -hmm. that if it could be slavery, it would. But no. it's like, what the facts this nigger? It's like, <laughs> there's no need for slavery. Once, <laughs> once technology got too convenient, it, it, it was just like, how do I have a fucking slave? You know what? How can I justify having a slave? <laughs> right, right. Hey, uh, could you fucking find this plug for my iPod? I, yeah. You don't have to lift anything anymore, so. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's God, go home. Whip you in the back. Whack. <laughs> facts this nigger. Okay, sir. I gotta hobble him. He might take off. What is, <laughs> no. Where's he, he going? That's really funny. Oh my God! Thank you, Sam. <laughs> Jesus. Well, oh. I mean, I'm not. Oh, you know, you gotta. That's a compelling argu argument, is, sir. You know, who? who it's know, possible. What would be. Hey. I, th I think the computer myself is very is like amazing, but well, until we bring somebody back from back so, then, how about, asking. how about cell phones? <laughs> mm. No. It's just another. Like you said, it's a progression. Beep, 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 beep. It's another. Do, 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 communication device. Well, I, someone comes back from the dead and it's fucking it's smoke signals. And and you explain to them you could you could reach anyone anywhere anytime. That well, that's pretty but, bizarre. Well, some, you have to go back people. actually to the phone though, Obi. To, to you have to be impressed with the. Yeah, I understand. With the concept of it, and then it yeah. uh, and it elevates. Watson, oh, come quick! I need you. <laughs> Remember that fucking Alexander Graham Bell yeah, shit? The, the 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 first. So I mean, once that yeah. concept, when you go from when you go from can and string, yeah, from cans and a piece of string, and you go, oh shit! Once that becomes a something, and the phone's like, oh shit! Then it you, all then elevates you, from there. Everyone starts thinking, where is this going? Where is it going? The second a technology hits, you think, all right, where is this going to be in ten years, twenty years, thirty years? I think. And why do we have to start with beepers, by the way? Those Before cell fucking phones? pages. The Can pages they figure that out? Why couldn't they just jump to the cell phone? The Was pager. it you? That's just, uh, that's very suspicious right there. Was it you or you that was saying you think it might have been you? Really, I said something. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been you. What happened? I think you said I don't know, but you said you think that everything is already done, oh. and they're slowly introducing each thing because it's overload oh, to no, give us actually what is out there. Yeah, that's if like, you if you uh, take any economic course, they they talk about that. Like the, we could have been doing the high def years ago, but they wanted to sell us it's the big TVs, the the rear projection TVs, then the flat screens, and now finally high def. So they already they got the ready. whole thing already. Yeah, they were ready with high def years ago. I think in the labs and stuff they got that shit, but I don't think they're ready for consumers. They, that's why they cost $14,000 no, when they first came out. There's, uh, you know what? Someone can help me out. I haven't been in college in five, six years now. <laughs> Basically, there's something to do with... Uh, Someone will help me out. They have this technology, but they want to sell a certain amount. And then they realize the market's dying, let's say, as far as uh, uh, rear projection. Yep. Like Then they move on to the next t technology to get everyone buying new shit again. 
But mm-hmm. without and it, and, and, and and it's an economic term, and I don't know it right now. But without tell technology, me, somebody would somebody be demanding high def? Like, oh, let's say they just gave us uh, rear projection, yeah. and that's just what they gave us. That was it. Would people be demanding? You know what? I want something better. You know what? I think that's what happened. I think it's like people got rear projection, and it's like, why the fuck am I watching a TV that is fucking six feet long, sticking off of my wall? Is there a way we can make a TV that is flat? I want a flat fucking television. And for years, they were not able to do that. Mm -hmm. Not with a cathode ray tube that has to be fucking long enough to shoot the fucking ray to the front of the screen. It has something to do with economics They couldn't do it. You're right, but it also has something to do with economics as well. They have it figured out, I'm telling you. And then after a while, I wouldn't doubt that they do have these things and hold them back, but I don't think they've had them for very long. They hold back the technology. I don't think they have the capability of holding them back very long, these ideas. Before they get out, people oh. are fucking nosy and gabby. Hmm. I think, yeah, they got they had uh, uh, plasma TVs before they were, were announced. Shit like that. There's a term, I'm telling you. Well, we we'll get through it. I, I just the think we're living a great time, man. Let's it go is. to Georgia, New York. The end of the world. The way shit's George. going wrong. I hope it all ends in a hey. big white flash. Some fucking nutty Arab decides to blow it all up. Live through that. Could sit with each other and just go, as our hair clumps are falling out from radiation, our teeth are falling out, just have one last drink and go, wasn't this great? We made it to the end. To the end. Where the fuck? All the shit that happened before Can you us, imagine? The first fucking little piece of protoplasm that split and decided to become a human. All that ends right now with one more toast as our teeth fall out and our hair falls out and it's our eyes the, bleed it's and we look at the flash. End. It is the end. Can, that's what I... That, you get what I... Everyone what I wants it's, to be part a, of the it's end. It's a tree. shitty time. You don't want to be in the middle We're somewhere. We're at the end. <laughs> Let's be at the end. We're at the fucking end. Push, if you're listening, push the button. <laughs> you know, Sonny... I, I went around with the last pigeon. Oh, why are you? The Plan pigeon. obsolescence. Oh, planned Wait. obsolescence. Google that. Well, they know something's going to be obsolete. It's a planned thing. It's just kind of a placeholder. But why would an 8-track tape nah, be yeah. obsolete? Why would I need not to have an 8-track tape anymore? Because cassettes, you can fit a lot more in your car. Because all of a sudden they show you, mm. look... Cassettes and, you're like, oh, and wow. you could fast forward and rewind them. I know what you do. Throw out all your eight, eight tracks. Yeah, eight and tracks became shit. Yeah, everyone's saying mm-hmm. plan obsolescence. That's uh, it. George, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, How you George. Doing? Hey, I, I'd have to agree with Patrice on this uh, whole topic because you know, Anthony, you bring up a lot of good points, but there was a lot of science, you know, and a lot of people could predict that we're going to be flying, but. The computers and stuff, man, that that's like, you know, out of this, you know, nobody even had a concept of that stuff. Yeah, because like, like I said, it was kind of built out of this necessity to figure shit out faster. It wasn't built for, hey, everyone's going to have one of these, and we're going to make something called the Internet, and it's just going to be people that have this common place uh, this virtual place to talk and trade ideas and, and porno and whatever the fuck you want. Like it came out of guys and usually the military because, you know, we, hey, we got to figure these codes out, these fucking codes. And we got this guy sitting here with a pencil and paper trying to figure codes out. I got a machine and it could do it a little faster. And from that, it just kind of kept going. I read another interesting article on technology, and they say uh, when this new technology comes out, we've, we've talked about this on the show before, one of the main uses at first is for pornography. Porno, yeah. Always for porno. And then porno. they decide, wow, all right, we got that out of the way. Let, what else could this thing That's do? That's usual, usually the, the public pr- consumption the first. Print, uh, the printing, oh, yeah, of course, like the printing press and all yeah. that. They were, it was all about writing just the dirtiest stories ever stuff. in the beginning. And then they finally go, oh, okay, let's, uh, let's do something but, useful as well. Here. I think most of the technology, we have comes from the art of killing each other. It, we we get most of our technology from war. When we make war, the the need to win makes us really come to the fucking table and invent some real cool shit that then later gets used for hanging out and having fun. And I have to disagree with that too. Not okay. that you're making a point to disagree with, but oh I had this goodness. concept mm-hmm. of why. We have technology. Don't why tell we me have it's for the good of humankind. I think the basis, the, the hateful, the basis awful, for fucking it, race, laziness. Yeah, laziness. Each 
invention is based on laziness. There's Someone's not got to get off their ass and invent it. But that's what I'm saying. Each 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 relevant invention, you don't need the plane to to exist in this world. Mm -hmm. It was made to make things quicker and easier to do. You don't need escalators. You don't need umbrellas. You don't need shoehorns. You don't need anything really to right. exist. But you don't I, need a car. I, I, I can get to where I gotta go. I can get to 195th Street without a car, mm -hmm. but it's a lot easier. I agree with you. Usually, it's one guy though. Or a couple of guys, a team that decides, like the Wright brothers, powered flight. Right. That had been a concept before, and then they decided to uh, refine it, and they actually pulled it off. Right. The second they did that, it became this thing that the military kind of looked at. Like, they were trying to sell it oh, to right, the military, too. Saying, yeah. And like, all right... Here we and go. They made it Here's like, the way. Holy shit, we can kill a lot of motherfuckers. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Do you think the plane, if it was just strictly for transporting lazy people that didn't want to get in a right, covered wagon or a I, car I, 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 or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. they yeah. decided, look, we can kill so many more people now with this fucking plane. It's amazing. Build me a shitload and put a space where I can fit bombs in them. Now, I, I, th this is a question. This is the, like you said, pot talk. Is the person, is there a person that had the patent on the umbrella? Is there someone, is, are the Wright brothers' kids getting paid for the plane? Yeah, they, oh, they, yeah, they are. Yeah, the, the Wright brothers had a shitload of fucking yep. patents. Yep. Uh, and so they're, like they're, pieces of the plane that they family, got patented. Uh, their family's getting, whoever their family, they're getting yeah, paid. Yeah, they're yeah. still getting paid. Amazing. Hey, let's go to uh, Damon in Cleveland. What's up, Damon? Hey, Obi, you're right about like holding back technology. I've seen it firsthand. My wife works at, um, Research, it's like on the medicine companies, like say, it's like, uh, say you're the first person to come out with a certain medicine, you will go out, go along and pay other companies not to build the same medicine cheaper. And it's, they can actually do that. My wife's seen it with, uh, different medicines, and I'm pretty sure they do the same thing with, with like technology, like the first person to build, like, uh, say a DVD, for instance, you'll pay your competitors to back off or slow down just to make sure it's because you have the patent on it first. You follow what mm. I'm saying? Well, there's a lot of that stuff that, that's going on. When I was back uh, in college in the late, uh, you know, 1900s there, um, <clears throat> I read a book. Uh, it was from a senator. He was the senator of Hawaii. Uh -huh. And, and they, they figured out that we are so behind with the stuff we know. We should have been way more advanced, but they slowed things down for economic reasons and other reasons. Maybe for, you know, competitors and all that as well. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. I think when push comes to shove and it's it's in the country's best interest because, like, people are beating the shit out oh, of yeah. us then or something, you, then, then, then you come up with things like the atomic bomb. Like, that whole war, World War II, was like, you know something? This is big. This well, why is we a go to big the moon? fucking war. Why did we go to the moon? Beat the Soviet Union. Yeah, just right. because it was the Cold War. That was war. because of the Cold War, to show then, them, look, we, that's the ultimate right. fucking high ground. Right. And then what happens is all the technology that comes out of it that, you know, I'm building the ship, uh, yeah. the, uh, you know. Plastics that they came out up with and shit like that. So then all this new technology comes out of it, but that wasn't the reason they did it uh, initially. It was right. To show our dicks. Initially, it's, wow, why are they beating the fuck out of this guy on television? Holy Jesus Christ. It's a crowd of people just pounding someone with sticks. Just when you think, we're talking about technology and going to the moon, and they're just showing people in Africa beating people with sticks. This planet is amazing. It is just this fucking smorgasbord. We're talking about the greatest invention in the world. Yeah. Show these motherfuckers an airplane, and, and they freak and out. they're still doing old school crucifixion. Old school fucking <laughs> machete to the top of the head. Whack. God damn, man. All right, we're going to step aside. Uh, we got to get an update on squirrels. Can we or can't. eat squirrels? Yeah, uh, we'll explain next, Patrice. And I want to know if any of the guys got any any other uh, things they're going to do with the vaginas. Oh, yeah. We're doing a, uh, a thing called Your Vagina's Got Talent. So Your Vagina's so, Got Talent. So, see, you know what? That's what so, so Your Vagina's Got Talent. Can I please come in for that? Oh, absolutely. Oh, Everyone's saying absolutely. that. Blowing, blowing balloons <laughs> up. I'm, oh, I've seen so many things on the internet, girl. All right, so, shooting eggs. And, uh, all right, I'll yeah. explain that next, and maybe you can help the guys with some of the things you've seen before. All right? I'm trying to think the crazy... Guys have come up with some great ideas. Cigarette smoke. My favorite so far wait, is wait, wait. Danny's. Yeah, let's hold it right here. I I'm going to ask this question to the, the members of uh, the panel here. Mm -hmm. What is the craziest thing you've seen a vagina do? Ours will probably be very similar. Very similar, yeah. Well, let's sure think it over, though, for a couple yeah. minutes here. 
Well, Bill, that was your cue. Yeah, you can Bill. Out whenever you want. Oh Jesus. my God. Oh my God. It's boy, the pot talk continues. Dan, what's your line again? Dan had a great line during the break about uh, what we were discussing, bringing people uh, back from the past and stuff. I'm showing them like cool stuff, cool and what stuff. would they most be amazed at? Yeah. I said the airplane. Patrice argued that uh, it would be the uh, computer. <laughs> you know, all valid points, and it's all hypothetical. I said the yo-yo, by the way. The yo-yo yeah. would uh, definitely was, uh, be up there. A little off, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Van, what, what did you say about that? I said if you brought somebody from the past to the future, the invention they'd most be amazed by was the time machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, none of us idiots even thought of that. It's like, yeah, yeah you bring him back in the future go, hey, look at this plane. And meanwhile, he's going, wait, fuck the, fuck the flying machine. Yeah. How did you get me here? Right. I was fucking in a Conestoga wagon. Yeah. And then we went further. It's like we keep saying if we could bring someone back from the dead. Oh, yeah. That would be, that would be what one. they would be amazed by. Yeah. Because they'd be like, wait a minute. I was in a bed really sick. My family was around me. What? Things started slowly fading out. And now, and what? Now you're showing me internet pornography is what right. you're calling it? What is this? <laughs> now you come back, Frankenstein dead. <laughs> We brought you back from the dead, but <laughs> everyone you knew is dead. <laughs> Why did you bring me back? Right. To settle a little bet. Right. Not even a bet we were having, just a discussion. So we decided to bring you back. Yes, your entire family, your daughter, your grandchildren, all dead. Nothing but um, lonely holidays for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, what are you most amazed by? Yeah, right. <laughs> God, we really are smoking pot today. <laughs> what is wrong with us? Uh, it's very deep conversation. Speaking of technology, you guys know what Leet Speak is? Leet Speak, of course. Yes. You see it every day mm -hmm. online. A lot of the uh, a lot of the gamers use no. all Leet Speak. You know what Leet Speak is? You just pwned. Didn't know it was... pwned is Leet Speak. Yeah, you just didn't know what it was called. Leet Speak. You don't spell it with the E's either. Please use threes. It's L two threes. Three three. Three three. T. T. What does that stand and there are for? Other variations. To be you're an elite motherfucker. You're elite. Elite. <laughs> it's usually some fucking fuck headed dork bag oh. playing a computer game. Oh. Yes? Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. That was primal. Fuck me. Can I show you an airplane, sir? Uh, thank you, Gail, from amazed. White Plains. At but least maybe we'll get their audio. Remember we said we wanted to uh, uh, interview crazy chick Sarah Goldberg? Of course we did. Crazy chick Sarah Goldberg from American Idol is going to be on Channel 5 here in New York in minutes. About to be interviewed. Can we change the channel, Lee? Where? Put it on. Where's... Put it on. Put it on. Oh, my God. I this remote. Oh, don't even try. All right. Oh, look at me. I need that one changed. I'll do that one. Thank you. We love this. There she is. Oh, ah. Christ, she's on already. World is sleeping. I stay up and think of you. How bad is this? This chick is nuts. And I wish on a star that somewhere you are. Why couldn't we get her on our show? Of me too. Did we call, we call the are people laughing? Oh my god, they're laughing. Cause I'm dreaming of you tonight till tomorrow. <laughs> they're fucking laughing I'll in the background. Oh, she's oh nuts. my She's god. bipolar. And she's the one that lost it on American Idol last week. World I'd rather be. <laughs> I think they're probably not supposed to be hearing it. <laughs> Fuck. They got her. We wanted her. <laughs> so what do you think? What do you think? Do you think you're your... I think, I think you got a lot of sparks, sister. <laughs> and I got to tell you, I think it was better. I did, too. You're the one over here. This is that new morning show that is like an you're SNL skit. You're not going skit. to Hollywood. You're going to Bayonne, New Jersey. <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, uh, I think it's a big uh, improvement. Uh, oh, no, don't turn her. on me. You're no. Uh, I think there was an improvement. And you're telling me that See? she practices enough with you maybe by the next year. Go back after it again. They got her a vocal she coach. Spirit? She works really She's hard. I think we can do it. We're going to give you some vocal And they're not interviewing her, her right. I'm up for it. We would interview her until she goes nuts. Thank you, Jordan, very much. Who's that audience? Wow. Thank you. You're a good sport. It's hard to get up 
here. Trust me, I sing karaoke the first couple of days. Uh, Have we pussies. seen me do it since? No, I don't we, think so. This we isn't had the that angle. machine removed from the studio. That's how badly nobody this wants. This isn't that SNL, one of those talk yeah. show yeah. sketches. Sir, you're a good sport. It. You are. Very good sport. Good sport. All right, sport. thanks very much, George. See, they don't want to piss her off because they know she has bipolar. Ah, fuck you. Stupid news. That... No, it's, That's um, not the angle with her. She's nuts. Why don't you bring up the fact she's got bipolar? She's nuts. It's a new talk show. Look at the audience they had to drag in. They were just like uh, off the street people. Oh, uh, that's the John McEnroe audience. Street All people. right, yeah, Leet uh, speak there. Yeah, Leet. 16-year-old Niall Duran uses Leet speak, a type of online lingo that's growing in popularity with teens. All my friends use Leet speak. I can see about why parents will be worried just because. It could, it can lead to danger. And that's exactly what? why internet safety experts are sounding a warning. The oh language God. is morphing into a dangerous dialect foreign to parents. Scott Dollison is a cyber detective for the Westerville Police Department. This gives uh, uh, criminals, kids, um, whomever, another way to communicate uh, covertly with one another without, you know, parents maybe catching on to what the kids are saying. Oh, I see. Kids being kids. I've been pwned and I don't know what it means. <laughs> what does it mean when I've been pwned? Uh, Ken from Jersey. I've been pwned. <laughs> Ken from Jersey. One, three, three, seven, leet, faggots. Yeah. But uh, they say it's a problem because it's a new language that parents can't understand. Can't understand. Oh, stop it. Stupid. Who cares if they can't understand what people are saying on Counter-Strike? That's pretty much where it's used. Leet is short for elite because it's common for more advanced computer users. There are online dictionaries and translators to help parents decipher some of the information. Experts say if you don't know leet speak, you'll be in the dark. Sometimes it seems like every day something new is popping up with the Internet. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's something you really have to focus on and stay on top of to... Uh, to be effective. Niles' mom, Rosanna, was shocked to learn how creative and cryptic elite speak has become. Her advice? Get involved with your child and, and try to stay, you know, stay in the loop of what's going on. It moves really fast. What is this LOL I'm seeing? Is this a new drug? <laughs> Are you taking LOL? Are you hanging out with some Puerto Rican named Lol? <laughs> Who's this black magic woman? What is that LOL? <laughs> Fucking Kevin Meany. He'll do this bit in 30 years. Nothing? That's pretty funny. He's I've noticed comedy. Never mind. he right. types <laughs> BRB oh. and then goes the to the bathroom. Oh, great. We are the children. Still doing the fucking bit. That's no, whatever. <laughs> I've seen that motherfucker get ten standing ovations. Uh, ten years ago, he had new, he had new oh, material for one year, and he's been doing <laughs> the same bit since. God bless him, man. It got old after the first year, and that didn't stop him. All right. Uh, yeah, snatches and squirrels. Okay, what do you want to do? Snatches. Because coming to the show, we got So Your Vagina's Got Talent. Let's say hi to Brad. Brad, what's the craziest thing you've seen a vagina do? Hey, what's up, boys? What's up, Patrice? Hey, man. How are you? Uh, <laughs> I'm doing all right. The nastiest thing I've seen uh, out here in Korea, up north by the DMZ, they got this show where uh, this, this broad will put like a roll of quarters up her stink box, and then uh, she goes around to the tables, and she asks you uh, how much change you want. If you say 75 cents, she pops out three quarters. Why not? That's pretty fucking there. amazing. How the fuck did she figure that Whoa. out? That's pretty amazing. Yeah. That's fucking, those pussy muscles are, are great, man. <laughs> we don't under, we just don't understand the pussy muscles. It's amazing, those those things, those things. I think the fact that it bleeds once a month on cue and then stops and it's not even a wound. <laughs> it's pretty scary. Yeah. The fact that nobody shoots them every month, it just bleeds for no reason. <laughs> Officer 911? <laughs> Someone is calling my son a fucktard noob. <laughs> I, is he on the dope? He's on the dope. What's a noob? Is that like a boob? Is he sexually active? <laughs> fucktard. Uh, let's go to Xander. Xander. Hey, how's it going, boys? Hey, buddy. Hey, I dated this uh, girl back in college who uh, you could... She was really stupid. I could convince her to do anything, and... Uh, 
a friend of mine said he convinced his girlfriend to put a toothbrush up her pussy. Jeez. So I thought, like, you mean the girl's a gymnast, like, all through high school. So we kind of tried it out, and she was able to put a toothbrush in her pussy with toothbrush, uh, toothpaste, and, like, brush her teeth, bending over really hard. Maybe that's what they were like. Giving her a hint or something. Yeah, we're right. That's. That, I, I think a girl would get a little angry at that. Could you put a toothbrush and toothpaste up your pussy? I don't even want to look. Uh, let's go to Rich in Portland. Rich. Hey, what's going on, boys? Hey. Uh, craziest thing I seen back in '90 and '91. I was in Okinawa, and uh, I also heard a quarters trick, but she did two other tricks with it. She started off laid on her back and put a ping pong ball. Up her pussy, and you're wondering, what the hell? Boom, shoots it out like 15 feet at you. And then uh, she does a quarters trick, and then she'll put a, afterwards, put a peeled banana out there mm. and slice it into pieces. You get drunk Marines to catch it in her mouth. There you go. Slice a banana in the pussy? Yeah. Wow. Slice, slice it up with her muscles. This mother... You, how can you slice a banana with your muscles? Like that's like at saying you can slice that's squeezing off a of shit. But that's like, but that's it's like, like squeezing off a of shit. It's oh, not, I, I see. Don't well, think you it's know what? You know, I'll take. I, I apologize for. What I was getting ready to say. Yeah, like, yeah I don't think it's actual I'm, slice. But I'm thinking um, <laughs> symmetrical oh, slices. Yeah, like you're, you're, coins. You're like saying squishes small pieces. Okay. <laughs> All right. I thought it was it, slicing. Yeah. It's like so you're thinking like cereal. Fucking Pauly garlic with the fucking <laughs> razor blade and Goodfellas thin. Getting nice slices. Nice out. thin slices. <laughs> no, it's a mess of a slice. <laughs> well, it looks like a fucking well, technically it's, you know, piece of it's sliced shit. Up. Uh, so the craziest thing we've seen a pussy do. I got three. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, well, I got to go with one. Uh, the bottle rocket. The bottle rocket from a girl's uh, shooting a bottle rocket out of a for pussy. Fourth of July. That's a terrific video. The cigarette smoking pussy. Saw that. It's complete with smoke rings. Terrific video. That was amazing. And then uh, the uh, cell phone. Cell phone, amazing. Cell phone. Although up it the did pussy. not work. Although we couldn't get. We ought to try that again. You know why? Cell phones cell are better. Cell phones are smaller and better. Yeah. Maybe we can do that for um. So, so your vagina's got talent. Your vagina's got talent. Uh, perhaps we can shove someone's cell phone up there, give it a call, and see if we get a signal inside a vagina. You forgot about the girl that threw eggs from her. Fetish. Right, that was amazing. That was, threw it at a blind guy. That was probably the most amazing thing we've seen a vagina do. She slung she it. She launched vaginas, uh, Patrice, from her from yeah, her egg. Back in the old days. I mean, right? she had to use her hips on, and on stuff. On the show, she, right? launched, she had to use her hips and stuff, but she got it done. That's amazing. She said she launched vaginas. <laughs> uh, did I see? I told you. I'm, I'm a little, uh, a little out <laughs> of about an eel. That eel. Yeah, seen it? Yeah, I've seen that. Seen that. Seen that. Yeah. Oh, so you well. said you have suggestions for the guys. Here's the deal: the guys behind the scenes are. Uh, what is the cash prize? We're gonna put up some money. Oh, I know. We got a, a hua coming in, mm -hmm. and they're all gonna do things with her vagina. See, you would think that the girl had to do something. There were gonna be a bunch of girls, and it was gonna be a competition of what they could do with their vaginas. But that no. might be the next step. In it the, is. So, so your vagina's got talent. The guys have to figure out the best way to utilize the vagina. That makes us go, wow, that's creative and talented. Oh, okay. Now, Danny's, which I liked uh, okay. the best, uh, if he could figure this out, he's a genius. He wants to do some type of, of a Rube Goldberg thing where it's, you know, one of those contraptions where a marble goes into a funnel, falls onto a little teeter-totter right, right. that hits the boot, the boot kicks the bowling ball, it goes down. And then... Like the, dominoes. Yeah, it hits some dominoes, which then hits a spoon, it flips it up, it does... And then, at the end, is a finger, <laughs> which then goes into the vagina. That's the payoff. That's all After the payoff. all this contraption, this finger, like a rubber finger will go... Bloop and stick right in her <laughs> pussy. And if it all works, that would be magnificent. What a payoff. <laughs> After all that, the payoff is just the a... The payoff is... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Bloop. Is he coming in with a, the finger? There it is. Oh, he's got the so finger. So he's got the last part of the puzzle. Oh, he start, he's got the finger. He just got to, like, work backwards now. How about... Backwards. A, a machine that runs on pussy power. How, like... like uh, well, okay. Uh, it, solve the world's energy problems... A, a girl with, that has powerful enough pussy muscle to shoot enough air out to turn a window, give enough energy to something to light a light bulb. Oh my God! If she can do it, though, see we're working with one broad here. If you got a girl that could queef into a windmill, 
that would generate electricity and light up a little light bulb. That would be, be fascinating. Huge. Vagina power. Dan? Dan's got a mic good. in front That's of him. What's good. up? Well, I was the one thought I had because you had mentioned um, that uh, using the sort of the Mentos and Diet Coke thing that it would be kind of a like a, a rocket. Yeah. I was thinking if we, as long as we create some sort of device to make sure it does not go farther in her. Uh huh. With something with flaps, you know, that would is to actually try to put her on a skateboard and try to propel her. <laughs> with wow. The force. The thrust. If we could make that right. happen, that would be needed. <laughs> this is a brainstorming session. I'm just I throwing love, stuff out. I love it, but it ain't happening. I think any mixture that would propel her forward would explode her. <laughs> I don't mean it would break those flaps. shoot across the room if she goes yeah, one mile an hour. I, I even mean like just moving her. I think the pressure that would need to come out of her vagina would be enough where the vaginal canal itself would <laughs> expand and. And you'd get no power out of that. You'd blow her fucking pussy apart. Fair enough. How about... You see a pussy come apart like that? How about which pussy could make the best Long Island iced tea? There's only one pussy. It's only one pussy. This is one girl coming yeah. in. All the guys have to use one identical pussy, mm -hmm. and their idea has to be the best. She makes... You bring in... You you, you have a you have a Long Island iced tea made by a reputable bartender, bartender pussy, and you put it next to her. Then you pour all the ingredients in her vagina. If she can mix them and and it tastes exactly like a wonderful Long Island iced tea, call it cunt tail. Cunt tail. <laughs> wow, that's a good one. All right. Any Keep other thinking. any other ideas the guys are coming up with? Rocket propelled pussy. <laughs> wow. That's great. Yeah, well, the the one other, and again, this is just the broad strokes, is somehow putting a uh, a post in both orifices. Yeah. And then uh, creating some sort of slingshot. <laughs> oh, interesting. I'm so not, I'm you not sure stick, what the end game is there. But. You stick uh, some kind of elastic <laughs> thing with two Benoit ball type things, maybe. Yeah. One up her ass, one in the pussy, which would leave a sling for something. Yeah. And then you, you could slap her taint with it. <laughs> yeah, we were thinking like maybe paper football. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Holy crap. You can All right, well, they're, they're thinking. Uh, they're thinking these things out. We got uh, James Hansen from South Dakota. Have a chick shave a Hitler mustache, jam a microphone in her in her twat, and transmit one of Adolf's inspiring speeches from her hoo-ha <laughs> while she manipulates her lips to stimulate the mouth. Oh, to simulate the Hitler mouth? Uh, simulate, right. right. Mm. I said stimulate. Interesting. Simulate the mouth. Yeah. That that leaves a little too much on her. Yeah, you got it. The, the guys have to kind of come up with it. That's why the Rube Goldberg thing is is so I like cool. That. Um, All right. Well, we're working on that in the lab still. And the ass is uh, in. Have in we play? figured out if the ass is in play? As a d it's small detail, not the main well, event. A, like uh, a sidekick to your an support. anchor point, a support. Yeah. A su Sure. The supporting role. With her, I guess. It's playing a supporting role. Hey, Steve, role. when are we doing So Your Vagina's Got Talent? Uh, not. It's uh, a week from this Thursday. Ten we'll days away. Ten yep. days out. Ideas from the staff have to be in by this Wednesday so we can get them cleared with legal and with the girl. Legal. Here's where. Oh, legal. God. Fuck. Why are we legal. clearing it with legal? The... Everything has to get cleared with legal yeah, now because we, of we the really because of the Wii thing. That was the phone call I got. How about the other day. we take a Wii controller and show we, oh, we've already a talked about ass. What they have to like bowl? She's got a bowl with her pussy using a Wii controller. <laughs> I want to get two of them in and have them play each other in tennis. That would be called <laughs> pussy tennis with the Wii controller. All right, where are we with the uh, the squirrels? Mm. Well, we want to yeah. eat squirrels there, Patrice. Well, we Sounds don't. delicious, and a lot of people eat squirrels. I know. A lot of a people, lot of people do right, eat squirrels. Right, shut up. This How came you know from that? the band. Because I used to do web junk, and they had a, a picture of a woman who, uh, some shitty country place, you know, redneck place where they redneck white trash cook squirrels fucking... like it ain't no problem. Here was the problem. In Jersey. Tastes uh, like chicken. Somewhere, somewhere in Jersey, people were warned to not eat squirrels because there was a toxic waste dump. Well, you can't eat Jersey squirrels. People in Jersey eat the squirrels. 
and there was a toxic waste dump, and uh, people in that area were warned not to eat squirrels, which then made everybody say, people in Jersey are eating squirrels? Squirrel man. So we decided, to let's take advantage of that. Uh, we'll do what we did with the rats years ago on uh, NEW. Uh, have two cooks, chefs, come in, prepare the uh, squirrels, have people eat them, and see if uh, they puke or if they like it. That's fine. To eat the squirrel, I but I don't think that's an East Coast thing. So here's the problem: it'll be fucked up. They got legal, problems, though. Legal right. again. There is no way to prove or disprove if a squirrel has rabies. Right. And a rat doesn't at the time. But well, we had feeder rats that were actually used for food, and that's how we got away with it last time. Nobody sells feeder squirrels. They don't sell feeder squirrels. They must be trapped or shot. Right. Um. And no one sells restaurant that. restaurant ready squirrels. We're finding either. I can get rattlesnake, elk, caribou, buffalo, ostrich, alligator, turtle, anything. But squirrel is not on the list at any of the restaurant supply places. Had o I had ostrich recently. Did you? Did you like it's it? like chicken. Oh my, no, no. I, I, hear it's it's like, I hear it's beefier. Like the best steak you've ever had. No. Hmm. Oh, yes. Really? Not gamey. Try it sometime. Got to be gamey. Unbelievable. You motherfucker. What happened? Just enjoying ostrich. Big fucking you got nothing else to do regal with animal. No, it's a May Brown. No what other exotic animal. animals can you murder? May Brown's Jericho Turnpike in uh, Huntington area where my sis uh, works every once in a while. Tiger taint? It's delicious. <laughs> tiger they taint. Gotta, they got to fucking take it out with a core sampler. <laughs> and they, then they just oh. leave the rest of the tiger Fried to tiger limp taint. around in pain until it dies. Oh, God. Or it grows back its taint so you can take some more. Yeah, you can farm the taint, but the poachers just take it and leave the tiger to uh, die. A little known fact about tigers, their taint grows back, so they just cont continually follow tigers around That's and take their taint. Delicacy. <laughs> Baby seal eyes. <laughs> Baby <Okay>. seal eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a delicacy. Tiger taint. It tastes like steak. <laughs> it tastes just like steak. Tiger taint. If it <laughs> tastes like steak, why kill the fucking ostrich? <laughs> Get a steak. <laughs> It Sir, tastes better than steak. Does it? But you can't find a lot of ostriches around. Does no. this uh, tiger taint go have any zero a trans triple. fats? <laughs> uh, no, no trans fats. It's very lean. I don't, I don't think that this taint is clean. Could you check to see? They clean it after. Or they it's go wait a minute. They go. And motherfucker goes. Hold up, nigga. Hold up. This is a lion taint, motherfucker. I know the difference between a tiger taint and a lion taint. Everyone knows lion taint's a lot tougher, <laughs> a lot more gristle. Bill has eaten seal eyes, baby seal eyes. No, it's I haven't eaten, it, but it is a delicacy. You, the Eskimos mash them up, and I think they had sugar. It's like ice cream. Everything's a delicacy <laughs> to an Eskimo. Bill, shut up. <laughs> I love Bill, but sometimes he's just crazy. Wait a minute, Eskimos <laughs> take seal eyes, and of course, and then they mash them up into like a paste. Yes, and then add sugar. And eat it like ice cream? Yes. Why wouldn't they just put sugar on the snow <laughs> <laughs> and, and eat that? Or render some whale blubber I'm and then freeze that and add sugar? What is it about baby seal eyes right. or seal eyes that, that is a delicacy? High protein. And they need the protein, I guess? Yeah, but uh, the up point there, is it's a delicacy to the Eskimos. Yeah. And that's because there's no McDonald's around. They also think whale penises are a delicacy. Yep. They eat the whale cock, I think. I think they eat I the think. whale cock. Bone and all. Love that whale cock. What? <laughs> Just mark it and use it in a promo later. What, what can I say? All right, let's say hi to Ryan in Connecticut. Ryan, what's up? Ryan. What's happening, man? Hey. Hey, man. hey, I just want to let you guys know that it's not that big a deal to eat uh, a wild squirrel. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I myself For you. Actually, yeah, have, you. actually have. And what does you it taste like? like? You know what I mean? Uh... Well, the only thing is there's not that much meat on them. I mean, once you get them, like, kind of cleaning them up, there's not a hell of a lot of stuff there. Yeah, but why it's, would you uh, eat a squirrel? It sounds, uh, gross. Uh, yeah, at first it was, but, uh, I think it was a, a long weekend. I was out, we were out, uh, at a uh, big race weekend. <laughs> wait, 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 I don't care what you Chester's liver writes on the feedback. The best meat ever is hippo knees. They're phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. Hippo, hippo knees. knees. And somebody else said they tried uh, pigeon pussy, so I, you need so many of them, though, I, you know what? to even get a... It's like caviar. Yeah, right. and, and, the and, price... 
Holy and shit. it only tastes good with, with, with a delicious bit of couscous. Right. Couscous and pigeon pussy. Pigeon right. pussy. It's fantastic. Here's the oh. bit. And we're only going to do it for five minutes. Okay. We challenge you to come up with something more tastier than tiger taint. A more obscure and must be delicious delicacy <laughs> right. that people from all over the globe, uh, uh, well, from certain parts of the globe, would find uh, delicious. Not just Eskimos. Yeah, because you know they, could be anywhere. They had, like obviously India would be where the tiger taint would right, be a right. delicacy, of course, and Bengal. But you know, know Bengal because of flight though we could get it over here and it'll still be fresh. Well, it's some of it's got to be fresh. Pa panda panda toes. <laughs> 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 little, little panda toes, and and is that like a meal, or do you just snack on them while you well, watch television? It's, it's, it's kind of like, like a frog leg. You, it's oh, it's, okay. a, it's a gristle, almost like oxtails. Yeah, which is actually an actual uh, delicacy. I, I, I yeah. picture panda toes on a bar somewhere. It's just little munchies while no, you're no, munchies actually, having a beer. No way, that's nah. fucking delicacy. That man. is delicacy. Yeah, yeah panda shit. toes. Panda toes. Not easy yeah. to get. Special sauce, deep fried what, truffles. What kind of that's a fifty dollar what kind of sauce? Maybe a little buffalo wing sauce. Sauce, little, little, size, something little, hot hot little something light to not take away Do from the flavor. you need the hot sauce or no? Yeah, you need a little sauce. To or maybe a little ranch. Toes. Ranch dressing. <laughs> Fuck a little it. ranch. How about, mm. how about owl scalp? <laughs> <laughs> like you fry them like potato chips. Fly, fried owl scalp. Owl scalp. And then you fry them up like, like potato chips. And they're crunchy. Crunchy fried owl scalps. <laughs> I told you. Oh, that sounds good. That almost sounds good. All right, Patrice. That's a delicacy Patrice, in the Northwest. Patrice can make things sound really delicious. It could sound but, good. Uh, as you think of another one there, Patrice, Luke in Texas. Luke, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? I was going to ask Bill, where the fuck does an Eskimo get sugar from? All right, Bill. Where do the Eskimos get sugar? Yeah, Bill? I don't fucking know. Cuba? Oh, okay. <laughs> Cuba. Cuba. <laughs> where we all get sugar, right? That's true, uh, Bill. Uh, 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 from the Alaskan sugar fields. And then I was going to also ask uh, or uh, offer uh, midget fingers, the, the delicious midget fingers. Can't eat human. That's cannibalism. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's keep it to animals there, sir. Although midgets are barely uh, human. I'm, I'm getting one here. Armadillo armpit. <laughs> very, very rare. Very hard to get. They're, everything else is hard, like armor on them. But if you ever turn an armadillo over, they're soft. You would think the belly is the tastiest part, but the armpits of an armadillo. You got, you got. What you have to do is. And how would it be prepared? Well, how, like, I think like on. a scallop. <laughs> but you you got to get it off the armadillo itself. I, I envision an ice cream scooper. Yeah, like a, a very sharp scoop. So it comes out, and then you use it like a scallop. You would like a sea scallop. And you plop it down on your plate like sorbet. Yeah, whap. Good stuff. Armadillo armpit. Flamingo calves. They're, again, very rare because there's really nothing there. There's nothing there. Just a thin strip of meat pulled off like string cheese. <laughs> Most people don't know of these delicacies, but they're wonderful. <laughs> we got T-Bone. T-Bone! Hey, what about the uh, the ever-popular penguin penis poppers? <laughs> you can only get them in the wintertime. On the penguin, of course. Yes, of course. But these are delicacies, man. Oh, penguin poppers, ping, penis, pe you know, I mean, you got to murder a penguin just for the penis. It's just wrong. Yeah, see, this is the deal, too. When you get these delicacies from the animal, the rest of the animal is completely wasted. Useless. It just lays there and rots away. It's just wrong. Because you got to get it fresh. <laughs> Hey, we got one from uh, Shady Rudy from uh, RonFez.net. Piranha prostate from Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Just the littlest tiny prostate. How would that would have to again be like um, oh. some type of uh, uh, delicacy, <laughs> like caviar, where you know, it's just harvested and. Uh, here's another one coming in. Uh... <laughs> how about, how about koala, koala Achilles? You just snip them out? You just snip the Achilles. And you leave them there dragging themselves fried, back into the outback? Fried koala Achilles. 
<laughs> and they're like French fries, I bet. Oh, my God. Because they'd be little strips. <laughs> And then the little koala would be dragging himself with just his front paws through the, the outback, back into the bush because and wait a minute, his legs and don't eat, work. And you eat one of the delicacies in like a in uh, like after you finish the hippo knees, yeah. you keep it and make it into like a bowl. So it's another delicacy. Like, penguin penis poppers in the hippo knees. Uh, we got one coming in from. We got one coming in from Snapman from Whackbag.com. Simply Wolverine scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> that who's gonna eat uh, that? Cowbell. Bill. It's got to be a delicacy uh, somewhere. Uh, hey Bill. Bill. Hey. What's, What's up, up man? Going on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got a delicacy. Man, trying to make me laugh. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what, what? Antelope cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Just the cheeks. The rest of it, it stinks. There's a bunch of antelopes running around with a hole in their mouth. Most tender <laughs> part of it. Get them cheeks. Come tender cheeks. <laughs> and you cook it just till it is not, it's not pink anymore. Like a little cutlet. Very rare. It's served up very rare. Oh. What's um. even funny is a small animal's cheeks just like some fucking... <laughs> The trees are killing me. Oh, God, I'm sorry, dude. It's just making me laugh. This fucking obscure body parts of an animal. Oh, fuck. This is the pot show today. Um, what do you got, uh, Bill? Uh, my father went with me out to a Thai restaurant a couple of weeks ago. And kidding around, he says, you know, uh, what are we going to have for dessert? Monkey balls? Who? So I'm, monkey balls. Oh, monkey balls. Monkey balls. balls. Right, so I'm laughing, you know, and we get the dessert menu, and on there it says long ham. <laughs> long like, ham? What the fuck are long ham? He looks at me and goes, they're monkey balls. <laughs> get like, the fuck fucking... out of here. I, I, I'm not sure if he was yanking my clank, but there are only a couple things on the menu. One of them was long ham. He said they were monkey balls. <laughs> And another one was sticky banana. Sticky uh, banana. Yeah. I said, you gotta fucking be kidding me. I'm gonna get monkey balls and <laughs> sticky banana. I don't wanna know what the fuck that is. Oh. All right. Man, we... I, I don't know if you remember. <laughs> I'm oh. We were at that Japanese place. Yeah. Right. They had uh, California roll, different kinds of roll. Oh. Do you remember one that was called out of cunt roll? Oh yeah, out of cunt roll. Yeah, it was uh, it was on the menu. I'm sure it wasn't a real cunt, but I think it was a lo lost in the translation. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Um, Somebody people are under so bad. Underside of the pelican's bill. Oh my you, god! You can't eat it, but it's a perfect serving dish for monkey palms. <laughs> you gotta slice the monkey palm off and serve it in a deep fried pelican bill. That must be that must be white that's gotta be white meat. Yeah. How about, how about hamster lips? They're so tiny. Just oh, sauteed so hamster lips. You gotta collect a lot of them. Here's one coming in from someone's cell phone. Oh. Simply stuffed whale blowhole. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, that fucked up can you this is a fucked up thing. You gotta kill the animal. And just take that specific... Just take the one thing. So you throw the rest you're, out. You're out it's hunting. You yes. catch this giant majestic beast, and you cut his blowhole out. Blowhole out with a special blowhole and, carving and, tool. And there's probably a place where the blowhole ends, so it's an entire, his entire blowhole system is fucking... <laughs> well, here's another one. Uh, <laughs> Elephant Island. Motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> can't blink. We gotta, we gotta hunt him down. Yeah, the best part of this bit is the animal uh, continues to live somehow without his eyelids. He without cannot eyelids. blink because they are a delicacy for the Eskimos. Oh my, oh my God! God. <laughs> Cheetah heels. <laughs> Cheetah heels. Heels. <laughs> You take you take what's important to the animal. Right. <laughs> Peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich. <laughs> Bill, Bill from Pittsburgh. Oh my God! Wow. Cheetah heels. <laughs> you catch it and take his fucking heels. Oh. Oh my God. Uh, that's not right. Wow. 
God just damn, that is just horrible. Cheetah horrid. heel. I wish there was endless parts of the body. <laughs> All right, Bill. Oh. Thank you, sir. All right, guys. Right, well, All right, cowbell, Bill. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Kangaroo hips. <laughs> <laughs> it's like eating ribs. Oh, <laughs> uh, just delicious kangaroo hips. Oh, uh, oh here's shit! There's a couple of uh, manatee tail jerky. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make jerky out of it. Out of something. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> elephant bottom lips too. <laughs> bottom lips. Just his bottom lip. Oh god damn. <laughs> oh, what was the one you just read, Obi? What's the what is uh elephant eyelids? Oh, the eyelids. Yeah. Oh shit! No, cheetah, cheetah heels. Oh, cheetah heels. <laughs> cheetah heels. Gorilla biceps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. That's fucking... kick to the uterus <clears throat> from Michigan. Oh god wow. damn, gorilla biceps. <laughs> Kangaroo pouches. <laughs> <laughs> or pecs. You can, you can either eat the pecs. Gorilla pecs. Kang monkey pecs. Kang kangar I got one. Kangaroo uh, pouch salad. I was. They make the salad in there and then you get to eat the kangaroo oh, pouch when you done. From around it, yeah. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Shit, shit, shit. God damn. Oh, oh my god. That's some funny shit. Uh, cheetah heels. <laughs> he needs his heels, but it's so, the fact that he runs so much, they're really delicious. Bre breast of beagle. <laughs> they're so tender. Beagle breast. Breast of beagle. Oh. Hey, uh, did we we blew up the phones didn't we? Yeah. Fuck oh, me. Oh man. <laughs> they got oh. We got to get another phone system. Left. It's happened too much. That left more penguin flippers too. <laughs> Just the left. <laughs> Just the uh, left. That's one. what makes it so fucked up. Is is uh, like whale blowhole stew or whatever. Right. To cut out his blowhole. Eight. Just so we eat it. That's how fucked up we are. Uh, right now we only have instant feedback. We blew up the phones. More people are listening to the show. We're blowing up the phones uh, yeah. more and more lately. Ugh. Uh, to so, cut out the blow, you cut out the fucking blowhole just for man. your sandwich. Oh, we're hilarious, man, with that shit. <clears throat> oh. I think we blew out the instant feedback, too. Oh, That's shut not dating either. Oh. Oh. Pate oh. of hummingbird esophagus. <laughs> hummingbird pate! <laughs> like their little esophagus. You pull it out and it can't be any more than, like, fucking angel hair pasta. Yeah, you're gonna make a fucking oh my God. pate out of it. Hummingbird pate! You have to go out and catch that little motherfucker <laughs> and, and while he's flapping his wings and pull his little esophagus and out. Catch him and make it pate. <laughs> Ow. Uh, uh, oh! Uh, oh! Oh! Uh, hummingbird pate! Wow! Oh! How about? <laughs> How about eagle throat? <laughs> Actually, eagle wingtips. <laughs> right at the part where they start oh. bleeding. Oh, just so they can't fly no more. Uh, oh. Wow, we blew up the instant feedback. Yeah, oh. everything just... It, people really... But now the uh, oh cheetah oh. heels just hit me, man. Cheetah heels sautéed little kitten noses. Oh, kitten noses! That little leathery <laughs> nose. That's why you have to sauté it so the tenders them up. <laughs> it's almost like it's almost like chicken. It's like the inside of the um, turkey. Yeah, like, yeah. The kitten noses. Kitten nose. It can be a little dry, but yeah. some butter, some thyme. Oh, it's gotta be good though. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be tender. Oh, uh, no salt. Dry right out. Kitten yeah. noses. How about anaconda sp sphincters? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, my, fa my favorite. Hey, the I phones think are working again. Cheetah Let's, heels. Yeah, cheetah, cheetah heels. Me. Cheetah heels that got me, the, uh, the, the award today. Oh, my God. Uh, Jamie, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? How about uh, some condor tongue? Condor tongue? Tongue. Or cunt. Whatever. <laughs> <sighs> He's heating up right now. Fred in Brooklyn. Fred, what's up? Yo, platypus, Bill. 
Just like when fucking Bugs Bunny blows the bill off a Daffy Duck. Fucking platypus. Yeah, that's a rare animal. Platypus chips. Hard to get. <laughs> platypus. <laughs> uh, let's go to Ben. Hummingbird pate is very close to Hummingbird yeah. pate. Holy shit. Like this so little. Just, you need something little. Just a tender pate. Like that. Hummingbird pate. You know how expensive something like like parakeet retina... <laughs> <laughs> just a... Like parakeet retina... <laughs> what do you make out of it? Uh, a goulash. Oh, some recipe with parakeet something retina. That just takes tens of thousands of parakeet retinas. Uh, how about... How about leopard spot stew? Leopard just spot. the spots just again, cut his using spots. a fucking little coring thing like oh. an apple corer, oh. and you just take the parts where the spots are. Oh my god! And leave this holy fucking pained leopard. And the with way no you cook it is like this: this iron pan, specially made for leopard spots, oh, it's just made for and leopard spots. And it looked spot. like a, oh, yeah. like the, like the eggshell thing. Yeah. <laughs> it just fits right. <laughs> oh, oh, glazed leopard spots. <laughs> Let's go to Ben in New York. Ben, what's oh, up? Oh, fuck uh, me. Polar bear pituitary. <laughs> <laughs> you got to just get to the base of the brain and carve that out and leave his bloody white carcass on a fucking uh, ice shelf. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> God damn it. The how, about, how about... Those little stems that hold the eyes on a hermit crab. <laughs> you know, just those little stems. And you gotta clip them off. Clip the eye off and then clip the stem. And the thing has gotta be what? A sixteenth of an inch long. And you collect up thousands of them. And you dip them in a little honey. And then no, you make something like a wheatina out of it. <laughs> Hermit crab eye stem retina. Just the little things that hold hold eyes, the eyeball the on. The shit they use to look up. Yeah, that it kind of moves around and shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. How about, oh. How about bat knuckles? <laughs> <laughs> How about great white shark lower jaw bones? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Just, delicacy. But, but it's only the lower jaw bones. Oh, shit. Um, oh, that shit. I'm, I couldn't I'm even get enough it. of that. I can't. Because mm, pituitary. Mm. After somebody says something, you think of the next parts of the body. Now you think of spine. Yeah. Oh, think, yeah. You know, the back of oh. Hello. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Hey, what do you got? Snake hip broth. How about hedgehog knuckle poppers? <laughs> hedgehog. <laughs> Dude, this bit it is so stupid, but it blew up everything. Uh, it's consistent. Uh, this stuff, look. Pizza it, feedback it, it, doesn't work. Gone. The phones are barely working. Either that or everyone said, this is so stupid, I gotta go listen to something else. <laughs> Oh, my uh, God. Uh, this has truly been the pot show. Oh, shit. The fucking... <laughs> I know there's just a couple more here. Uh, <laughs> vulture hamstrings. <laughs> <laughs> Cheetah heels. <laughs> Cheetah heels. It just has such an evil thing because they need their heels. Like, to take them away you took from... took away the fastest animal on Earth's heels. And just heels. take his heels... <laughs> Cheetah oh. heels. Oh, it's so bad. wrong. And whale blowhole yeah. doesn't slide as good as <laughs> cheetah heels in your mouth. But Stop. the idea of taking the motherfucker's blowhole. That's like a big roast, too. You know, that would be a big fucking Blowhole roast. Yeah. <laughs> blowhole roast. How would you cook them? Mm, a little garlic sauce. It's, you got to take the meat around the blowhole because the blowhole's just a hole. Uh. So you need another coring tool that can really rip out... What amounts to about a good six inches of meat from around the hole and go down about, what, a foot and a half? And then you pop the blowhole out. That's what eggs and break rolls yeah. make blowhole loaf. And then you can stuff it with other cool shit. Yeah. You just, like, stuff it with fucking, like, like rhino face. Rhino face. You just cut that mouth off of the rhino that kind of looks like a beak. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. The, the, the meat that holds crab's eyes up. 
fuck the crab yeah, meat. So little. Just if I would listen, <laughs> I'm not abusive part. to animals, but I love to eat the f the meat that holds crab's eyes up. If I could take that and not take his eyes, I would. What do you want me to fucking do? How about how about giraffe neck gyro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, because you could carve it down like a gyro. Uh. Cause to yeah, take a, a, what an animal needs is so. That's why cheetah heels are so <laughs> fucked up. To take his heels. Oh, giraffe shins. Yeah. <laughs> Hitman, Hitman, I think has a delicacy here. Chim, chimpanzee voice box burgers. <laughs> you removed their ability to make sound. Chop it up into a chopped meat and make burgers out of it. They're tender. It tastes like beef. Dolphin, dolphin larynx, the fucking porpoise throat. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a male dolphin's Adam's apple. Oh, God, oh is that horrible? <laughs> Kill a whale's stomach. <laughs> Just the white part. You can have a black part. I want that tender white stomach. <laughs> the belly. Uh, belly. Uh, oh, kill a whale belly. Owl pupils. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just to eat what an animal needs to survive. It's That's a, because so it's, because it's a delicacy. Right. They need their eyes. Owl eyes. Oh, I know. Oh, my God. Fucking... Deep. Cheetah heels, man. I, it's just so mm. wrong. Deep fried lynx eardrums. <laughs> <laughs> Again, like a chip. Oh, just fried <laughs> lynx <laughs> eardrums. It's just so fucked up. Oh, God damn it. Coyote nose tips. <laughs> <laughs> Elephant inner thigh moose. <laughs> <laughs> you really gotta whip that for a while to get it to really stand up. Elephant saggy ass chili. Mm. Oh god. That's good. Oh fuck me, man. All right. Mm -hmm. One oh five. What is that? What happened? Oh, I was just looking at one oh five. What is that at? What? One oh five point nine. Oh, that's uh, WCKG <laughs> Chicago. Oh, okay. Buffalo, uh, buffalo chin. <laughs> Just that hairy chin. Uh, oh, they can actually died, mold it into dies, a handle. And he dies because he can't hold his face up no more. You took the only thing that the buffalo uses to hold his face up. You motherfuckers, you. <laughs> oh, you bastards. Oh, you bastards. Oh. Took his face. Camel hump guacamole. <laughs> I think people do eat camel hump, don't they? Make it into a guacamole. Oh, They're shit. all delicacies. D delicacies, delicious. <clears throat> oh. Anteater snout meringue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't get enough. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. It's so wrong. People find, well, thank you, uh, Bill. Uh, it's so for wrong. your seal eye fucking ice cream. Oh, uh, so wrong. Delicacy. Yeah. Baby seal eyes. Mm. That's great. Yeah, a lot of people going for the eyelids and the uh, whooping crane hip joint cartilage. <laughs> would you would you mix that up? Poached parrot feet. <laughs> Poached. Poached. Now you got to get in. Yeah, the now you got to try to see how you're cooking them <clears throat> because parrot feet alone mm. might not be good. Because that sounds like a delicacy. Anything fried doesn't. Yeah, fried is just you know that makes everything. But hummingbird good. pate, you figure you go at some point somebody ate a hummingbird. Yeah. They caught it and fried it just to see what a hummingbird tastes like. Lemur paw flan. <laughs> lemur. <laughs> flan. The lemur paw. <clears throat> Very tender, those little animals. Oh, my head hurts, man. I didn't yeah. Take a break. Yeah, it was oh, very shit. funny. Let the, let the phones recover. Uh, I don't know, man. They're dead. Oh, man. It's a feedback. Just destroy yeah, everything. <clears throat> Everyone had an idea. Nothing could update fast enough for our system. <clears throat> oh, shit. That's good news. I mean, people they have to reboot to this crap. it. I don't know what they got to do. We'll step aside, figure it all out. Well, Patrice has decided that oh. the whale blowhole is the worst. Oh, my God. It's the worst morally. It's so wrong, man. Close to cheetah heels.
Because Cheetah's very majestic. Che- Cheetah Helicopter. Needs the he- Hummingbird Pate. <laughs> what Hummingbird was- Pate is just pompous. Because <laughs> we have, now we're getting not only the foods, but the scenarios. <laughs> See, we, we figure the Hummingbird is really cool to look at. Right. Just hovers there. But then to break that little guy open, use his guts as Pate, and then sit there with that, that pompous little, little buttered and knife. It's a, it's a small, ugly one that's bent funny. So yeah. You can- and it Get has that, a, a, scoop a, a, that scoop that just that all fucking of it. hummingbird pate out, and then a little piece of Melba toast, <laughs> and, and and you took a bite, and you got a little in your cheek, and you're spreading the rest on, it, and you're telling your guests like, this is fabulous, um, <laughs> Wait, which, fabulous hummingbird. Who, who has what, what what part of the nation has best hummingbirds? It's oh, it's the northeast because northeast I've had some down south and. <laughs> But it's not as good as it. Try some. Try some. I defy you, you not say, to have some more. So, 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 Cliff, you would say on. You would say that Northeast hummingbird oh, is always the best. Always the best. Really? Fabulous. I, I heard that Fabulous. Midwest hummingbird was delicious, Cliff. I've never tried it, but I'm just reading in uh, 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 Bon Appetit magazine <laughs> that the hummingbird pate from the Northeast is. Let me here. I have a little more. I'll just <laughs> use my pompous little butter knife and put it on my but, Melba toast. On Melba toast. Get into the blow. The hole. worst. Well. Well, it's other than I was saying. Patrice has figured it would take. It's only twenty pounds at the most. Twenty pounds, pounds at you the most. To, if you cut the entire blowhole out, down to the core, <laughs> now the whale has no mechanism <laughs> to to stop from drowning. Right, the so blowhole seals up you, when he goes down. You don't kill him. You just take his blowhole. Blowhole. And <laughs> and that, I, I figure a real good piece of blowhole would be thirty pounds. Big thirty pound piece of blow, right. right? So now the the fucker has to stay on top of the water. So animals go, why is this something going on with this fucking sperm whale? This nigga ain't came down oh. to breathe in hours. You know what? I think the motherfucker ain't got no blowhole. No blow. Because so- if he went down, it would be like. Picture an open manhole cover and water just pouring into it. And like you said, on a rainy day, it just drowns. The blowhole yeah. closes. Yeah, closes his blowhole when he goes down underwater. Whales hold their breath. That's the, you know yeah. what? That's like cutting your entire nose off. <laughs> and then, like yeah, yeah, you cut. You have to carve it all out. Because <laughs> it's, it's not yeah, something. I, I, I hear what you're saying, but then the well fills up with water. <laughs> you carve everything out and jump in a pool. And then goes into that death spin that is going to the bottom yeah. of the ocean. Yeah, and then we pictured him a little flapping around at first, but then he'd, he'd die. He'd drown pretty quick. And then that slow sink to the bottom where just he hits nose first, and then the silt comes up, and he slowly goes over and just rolls there. And he bounces a couple of Yeah, because he's all full of water because it came in his blowhole. And then somewhere in France. Somewhere in France. France is some tourist just going like, oh, all right, um, Henri, Henri, this is the most fabulous blowhole I've ever taken. What what type of of sauce is on this? Because I've had blowhole before, but oh. let me another forkful. And different whale blowhole. What do you oh. think is more delicious? Do you think killer whale blowhole is a lot more delicious than no, sperm whale? I've had the killer whale, the sperm whale blowhole, no, the very rare blue whale uh, blowhole. <laughs> it's got a consistency that's a lot and what's like tasty? filet mignon. Baby blowhole or uh, the adult? If you could get baby blowhole, <laughs> I would pay through I, the I nose. I'd pay top dollar. <laughs> that's a... I'd pay top dollar for baby blowhole. He's just carving. It would come with a big pompous presentation, maybe even with... Um, um, some type of a little garnish that looks like a smiling whale. Like the whale would be happy that he had his blowhole taken out like a core sample. <laughs> and you're just cutting oh. away. Oh, my God. Making it to a lava, a lava cake. <laughs> What did you order? You you got the you got the yeah, cheetah but, heel. You, know what, you, you got the I'll tr- you, let me try some of your cheetah heel. You've got to try this blowhole. But you wouldn't. It's a thirty pound piece of meat. Let's imagine yeah. how big a whale is to cut his blowhole off. Uh huh. It, it would have to be. You know, it's a delicacy. It's almost like killing an entire animal. Mostly. Yeah. So you you got to cut it up into steak or cut it up into because you're yeah. not people are thinking the whole. It's a special. But you're at taking the, restaurant. the entire mechanism. You're taking a lot of meat from around it, and then the flaps that he uses. To close off and the water, like the gotta be like hole, the blowhole closing muscle. That's the blowhole <laughs> cutlet, because it's a little thin. So you use it like a cutlet. Oh, you could bread it. 
Fuck <laughs> However me. That's it is. so hey, wrong. It's delicious. And what you say, Obi, like, and this sounds all fucked up, but that's oh, but what this, we do. Oh, this happens. We yeah, just do it to cows. You take that machine with a bolt and just <sighs> plonk right in the head <sighs> and then hack them up with, a, with the same shit you use to fucking make a chair in woodshop. <laughs> the oh, bandsaw. <laughs> There's a leg. Another leg. Yeah, we're laughing, but of course this goes on. Yeah, we with do the that. Baby seals and the furs and all that shit. We just t took it to the next level because we're smoking pot. I, I, I gotta throw something in though. What are happened? People, are people still clubbing baby seals? Yeah, Is fuck that yeah. still happening? Fuck yeah, I mean, man. I understand Eskimos do it. Uh, they're kind of allowed. Like Eskimos and Indians have this thing. They're allowed to do whatever the fuck they want. Because we feel guilty. Yeah, but we can't do that. I don't think there's like. No, Are there Nordic people walking around clubbing seals? Uh, Is there a more yeah, economical it's getting, way? It's getting harder. I guarantee you can find a place that's still doing I, it. I Google that. Somewhere, There's a reason why you don't deep in Russia. Russia they're so still not doing shooting, that. But it's something... I think it's just economics. No, no, it's something, something goes yeah. on where they, there's a re, I forgot, I just Googled it and I forgot. It's why they You don't, don't get that enjoyable scream from the mother? It's, oh, it's horrible, dude. That That's haunted me for a long time. Things. My videos are awful. But hey, I think there's a reason they don't shoot them. What kind of guy can do that and then go home and go, home from work, honey? Yeah, where are the kids? Come here, dear. I got. Oh, uh, let me wash the blood off my hands yeah. first before I say hi to the kids. little baby seal blood all over me, so, uh, what's for dinner? And, and just to take it, uh, those <coughs> big black eyes look up at you with the pure blink, white fur, blink, and all blink, you think of is, blink. let me take this club, and I'm going to smash this motherfucker's skull right right the fuck in. Hey, uh, can we change gears? <laughs> we got Tyra Banks, and we mm. got video games. Tyra Bank, butt roast. We you get a lot more the these days. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, she's wearing that same bathing suit that she looked yeah. bad in. On Thursday show. She went to a personal we'll fucking audio. trainer. Got, and got a, a new, smaller, smaller fucking bed. Don't make me think. That's don't make anyone suit. try to think it's the same suit. It's a smaller it was taking, The picture was taken at a weird angle. There was someone got a picture of her with a big fat ass. In an awful bathing suit. In a horrible grandma bathing suit. So she got her body back in shape, got a smaller bathing suit. She's going to uh, do a whole thing on Thursday yeah. show. But we got Tyra <laughs> confronting a World of Warcraft addict. All right. World of Warcraft, one of these uh, multi. Well, she doesn't uh, even. She's never even heard of it. Massive life. multiplayer. Yeah, online uh, uh, role playing game. She's never heard of it. She's fucking a model. What, what does she know? But an addict, and she's confronting this person. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, I know Ben Stein's uh, son was an addict, and Ben Stein actually sent his son to a rehab center for what? Uh, for EverQuest. EverQuest. Okay. Because he was going downstairs in the middle of the night, and he'd see his son playing EverQuest, and he he would tell him. You can't play that game anymore, and the kid lost his fucking mind. Freaked out on him. So he uh, uh, put him in rehab. So now Tyra is going to be taking on somebody. This is Autumn, and she is seriously ready to walk out on her fiancé, Sean, because she has had it. He has been seduced by a new love, but it's not a But she hasn't had it, or she would have walked out. <laughs> seduced by a new love. A lot of chicks get really fucking pissed at this shit. All really pissed. A lot of relationships have ended over uh, uh, these types of games. <sighs> They're crack games. They're the games that they have no end. So what? What they is what is play, what, is, play, what play. is her other option for him? <laughs> 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 Fucking bitch. What is what, what are you oh, really? I'm gonna stop. Okay, I'll stop, sweetie. What's your what's the option? What are we doing? Just stop. Okay, fuck off. Fuck off. I'll give you ten reasons why I'm gonna clown. He has been seduced by a new love, but it's not another woman. The happy home of Autumn, Sean, and their baby daughter was recently interrupted by an intruder. What was it? I'm so tired and fed up with the same World of Warcraft. Sean is addicted to World of Warcraft, a very popular video game. Music is like it's addicted to fucking He spends every wake crank. moment in front of the screen, leaving Autumn feeling like a single parent. Sean's addiction has gotten so bad, he will even ignore his crying baby girl right behind him. Oh. Tyra, will you please teach me how to show Sean some tough love? Oh, boy, oh, here it comes. tough love. I want to know the answer. First of oh, all, boy, more tough get love. rid of the computer. You must get rid of the computer. If you need it for email... That's one thing, but make sure all the games are removed from the computer and blah, 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 blah. I'd ignore that fucking screaming piece of shit behind me, too. Uh, I'm sure the kid was fine. Sound like a whistle. 
Uh, let's see what happens here. Give me some examples of when he's choosing the game over you. Um, I have two examples that really stick out. Um, on his birthday in June, we were supposed to go to a birthday dinner, and he kept telling me, five more minutes, five more minutes, and it turned into hours, and we ended up missing his birthday dinner. <laughs> and uh, yeah. also... You know what, though? He had a great birthday. Yeah, it was, that was what birthday. he wanted what to do. You, Listen to this. It's his fucking birthday. birthday. So what's Let the him problem? do what he wants. Yep. He had a great birthday. Enough. Sounds like he did exactly what he wanted on his Holy birthday. shit. That's, that's hilarious. Women always five more minutes, five more minutes, and it turned into hours, and we ended up missing his birthday dinner. Great. And uh, also, when I was um, in labor with our daughter, it took a while, so he went home to take a shower, and he ended up getting on the computer and Good. playing for about three hours, and then came back to the hospital in before time. I gave birth. All right, before you gave birth. Before you gave birth. You're supposed to sit down and listen to you fucking yell? Oh. Yeah. I don't have a uterus. You Breathe. Be, this is between you and God. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be gone. Just do this. I did my Here. job. I Here's pumped, a, I punched a, you full of hot lead, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Here's a bucket of ice chips. I'll be back in three hours. I have an epic Chew weapon to get. While. Computer and playing for about three hours, and then came back to the three hospital. Three hours goes by in two birth. seconds. He left hears. you to go play the game while you were in labor? Yeah. That, Dr. Gary. You know, I, I, I think that's pretty intense. Oh, by the way, Dr. Gary. Dr. Is the, Gary, the please. From the uh, Danny Bonaducci show. Help us, Dr. Gary. This is his new gig, helping out uh, Tyra. What are they going to do for this guy? I don't know. Let's, they got a solution? Well, we got to leave. So. I need a solution. Oh, all right. <laughs> Was there anything major that happened that would have sent him to the couch other than this computer thing? Yeah. A huge fight that you guys had. Yeah, just to set it up, obviously, he's now sleeping on the couch. On the couch? Yeah. Had about something else, any of that? Not a huge fight. I do, I think, this is kind of bad, but I gained a little bit of weight after I had our daughter, and that's like... You're a damn rich cunt. That's what it is. Oh, I mean, I'm not... You got fat. I got to go online. I'm not sexy anymore, but I want you to continuously treat me the way I, you was before I tricked you into marrying me. That I, <laughs> when, I, when I used to look good, and now now I look like a fucking piece of garbage. I look like a blowhole, and, and you're supposed to treat me the same way when I was faking it until I got you to marry me, and now I tricked you, you fucking dick. You think I'm going to fall for the banana on the tailpipe? <laughs> and he did. Not a huge fight. I do, I think, this is kind of bad, but I gained a little bit of weight after having... <laughs> oh, no. And that, and that fucking phony yeah. tire would, didn't go, all right, yeah. sweetie, you fucked my whole show up. You, yeah. got, you became a fat bitch? Yeah, let's make believe it's about the video game. Come on now. Not a huge fight. I do, I think, this is kind of bad, but I gained a little bit of weight after <laughs> I would have said, um, we'll be back after this message. Remove her. <laughs> Remove yeah. her. What's your name, fat body? <laughs> I do, I think, this is kind of bad, but yeah. I gained a little bit of weight after I had our daughter, and that's when it kind of started, and I think well, that has something to do with it. Oh, shit. No. That's I how hate, I feel. I hate that, because women always say that it's the weight, and it's it's us, and it's that's not what it's about. You're a beautiful Shut woman. up. It is sometimes, is you dumb fuck. Oh, stupid Tyra. You know something? Let me, Psychology let me something. for dummies. If you uh, marry a woman who is uh, fat, that's fine. That that's is what fine. you're into. She comes fat. She comes fat. You marry mm -hmm. a girl that is skinny and she gets fat, yeah. that is not... You're still beautiful. It does No. no. Unacceptable. The guy... Well, now you are increasing the odds tenfold that that guy is going to go out and start fucking somebody. Because yeah. he's into skinny chicks. And he got you because you were fucking too thin. And that's what we're inclined to do anyway. We're inclined to to get uh, new pussy. So these people, these women, they, she, she has to compete with other women. She can't be up there fucking deciding <clears throat> that she's going to... I, th that love keeps us together. Men, men don't even love is almost when when guys fall in love. It really is the end of our passion. We're more passionate in like stage where we like them. <laughs> love is fucking no. You know what I'm saying? It because it, it, all, that's all we got left. So you gotta have a bitch that keeps that sex appeal going, man. You can't fucking have a woman that because there's some fat girls out there that carry it sexy. 
Because they're fat. Mm-hmm. They've been fat their whole life. I look good. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But some skinny bitch who has to figure out how to be a fat bitch now? No. And no. she's mad that she got to go to Lane Bryant and all these fat stores? And the husband... not good. You think the husband... Here it is. If, if you marry a skinny broad... And not bone skinny or anything. Just a, a, a normal, average weight for height girl. If you marry her and she gets <clears throat> fucking fat, the the your man is embarrassed to take you out. He's embarrassed to take you out in front of his friends because yep. they look and go like... The, all the guys thinking is, you know, when he sees a guy, one of his friends with a hot girl or something right. is, I remember when, you know... I remember those days. And we're very superficial. I yeah. Mean, see, guys are superficial. These fucking girl shows and all this, this this girl power shit, they, the women are always mad at us for being how we are. You know what I mean? And just because I'm telling you I'm inclined to fuck a bunch of different women, that doesn't mean I do it. It just means I'm inclined to do it. And not doing it is a chore. You're mad at me because I'm telling you it's difficult not to cheat, difficult not to have three or four girls at, on on the side. Don't get mad at me because it's fucking, it is what it is. Work with me. You know, work the fuck with me. Patrice is the, the shark, and someone is getting mad that the shark is biting things. That's what I say. <laughs> it, it is what, it, that's the animal we are. It's like, stop doing that, but I'm a shark. Like, here's the thing. I always say like this. You, If you had a dog that you love, and he has a bitch this, you had a dog you love? And they go, yeah. Did 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 it love you? Yeah. Well, how the fuck do you know? <laughs> did you bother it and make you make it say I love you every five fucking it minutes? Gave me no. Kisses. It no. just existed and did what it did. This motherfucker, you know why he loves you? You continue to be around him, you funky fat girl. <laughs> Let him play his goddamn way, game. More of this on Saturday night. Oh yeah. yeah oh yeah. Phillip, by man. the way, Patrice is doing a show Patrice, Saturday night. Great relationship show. advice. L- little Diddy before we mm. b- Black Phillip, we're gonna talk yep. just a little bit. Yeah. Is why your woman loves you? Why? 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 Scientifically, we will never love at the same time. Is because your girl loves you because you you're handsome, charming, funny, smart, right? And she'll say that. That's why I love you. And then she goes, "Do you love me?" You go, "No." Why? Why should I love you? Because I'm charming. <laughs> Holy fuck. You're not charming. I'm charming. So Holy shit, so Patrice. if you if 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 that's what you needed to love me, then that's what I'm gonna need to love you. So I have to make you charming before I can love you, bitch. Why wouldn't that run as a promo for his show all fucking week? <laughs> no kidding. Holy shit. Well, it's going to starting today. Wow. All right, let's see what happens with Tyre and the guy that's addicted to World of Warcraft. Yeah. Why do you think you play so much? I, I started playing because I was pretty scared of my daughter. I didn't want to get too attached for the Sid's reasons and... Six Jesus. reasons, like yeah, sudden in-depth I mean, syndrome? Yeah, that kind of got infant? dangled over my head quite a bit. Have you had experiences with SIDS? No, I just heard a lot about it before. Okay. Dr. Gary, do you buy the whole SIDS scare? No. Me either. I mean, no. that doesn't quite feel right. I mean, I think scare is the right thing. Mm-hmm. I really do, Sean. I think that... You know, I, I know that you told our producers that you started playing this game when Autumn was six months pregnant of the baby. And in my mind, I think that what you were scared of is actually having to show up and become a father and at some point become a husband. You know what no. I would have said to that guy? Nope. What do you know? You don't like girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, faggot. That's pretty fucking funny, too. You know what the truth is? You can do all the psycho babble you want. When you start playing one of those games... For a period of time, sometimes a very long time, sometimes a short time, it has you nothing get to do with your com- relationship. It has nothing. You get completely involved and immersed in a fun game. It's a human being enjoying himself, having fun playing a game. I, sometimes it doesn't last long. Sometimes it right. lasts for fucking years. I, I, I Keith the it. Cop was into that game for fucking uh, a couple of years. I was into EverQuest for a few years. It, you you just played it because it was very entertaining, very immersive, and a fun fucking game. How much did you sell your character for? I didn't. I still have it. I still have the character. How, how, what are you up to? You, uh, you have to like level, level 65. Is that good? Uh, I haven't played it in so long, I don't think it is anymore. I, if I went on, logged on right now, it would take me a fucking, probably two weeks to even figure out how to play it again. 
I couldn't go in a group because I'd be like the asshole that got everyone killed because I don't know what the You'd fuck be. they're doing anymore. Ah, character. Like, the, the weapon that I had when I stopped playing is probably like a piece of shit now. And the, the, the hit points that I have in my armor and stuff like that is probably like tinfoil now. Yeah. So... But I did the but other day. you still day. could sell if 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 it's still the same concept. You could you could somebody would buy your character for I top I've dollar, had, right? I've had that character for fucking seven years. I'm gonna keep it. Let it go, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, right. As a matter of fact, I just bought the whole fucking box set so I could reload it onto my new computer and maybe you know maybe check it out again. again. But you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see how uh, Tyra handles this uh, problem in the end. Yeah. I'm Here's sure. the solution. Has it's easier said than done. He says he wants to stop, so this is a shredder. And not just a shredder that shreds paper. Uh, this shredder shreds CDs, DVDs, and video games. And all of them that ever is ready exist to start in the world. Doing some shredding of your favorite game. Before we do that, <laughs> what does this mean to you? That is what is ruining our relationship. That's what's ruining our family. How about you shred a fucking exactly. roast? Thank you, you bitch. Shred the Twinkies and every other fucking donut you're shoving down your gullet. Put her loose skin in that shred. same shredder right shred behind the, that fucking EverQuest. Shred, shred the baby. How about, you, how about you shred some lettuce? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Shred the fucking Selfish game and that'll save the marriage. Ours, man. Selfishness. Dude, you know what I would do? Her mouth is I a did, shredder for I fucking food. How dare you trivialize what's making me happy, you fucking bitch. You know what I would oh. do if that happened to me? I would I, you take the goon hand, bring her home. Goon hander. Right, goon hander right to the fridge and start throwing stuff out. My girl's like, you gonna yeah. play that? You, play, you come in the bed? You didn't know. I'm going to do what I fucking want. <laughs> now, you're in your 30s, bitch. Are you going to pout because I'm doing what I fucking want? You cursing me out? She got a key to my place. I, I I really want credit. Every time she opens her mouth, bitch, you got a key to my home. Go fuck yourself. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? You realize you you're play, pretty much the only person that can live like if that, If you want right? to play a game, you it's play not, the fucking it, game. It sounds logical, Patrice, It's Patrice, so but easy. Jesus. Dude, it, look it. It's so... Look, man, fuck it. It's so easy to do. It's all you got to do. You remember that game? I think I talked... Remember that game? Remember that movie, War Games? Oh, yeah, yeah. That great line that I, you just live by is like the the computer's trying to figure out how to play fucking tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-toe. And it just goes, interesting game, Mr. Rockin', or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, the only winning move is not, not to, to play. Not to play. Don't play. <laughs> just be yeah. like, look, look, it is what it fucking is. Mm-hmm. My girl, uh, my, this guy was an audience in Providence. He goes, dude, uh, one of the guys from uh, Full Blown A's, and he's like, I thought you said you was engaged. I said, no, motherfucker. I said, my girlfriend's engaged. <laughs> I said, I'm not holding her back from how she feels about me because she's always going to be elevated in her emotion. So I said, it's fine. You can get engaged to me. I'm not engaged to you. <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? I can't wait for Saturday. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't wait for Saturday. I love it. It is as if he landed in a flying saucer, stepped out, and is spewing advice from from another planet. <laughs> Brilliant. I love it. But is it true? You're tr- have you ever met a woman as talented as a human being as you are? <laughs> Let me think. She's sitting there sucking up your charm right. be- with the idea that she's going to give you some pussy in the in the end. So you're sitting there being this this wonderful entity and she's making a choice on whether you're great or not, and then that's based on you loving her? No! She loves you! She don't think there's part of her that, that is better than you? Might be, but she don't have to show it. She doesn't have to show it to get dick. She has to Ah, sh- uh, okay, I see where you're going. Let's say hi to All Mike right. in Arizona. Right. He's got an update on your character. Mike? Hey, what's up? Hey, hi. Hey, Aunt, your, your character's Gimp. They raised the level cap to seventy-five. Yeah, you're gonna have to fucking gr- you're gonna have to grind out ten levels. No, I know, I, 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 I know. How I long know. does it take to get ten levels? You think? Uh, it's ten gonna take, now? It takes a fucking long. It, it's yeah, fucking it's hellacious. Long. And not only that, um, you have epic two O's now. I know. And, I only uh, got shit. the first epic weapon, and that's a piece of shit now. And all yeah, my fucking I have a, I have a everything I got. Ranger. Shit. I have a seventy-three Ranger, and I'm ready to kill myself. I can't stand fucking leveling anymore. You know what? The, I have one more thing to add. Uh, the only way to, uh, you know, yeah, it's kind of you can't beat him. If you can't beat him, join him kind of thing. Uh, you got to get the fucking girl to play the fucking game. That's the only way. Otherwise, they'll fucking leave you. Wait, uh, Cash, it out. Well, oh, what? Can yeah. you, can you, 
okay, if I start now. Yeah. 65? How long did it take for you to get 65? Over, uh, it took, uh, over it a took, year. Yeah. It, no, it took um, years. Yeah, years. It, uh, it, it took, took years. years. I, I didn't I play. Have, but st- isn't it still like valuable? A, I didn't play like a madman. It's no. still valuable if I don't want to come in at one, do I? Yeah, but no. It, it, yeah, you could get... Like, I, could, I could power level you to 65 in probably a month. Yeah. But because uh, I have Jesus. access to the right characters, but but I mean, if you were to play and not know one fucking person on the server, it would take you fucking years. I used to play with I used to three box. I play with three fucking computers and make my own group and play all the characters at the same time. What's the what's the uh, and like I, I was asking you today? Myself. What's the what's the the, the 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 what happens to keep you on it? Like you, the excitement you, of it. What's you, the action you have to part level. of it? Leveling up, getting yeah. new, leveling, new spells, leveling gear, getting new weapons, getting new gear. Yeah, that's yeah, that's keeps through you the, on. Pro- progressing through the expansion stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And then they put expansions out. They keep pumping expansions out, which gives you new uh, yeah, places they're, they're to go. Com- actually, the uh, new loot. 13th expansion's coming out next month. Yep, next month. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Sheesh. Hey, that All right, bye. was a fucking game. Sheesh. When that first came out, I, there weren't even any expansions when I first saw it. And I'll tell you, we were at NEW. I was watching TV in the office, and they showed this game. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? And went right to the store and bought it. That was it. I was on that motherfucker like forever, just leveling, getting you killed. Yeah, I didn't give up. I just slowly stopped playing it. You oh, know, over the time, something else. got different games, got bored. You get bored after a while too, because then you realize, you know, oh, I wanted to get to fucking wait till I get to level twenty. The fucking shit on that I could get, I'm gonna kick ass. And you get to level twenty, and you realize, wait till I get to thirty. Now I'm gonna get the best shit. You never at a level where you go, I fucking rule. Jesus. It's always just some other fucking thing you got to do. All right, let's see what it, uh, happens here. With the oh, this is still Tyro. Oh shit! Yeah, By the way, you can done. play the game without the disc in it. That's yeah. That's yeah. What we're, you don't need the disc to play the, the fucking game here. This is, means Douchebag. nothing. What she's about nothing. to do. Favorite game. Before we do that, what does this mean to you? That is what is ruining our relationship. That's what's ruining our family. What's this mean to you? Nothing now. No, what, what does it really mean? Oh, it's rolling. It's okay. It was an escape for a while. It is an escape. Yeah. Still. So this is your friend that's kind of, you know, kept you company for a long time and distracted you and taken you away from your real life has welcomed you into the artificial world of Warcraft. That's not a friend to me. Wow. Yeah, I'm very so. impressed. So you're saying goodbye. Goodbye. Autumn. Oh. Yeah, applaud. Oh. His character's still up on the fucking server. How about you give away all your shit and then delete your character? That's a ballsy move. She has no clue. This guy can just log on anytime he wants and, Fuck it. and not lose anything. Oh, she just. Patrice, will you sh- would you shred your EverQuest game? No. 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 She's Come on, Tyra. Crazy. If you care about a relationship, you. Shh. I'm playing EverQuest. <laughs> Shh. Fuck out of here with that drama. Ah, the guy deserves it, though. Yes, he does. Why? He turn around and said, look, I'm shredding this. Well, guess what? I want you to lose weight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he did, he pussied out on you that. Pussied out it? all the way. All you got to do is just try Quid to pro logic quo. your way Fat through. So. <sighs> Quid pro quo. <laughs> lose weight. And then it's always like, you know, the women love when th- that idea that they want truth, but they just want a good lie. And it's like, well, what do you feel about her gaining weight, sir? Well, it makes me sick. <laughs> oh my I, uh, god I try to bend her legs back And this bitch is huffing and puffing You know what the audience would rip her, him apart Tyra would rip him apart the, the wife would start crying But that would be the honest answer yeah. It would be Yeah uh, What do you think about all the weight she's gained Oh it fucking makes me sick, makes I'm, me sick. I'm completely unattracted to this uh, woman And, and then uh, What the What the what? I'm She doesn't sound that attractive to begin with no. So it's like now she looks like Bluto from Popeye, and it's like, it's like, do you want me to get rid of the only thing that makes me happy? You fat fuck. Do I tell you to put down that uh, ham? He should croissant. That it, you he know? should get a food shredder and just fucking shred her sandwiches. But that's what a woman would do. But see, a woman, you gotta let them just, you just gotta let them ride out, and you always have to be threatening them, not, not, not physically and not literally, but in your actions, threatening to get some side pussy. Like da da da. No, yeah. eat, eat, sweetie. Enjoy that bacon and and bread wrap and um i love you no matter what all right <laughs> line of the day uh, patrice what do you know about bodogfight.com i don't know 
I know that they're fighting on Bulldog now. They do the um, the MMA. No one ever gets it. Mixed martial arts on Bulldog. Yeah, there you go. Bulldogfight.com. There you go. Because because poker no longer exists on online anymore. Uh, It certainly does. There's a place. Well, I'm yeah, illegalpoker.com. No, <laughs> illegal place. poker. <laughs> Shouldn't be playing the shit.com, motherfucker. Yeah, the government is Love watching it. you. Dot com. Yeah. Just playing. Taking your life in your own hands. <laughs> dot com. <laughs> Fun shit. <laughs> Mafia.com. That's where he's playing. <laughs> Organizedcrime.com. Right. <laughs> Break your fucking legs.com. <laughs> Here is uh, the runner-up line of the day. Winnie, what's up? Make it fast, will you? Okay, I just want to know: is mugging a sport? <laughs> mugging? Why? Mugging somebody? Well, it's... yeah, that's. Uh, let's see. It's a guy, and he's in direct competition with somebody else. <laughs> And there's a valuable prize at the end. <laughs> well, Winnie, if, if you're, you're going to go that far, you might as well go all the way. Then rapes a sport. <laughs> Rape would be a sport. Oh Let's be honest here. Oh it truly God. is. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, By the one. rules. I got one. Rapes a sport was good, man. And, According to the rules. Uh, Patrice, Saturday night. Yep, Black Two. Nine, 9 to 12, I think. And I think you're going to be in for Jimmy on Friday. Yeah, okay, yeah. Jimmy's, like, all over the country for the next, like, um, eight weeks or so, so. Is that fucking, like, camera phone footage in the middle of a war? Like, I'm watching the news. You could, there are battlefields. Now, the news would be embedded with certain things, but you would, wouldn't really see a battle like that going on. Now, with camera phones and shit, that was just a fucking hillside battle going on. Or a cookout in Iraq. And you're like, here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one or the other. And you just hold up your phone, and there it is. It's fucking life or death battle. Let Barbaro just die. What are they doing? Mm. They're trying to keep this horse alive. Uh, Barbaro hoof flambe. Save his hoof, because yeah, I'm hungry. Save his hoof. <laughs> remember this went As down? A serving what? dish for his fucking ankle meat. How long meat? ago? Last May? Yeah. And they're still trying to save this He's horse. He's done. And now they had another risky operation. Just <laughs> let the guy, let the uh, the horse go. Pump as much jizz out of him as you can and freeze it. Because that's got to be what they're keeping him alive for. That's the only reason they're keeping Just him alive. Just jack that horse off 24-7. All right. Uh, BodogFight.com sponsors. <laughs> we got everything. We're all right, Steve? Yeah, I did it again. <laughs> ja- yeah. Yeah, it's going to be in a promo. And they're writing it down. Homo promo. Here is today's line of the day. Uh, uh, that's one for the for the archives right there. That could wow. be the best bit of the year when it's all said God and done. Damn. Hot movies, yeah. What's this? I I I'm done. What's this about? Steve? I'm done. <laughs> I'm tired. Steve, I take care of this. Okay. I didn't sleep or something last night. Okay, that's I'm terrible. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, we're doing a video <laughs> contest. Uh, Opie and Anthony video contest. Again. Opie and Anthony related video contest. Hot okay. movies has given us more money. We have three prizes this time. First prize is a thousand. Second prize is five hundred. Third prize is uh, two fifty. Thank you, Patrice. That's so sweet. Stroke, stroke uh, his hand. Uh, submit your videos. I think we're giving them five weeks this time, and uh, they are going to be judged on humor, originality, and relevance to the Opie and Anthony show. Very good. Go to opianthony.com for more details. Exactly, and sponsored by Hot Movies. All right, Patrice, thanks. thanks. We'll see you tomorrow.